That is <laughs> the sound of power. The days are spinning. We started on a high note. Oh, yeah. Hey! Everybody will listen to this, and that's what they'll be greeted with. They all know quality is ahead. They, that theme for that song is stuck in my head, too. It's just, And it's not even that good. It's just... It's like, yay. Wait, for what game? Uh, for, um, Grand Tour. Which I presume uh, oh, you've watched. Yeah. I don't actually know. I've watched some. I've, I'm more familiar with, um, uh, Top, Top Gear. Gear. Which um, is also interesting, because I remember watching that so casually in Britain, because basically everybody in Britain did. And then it's like, did, was it really popular in America or no? I don't know. Um, I think so. So British. How does that, how does that translate for you, Rags? Do you feel you learned a lot about British people <laughs> from that show? I, th I feel like I am British now, in spirit. <laughs> so what do you think about, um, because I've, I've never had the chance to ask these questions, okay? So what, do you, what about, like, what do you I'm think of their spirit. car knowledge? Or their approach to car, sort of, do you consider them a bunch of goofballs, or do they actually have insight? I mean, they're both. They have a lot of insight into cars, they have a lot of references, they've driven a lot of cars, so they have a lot of good relative information from one car to the next, they know how they work, they know a lot of, you know, the mechanical uh, stuff when it comes to cars, but they are a bunch of goofballs as well. I was gonna say, the appeal for me is the goofballs, whenever they go like, the GTX yeah, yeah, yeah. 7089 can go faster, <laughs> and, and I'm just like, I have no fucking clue what you just said. <laughs> All right. So I'm a little confused here because I just saw this tweet show up in my timeline and I thought that they filmed Henry Cavill's scenes with him in the red and blue suit, but here it's black. So I'm not sure like which, like what did, what did they actually did, recolor? Did they recolor it for the marketing? Cause that's in the full, I don't know. That is interesting. Cause I was pretty I... sure that they filmed it in red and blue and then Zack Snyder Recolored it in black. I'm posting it as an image because it's easier for me to get on screen if I do that. I can show yeah, the the five people in chat. Because I'm I'm because if it's in four by three there, that's almost making me think that they're trying to hide the fact that they recolored it by recoloring it for the if if where does this gift come from? Actually, I would need the source for it to have any kind of assessment. <laughs> I mean, all I'm seeing it from is from the DCEU's, uh, I, I guess, a fan DCEU Twitter uh, page. So I don't know, like, hmm. where they sourced it from. Fascinating. Mm hmm. Because um, it wouldn't be hard to recolor it themselves, especially on the green screen background. Um, hmm. <coughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been enjoying that show, Rex. It's very fun. It's very, it's very stupid. They get paid mm -hmm. ridiculous amounts of money to just make fucking crazy nonsense happen. Um, yeah, they've they've been given an insane budget to just do yeah crazy stuff. I saw like an interview with before it had started up. I think it was one to James May, and they were like, apparently you've been given a shit ton of money to basically do whatever you want, and he just smirks and goes, um. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you say to that? You know, you're just like, yes, we have been given a shit ton of money. <laughs> James May is a treasure. They're all a treasure, honestly. They're a really great trio. Um, the the uh, I was watching. It was only recently I was watching the one where they basically like they open with saying they got to be more like environmentally aware, and so apparently somewhere in some country I can't remember where it is they dropped they sank a ship. Um, in hopes that a, a reef would build around it from like its rust and different things and so they're like we're gonna drop five cars into the water and like pin them down to the seabed so that they'll become reefs and just like the whole episode is them fumbling around with all different kinds of technology to try and do it and just failing over and over again and pissing everybody off in the local area it's just hilarious because <laughs> it's, it's all so retarded um i recommend the grand tour it's uh it's, it's funny also, Just a kid. reminder that James May beat Gordon Ramsay in a cooking contest, and Gordon has still never lived that down. <laughs> ah. Um, and yeah, the the nature of the, the show getting taken off here was kind of interesting to me in terms of, like, uh, I think Jeremy Clarkson punched somebody and said mean things. On set. 
yeah uh, they they i think that from what i remember about that story the sandwiches were not to his liking for catering so uh <laughs> yeah, yeah and like whoever's the boss of whatever was like no nah, he's got to go and so uh, Richard Hammond and James May left with him, and apparently, like half the fucking crew left with them too. <laughs> oh, wow, it's is a bit of a totem pole. Jerry Clarkson talking about cars at his car show is kind of like people just want to see that. They will pay through the nose to get more of it, and they don't care how many people he gets upset with about sandwiches. <laughs> Not really. He's um, he's one of them old British like granddad people where he'll say all kinds of crazy things. Hopefully he won't be cancelled. But so like, you know, the the crazy uncle that of cars <laughs> driving in a really fast car. <laughs> you know, them them I, I don't know how I feel about them. It's like alright, alright, good. Well there's um because <laughs> there was plenty there's plenty of people who hate him for different things he says very casually. But like they'll accuse him of all kinds of phobias and stuff. Um one of the ones I saw an example of was um there was this photo there was this photo of a team of like drivers. This is like a top gear clip. And he's looking at their clothes, and he goes, "No, they, they look so gay." <laughs> <laughs> it's the way he delivers it. I was just like, "Oh my god, that's hilarious!" <laughs> and it reminds me of a better time where we could say silly things and not have to spend time in internet jail. He is very much. Uh, he is very much a product of his time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's uh, so wonderful. I love him. I love Jeremy Clarkson. He's oh, I hope just they... fascinating to watch. He's great. I hope they die making the show. Like, they are so old, and they do something really dangerous, <laughs> and they die, and that's how it stops. It's just like, yeah, there you go, it makes sense. <laughs> They'll blow up. The it's crazy that uh, Richard Hammond... Aware. Hammond will be the only one left, yeah. Like, he, he crashes. Like, yep, that's a wrap. So <laughs> regularly. <laughs> and, like, it's a meme... But at the same time, uh, the one is like season two of the Grand Tour. He crashes, and it's one of the ones I knew about. A lot of people did because um, I just hit the news, right? Like he was in an incredibly expensive car, and he'd finished the race that he was in. And then he just kept going and didn't turn a corner right, and just rolled and like set on fire and had to be uh, uh, helicoptered out because of he. I think as far as he broke his leg, I think so it, was, it wasn't too bad. But uh, it was funny when they come back to like the little tent. Uh, Jerry Clark says, like, it was very selfish because you crashed when we didn't have any cameras. Like, <laughs> we had to get this video from YouTube from, like, someone on their phone recording it or whatever, so. Oh. Yeah, it's, um, interesting. And apparently, because of the electric car or something, there's, like, 8,000 cells in relation to fuel that, um, they take X amount of time to explode, and then they set the next one off, and so it's just a chain reaction that can last up to, uh, five days of it just resetting itself on fire. <laughs> That was funny. I learned about cars by watching the show, Rags. You proud of me? I'm very proud of you. I've learned and, was, that, um, and think of all the Top Gear stuff you haven't seen yet in the years that years and years that they did that. Well, the funny thing, I don't even know. They had to do all the nonsense. I don't even know what I've seen of that show. I used to watch it back in the day. I remember watching it occasionally. Yeah, it was just fun. I oh, uh, watched time. Top Gear, but I did watch a few episodes of Top Shot. Have you seen that show, Rags? What show? What show? Top Shot? Yes, I think I have seen some of them. Yeah. I figured that would tickle your fancy. It is alright. It's kind of slow. I have no idea what it is. I've just watched a lot of James May doing retarded things on the internet. Have you seen his cheese He's video? Got... Um, maybe. Is that part of his sandwich series? Well, yeah, he, the meme is literally... <laughs> he's it, like He's trying to set it up that it's going to be a, a Red Leicester versus Cheddar. And he, and he opens it with cheese versus <laughs> cheese. And this is hilarious. <laughs> I'd, pay to, I'd pay to watch that. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he he gives us away for free. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> there Dude, James May might be the most quintessential cheese. British person in history. Like, he's who I would pick to represent Britain. Well, if you if you didn't know, James May has a short little series on YouTube uh, called the the Reassembler, where he builds things essentially from scratch. All of the single components of microwave or sorry, like like sewing machines and uh, all just different toys and stuff. He'll put them together piece Jeez. by piece by little piece, and he just talks while he does it, and it's 
really wonderful to listen to him talk about different things. He's a quite a quite the Renaissance man. Oh yes, and just the things that bother him and the things he says. I'm just like, oh my god, it feels like the person from next door. It's wonderful. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, Rags. But there's a video I caught where he and Richard Hammond both try and construct a Lego car that's like for adults i guess like super complicated lots of parts i can't remember if it's lego now i'm pretty, pretty sure it is um but the way it works is every minute they both well they they get a question and if they get the wrong answer they have to take a shot of vodka um oh no and i have no idea of this i need to know what this is uh, yeah just type vodka i don't know richard Hammond, james bay you'll find it it's uh it's quite amusing they just get asked car questions naturally Anyway, I've seen a couple people ask already, so we may as well get it out of the way. Shang Chi, yes, there it is. Trailers. Oh yeah, Drive Tribe, they do some good stuff with uh, them. Yeah. yeah. Um, who has seen the Shang Chi trailer? I yeah, still haven't, because I only just got out of bed. I saw it Twitter at really bad quality. The sound was awful. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Twitter's fault. <laughs> the Jing Chong what? Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> and cancel. That's a wrap. See y'all. Oh boy. <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't know what for. he said. Um. I've seen it. I think the free seen it. I believe. Uh, so, guy gets taught to to do all of the martial arts, and then he goes away for ten years, and then he comes back, and his dad's like, "You gotta, you gotta be a, a warlord like me or something." And he's like, "No," and that was the trailer. Hmm. Yeah, uh, who knows? Well, um, who knows? But very basic I mean, and generic, yeah. I would say. Like, I, I don't know what it is yet. Uh, <laughs> The oh, thing basic and generic over the last couple of MCU things, honestly. Well, mm. one thing to note, I would say, is that, um, as, as, as we've all picking up as time's gone on, um, this shit is just not going to care about the MCU. It's just going to be, we're telling our superhero story, we're saying it's in the MCU, okay? And you're like, okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll have Iron Man fly around in it at some point, or fucking, I don't know, Doctor Strange will turn up at the end and go, we need you, the Avengers. Really great dun, dun, dun. for the Madge Avengers, but I feel like everything they establish, we're gonna be like, but wait, what about all the? And it'll just be like, there's no point anymore, guys. There's no point. <laughs> Stop it. This universe um, doesn't adhere to coherency. Yeah, I mean, the highlights of the trailer were like the action looks like it'll be uh, shot clearly enough that you'll be able to make out what's going on. Whoa, looks like it could be some cool kung fu action. Uh, but I, I don't have any hope for the story. And of course, we had the. Ending of the trailer, which involved a shit ton of collateral damage, followed up by uh, a quippy one-liner that Yay. felt very awkward. So, oh, I mean, for me, the more strange thing is that apparently in the MCU there are like these crazy, fantastical, like Chinese buffalo dragon things running around <laughs> and pterodactyls. <laughs> like, like, okay. You know, it's funny. I was curious about um the, the Shang Chi's powers or whatever, and like the Wikipedia was like, oh, it's basically just like a human at max performance, and it said, uh, even Ares commented on how shang is probably the best warrior human that humanity has. It was like, okay. Well, Ares, like... And if you say I mean, so. <laughs> like, is, I guess is, Ares must be some kind of different villain guy, and uh, I don't know what they do with him in the MCU, but or, well, Marvel. Um, but, I thought it was interesting that it said there, there were these power rings that, um, that Iron Man made for shang -Chi. Uh, there's little, there's little bracelety ring power things in the trailer, but I doubt Tony made those. So uh, I don't know if they, they were found in some ancient temple or something. Well, Who knows? I recall skimming past something on Twitter, um, and now that the trailer is out, it's drawn my attention back to it. Leak toys for Shang Chi, and one of them was like AI Tony Stark. So oh, oh no, oh no. 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 We're all just... <laughs> stop it. No. Stop it. Let me just double stop. check. Get stop some help. No one's... Just let them be. But... Let them rest in peace. No one's McDonald's ever really you to be the gone. Best you can be. Not to mention, we've got No Way Home that's, uh, according to Alfred Molina, is going to bring back Spider Man 2's Doc Ock uh, so, to ruin his redemption arc. Everyone's, everyone's talking about how. He's going to get plucked from his redemption and that John Watts said something like nobody really dies in this universe or whatever. Um, I need the context of both of these and I need to know that if this is like a joke or if this is actually their storytelling. Because on the first hand, right, 
technically speaking, if you're in a multiverse, then yeah, you're always going to be able to find another one, whether they die or not. Um, secondly, if it's just like pulling him as just before he drowned or whatever, because um, a lot of people are assuming you would get pulled out before he redeems himself, quote unquote. But if you were to continue his story, um, I don't know if this is just considered a flaw for Spider-Man 2, but like, why did he have control back over his crazy tentacles at the end? He just did. And so if he didn't, would he then still be a villain after that moment? Maybe that was, or is it just permanent control again? Like he's got the inhibitor back, I don't know. There are a lot of questions that would require answering, um, but I am not excited to see him return in Far From, the, whatever it was called, No Way Home. No Way Home, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how they'll handle the tentacle blades. I'm super excited to see hey, maybe that. Maybe they'll pull them out right <laughs> away. Maybe they'll fire off like little missiles. Dude. Yeah, if they if they actually use the tentacle blades effectively, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> well, we shall have to see. I I don't know about you guys. We'll not talk about it. We're gonna talk about it next week, right? We got our own topic today. We're just rushing through a couple of things because it's been a while. Um, this is hmm. our form of rushing. There, uh, there was <laughs> that. Um, you know, like that was. I was basically gonna say I have little faith in the MCU at this point. Now, why might I say that? You could say be one division. Could say Endgame. Could say the newest content they've released. About a, Far from home. Not quite that one. <laughs> I could see why you might think that, but it, no, it was a different one. But again, as has been established, you're wrong about Far from. No, home. I'm not. Oh, We're going to yes, talk about that are. later, Fringy. No, I'm not. It's garbage. You're absolutely wrong. But no, it's I'm okay. not. You <laughs> are. But, it's but, not I, like I, the I, entire I, plot is run on broken ass Edith. <laughs> now nah, you you got to give it up. All right. God. It's, they're all better than Spider Man is better than you think. Cloud Why are we talking about Spider Man? Zack Snyder's Justice League and Falcon and Winter Soldier is coming out. True. Uh, you yeah, should just free drop the hot take and then we'll move on. Do you remember what it yeah. is? Do you, remember, do you remember the hot take oh. in relation to Far From Home? What? Oh, was we were reviewing the list of uh of um. Oh god, he's got to run away. He's so scared. <laughs> no, literally, <laughs> really literally my audio is is just popping. It's going in and out for me. <laughs> yeah, so I think that was the hot take. Someone's put it in chat. Uh, I would put Winter Soldier below Far From Home. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. Winter um, Soldier's got a lot of Winter issues. Soldier is is balked. Um, unfortunately, I really like it, but yeah. It's it's the worst Captain America movie. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. absolutely. That should that should excite chat for a bit. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, uh, people think it's better Avenger. than the, people think it's better than for, the first one. People think Winter Soldier is the best in the MCU. Oh yeah, no, not even close. I I, I remember <laughs> people basically comparing it to the Dark Knight. Even it's like this is the Dark Knight of the MCU. Wow, that's I don't know. Okay. It's better than the Dark Knight. Um... Uh, well, <laughs> that's, that's anyway. interesting. Mm. I was talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier. I don't even hear what was just said there for the past few minutes. There, I was just talking. I was, so Falcon and Winter Soldier's not very good. Uh, we got one more episode <laughs> left. We're all very tense about what it may or may not do across the internet because once you get the last episode out, the messaging will be complete um, in terms of everything that show does and everything it says. Um, there is mm. there's room for the final episode to sort of draw back a bit of um, dare I say good faith, uh, but we'd be more concerned with how fucking broken everything is in that show quite significantly. My god. Once again, what is it with every single bad guy closing the distance with their pistols? Even good guys. It, it makes me doing upset. It. It's so dumb. Like, they just don't want to be able to shoot people. They're like, please, take my gun. I do not need it. <laughs> yeah, at, least have, at least run at them with daggers so they can't grab it. But, well, themselves. put a bayonet on your pistol. <laughs> My... Yeah, I, like yeah, just put a bayonet on your pistol. That's how you clearly want to use it. You want to go up to it's like John Wick Two, where they they just go up and try and stab people with their guns. I'm trying to think of like instances where it would make sense for a, a character to be put in a position where they can basically disarm someone. And basically, all I can think of is uh, if they're like rounding a corner, or uh, they like they're they're hiding and, and they're waiting for someone to show up, and then they grab their gun and everything. But just the whole, I've got this guy that I've got a clear shot on. I'm going to walk up to him with my pistol. It drives me fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get into it next week because we'll have, um, well, next time, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have all the episodes out by then. We can have a nice little chat. But uh, until then, I should simply say, 
EFAB lads aren't happy with it, alright? Not that it would shock anybody in chat, because you know the <clears> kind <throat> of shit that pisses us off, and it's all yeah. over Falcon and Winter Soldier. Shouldn't surprise you. Hopefully Falcon nobody Winter thinks... Falcon fucking horrible. I've already seen people be like, oh, here, like, Maul is gonna fall to the, to the anti-SJW, because it's like, look, I can... There's no... I could have... The amount of time I can spend on criticizing it, not for its political execution, like, of ideas, like, I'd be there all day. Um, however, and this is probably something we'll talk about in the next episode, you can have all kinds of motivations for making really shitty stories, like uh, as shallow or as high concept as you want. Um, but all of them, if you shove them in, can lead to really shitty writing or, or consistency, I guess. Um, like like making Falcon poor. That's a bit of a, a tough one to sell to me, you know, <laughs> from the get-go. Okay. And it's just like, well, he's poor, get over it. You're like, hmm, seems like you wanted him to be poor rather than he was poor. Apparently, Tony Stark didn't take care of the um, Blip's uh, Avengers families while well, um, during that five years. Because he's a you, racist. I don't know if you saw the after credits scene <laughs> in Endgame, but it was like, oh my god, there's this little message Tony left behind. He's like, actually, fuck all of you. Because, um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, there was, there was the chance that people thought, unfortunately, from watching the movies, that Tony would donate lots of money and make sure to support people, not just based on the fact that he wants to, but also through thorough guilt. Um, and you have like he literally he's explicit about how he pays for everyone and everything in with the Avengers in uh, I think Age of Ultron. So it'd be interesting to know. Like, do you think he just like sort of paid for all the white people? Or uh, you know, probably they 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 it wouldn't it wouldn't put it past me or I I, like, I don't think they'd put it past. It's as goofy as they the scene where he's <laughs> handing out checks you, and then Falcon walks up and he's like, um, Oh, I'm out. Oh, no. oh, no. oh you're here you're too. Uh, how many? How many did you uh, kill, you're not Falcon? Really, an Avenger, technically. <laughs> Aren't you more just Steve's friend? <laughs> That's yeah. kind of your role. I'm sorry. Yeah, you already you have, have a job, zero right? Zero income. Uh, John Walker. But yeah, is it, sick. it wouldn't uh, wouldn't surprise me if they did something like that, where they retroactively yeah. turned Tony into a horrible racist. Also, yeah, uh, for some people wondering, chat, we don't consider Zemo assassinate or anything. He's a uh, there's a couple of bits and bobs that are worth talking about, but um, he managed to escape the show un undestroyed, which is neat. <laughs> like, I, I picture when, to get out, yeah. the scene where he's being walked away, the show. <laughs> so like a tidal wave is coming and he just gets onto like a, into a bunker and we're like, oh, thank goodness, close the door. I'm, but, um, I'm appalled that they're uh, treating the shield uh, and Steve as if he is one and the same with America. The, all three Captain America movies were very critical of America. Um... Oh, yeah. And this this uh, show is acting like, oh, the shield has a a very dark history. Like, no, it doesn't. It's Steve's shield. It's not America. It's Steve. Oh. It's, uh, used to punch aliens and punch Nazis and punch Hydra and punch Tony, and that is what the shield was used for. There's <laughs> nothing really racial about it. So relating to what we were saying about Spider Man a bit earlier, I wonder if Muller understands what a multiverse is, and you can't use coordinates in that fashion to travel. But hey, I guess we'll never know since he doesn't seem to care, and his fans are obtuse. Whoever said that is an idiot. They're called the voice of reason, by the way. So, uh, here's the thing. I'm putting it out there. You guys are going to hate me for this. I don't think multiverse travel is actually currently possible. <gasps> so, <gasps> yeah, I know. What? <sighs> I don't want to have to argue about this takes. all day. But, yeah. Um. So, when you have, like, fantasy technology, you, you, have, um, you get to do a lot of things. For example, I don't know if you guys noticed it, in uh, Endgame and in the Snyder Cut, there was a little thing called time travel. Mm. We can't do that. Fuck. What? <laughs> okay, some people don't know this. Fine, it's just a hot take. I'll have to deal with it. But oh my God. yeah, so when you invent it, you can be like Back to the Future and do the whole it comes in waves thing, or you could be like Endgame and be like Back to the Future it was a bunch of bullshit. We know what we're doing, isn't it? Right? Isn't that right, Fringy? Please don't remind me of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really upset. You know, you can. Mola believes in the flat multiverse. This, this is truth. You ever look outside your window and see a multiverse? No. The multiverse is Wait, flat. Yeah. Oh my god. All yeah. oh, right, so cars. Sorry. <sighs> what else is there? What have we fallen behind on in this world? Uh, we were talking about it just before we got started up. The um, I saw uh, folding ideas cover. Uh, Nostalgia Critics video on the wall, and it was fantastic. I, I had a whole new appreciation for, um, I guess, the context for everything behind the original, and then a lot of... 
when you take your time to break down the lyrics of, of Doug's one, it starts to paint a picture in terms of, um, <laughs> well, I, I guess I further understand how people got so furious. I just found it funny. Like, you know, if you're going to do a significant breakdown parody satire love letter, you'd think um, he would have spent a little bit more time sort of going through uh, the history. And, um, yeah, when, when you have everything splayed out in terms of uh, the commentary he had, like the, um, is this song just World War II with monsters, I think is what he said. I can't remember. It, it was kind of like, yeah. oh, man, this is getting a little bit cringy, yeah. But I maintain that all of his videos, are, he is very bad at his job. And he's always been pretty cringe. Um, he's garbage. He's not funny. He's just cringy. Well, he's um. I think part of it. I can't remember when. I think I got this from somebody's someone's video at some point. But he's like obsessed with Animaniacs, and so he like copies their um energy. But he has like none of their talent or like the writer's <laughs> talent for making the show. So he's this like he's like a bunny, but he just sort of doesn't stop. He just keeps going, and he's just saying things. Um. And he's someone I often want to bring up if anyone ever says, like, you should appreciate X person because they're foundational, they inspired others to get started, even if they're shit. I should be like, we should offer a lot of praise to Doug Walker then, right? He's foundational. He's a... but he, uh, he goes and goes. Film reviewers, you owe everything to that man, all right? Appreciate him. Anyone who goes through films in chronological order, you owe everything to Doug Walker. <laughs> yes. I think that Doug's video on the wall was more entertaining than the wall. That's a terrible take. The wall is fucking <laughs> half of it is so fucking boring. Oh, geez, I just wanted it to be over. Uh, you also think the taxi driver is boring, Rags? It is fucking boring. It is not. It's, it's really extremely good. Extremely boring. No, it's not. <laughs> Huge so. stretches where nothing really happens. What else should we talk about? Is or isn't boring? <laughs> that is that's top EFAB content right there. Um, hey, how about? How about Zack Snyder's Justice League was boring? Well, oh yes. Any division there? No, that yes. was a three minute right there. From start to finish, there was you know always what? something so amazingly interesting. I'll deliver the hot take. I wouldn't even mind watching it again if it was with you, Long. I would just start talking about how shit it is again, and then we. I don't talk know about... if I like y'all that much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man's gotta have mistake. his limits. Gotta have a gotta have a line somewhere. Four hours of Zack Snyder. Mm, that's asking a lot from someone. That's a, oh, that's a that's a big Wakandan-sized favor right there. Imagine they, they gave him one more, and he made it six hours or something. I'd be like, oh, jeez. Um, I mean, we read out the treatment on Metal Stream. It might actually be six hours, judging by all the locations. Rags, taxi Driver is boring, and so is Blind Manor. Oh. No, Blind Manor is way better than Taxi Driver. It's not even fucking close. It's an insult to Blind Manor to even compare the two. The Riddler says the last riddle and then shoots himself. It's great. Um, yeah. I've... I didn't watch that stream. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> the Riddler says the last riddle and then shoots himself? Shoots himself, yeah, in front of Batman. That's uh, yeah. It's great. You should just rewatch the last hour the of riddle? my stream. When it was in the Canadian story. wilderness, wasn't it? Just... <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the fucking... <laughs> Places we went on that adventure. Yeah, uh, we the central story, city. Out, the... What, what was it? Uh, Justice League Two Part One A and Two uh, A. <laughs> yeah, B, it was, was weird. Yeah, it was Justice Justice League Two and Two A because um, Zack Snyder pitched it as a two-part film. Um... <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, um, it was it was it was a fun and I I even read it out of order as Zack Snyder would have wanted. Um... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, how many walking exactly. sequences were there? Oh, well, we walked across the planet. We went from Central City to a continental shelf on the bottom of the ocean, to the Brazilian rainforest, to the Canadian wilderness, oh to the Bat Cave, and then back Speaking to the Canadian Brazil, wilderness. Uh, yesterday, I was at my grandparents' place, and uh, on the TV in the background, there was like, I don't know, it was like bull riding or something on ESPN. Um, Almost everyone was Brazilian. Wow. I guess Brazilians are really into bull riding. Yeah, that just seems like that makes sense, right? Yeah, which doesn't really surprise me. Brazilians seem like the bull riding types. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's dangerous and adventurous and very, you know, it's just, it sounds like a sport that could have originated in Brazil. 
No, I'm not even gonna push back on that. I just that's all. It's better than bull fighting because the bull gets to live. Oh, yeah, and the bulls have brutal. names. Like all the bulls have names. Whenever the the bull rider would come out, the the bull would have a name on the little title card thing that would come out. And I wonder if the the bulls can be like um like uh, like celebrities and stuff. Like oh he's on he's on <coughs> Widowmaker. I don't know if he'll survive seven seconds on Widowmaker. They'd say except the accent's wrong because it'd, it'd be like a Portuguese accent. Don't do that. That's racist. Oh, he has, no one has ever survived seven seconds on Widowmaker. And then he did it. Oh. He broke all I don't those. even know if that's a Brazilian accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like how you forget that Portugal is also a country where people speak Portuguese and have a Portuguese accent. I don't know if that's true. It's Portuguese that accent. I, that idiot. doesn't sound right. That, I, don't know if, I don't know if that one checks out. Nah, so right, anyway. Well, holy right. Bubba do the toffees. Got that. That Snyder tisms. This is the end of that individual arc, the DCEU arc. Soldiers on, um, with with our our watch through of it to come out next, I believe. And then it would be Aquaman after that. Oh, you guys are in for such a treat. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing us watch Aquaman <laughs> Me again. Me too. That <laughs> Aquaman was, so was a I. thrill. It was a joy to watch Aquaman. It's so bad. It's wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that? Was that the most fun one for us to watch, or was that Wonder Woman eighty four? Uh, it's either that or Wonder Woman eighty four. I They're remember. I, I put enjoyable. Justice no, League. Justice above. League. <laughs> oh yeah, Justice League. Um, <coughs> hmm. I might say Aquaman was the most fun. It might be yeah. Because it seems there's sure. always kind of I, something crazy happening. I I think I would I would pick Aquaman over Justice League or Wonder Woman eighty four. If I had to like rewatch a DCEU movie, and I'm I'm having to pick between those three, I'd pick Aquaman. Can I just highlight, yeah. at Mola, suicide coverage was great. <laughs> <laughs> did a great job covering suicide. I saw it didn't have the context of like, did you, did you guys do an yeah. EFAP on... Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it yeah. was a weird day. Um, Alright, so, uh, on that note, we, we got... I do not want to do a whole set of EFAPs all about the Snyder Cut, okay? I just want to do this one, uh, not including any others we've done. And so... What we'll do is we, 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 like, chat's gonna be outraged. They didn't even get to vote on this one. Don't worry, your votes have been counted for, <laughs> for the Aquaman one, okay? We will be going accordingly to what, you, uh, what you've requested. But this one, what I wanted was a video that argues it is a fucking amazing movie. And that, you know, Ugh. it may have healed someone's heart or changed oh their life. God. I was looking for that, it, and I did find it one. It gave me cancer. And then I wanted one... <laughs> Again? Oh, man. I wanted one that made a definitive argument... <clears throat> That the Joss cut was absolutely worse, which I am open to hearing the arguments for, okay? Because I felt like, were we the only people on the internet that felt this way, possibly? Six seems out of like it. billions. That's what it feels like. I really? I know it's not true, but it feels like it. Because I can't. Who else actually like felt that way? I really can't. Oh. Like, do you guys know anybody who? Uh, <laughs> it's it's, it's definitely a hot take. There's someone asking me in chat, where is the clip of Southpaw talking to the guy that said it was flawless? It, he wasn't talking about Snyder Cut. He was talking about the other movie, the one that I'm not allowed to bring up, apparently. Oh, you're talking about Spider- Oh, shit. Don't yeah. worry, I didn't say it either. It was, it was the amazing Lucas, that guy. That's, uh... <laughs> Minter Spy 3. It was, it was funny, because he kept on saying, like, oh, it's flawless. I'm like, I don't agree that it's flawless. And then, he, like, he hung up on me. It's, he, he does the stream called Disagreement Day. But if you disagree with him on that movie, <laughs> he ejects you from the call. What does he think of Snyder Cut? Um, I have no idea. I don't watch his shitty content. <laughs> oh, wow, Southpaw. You probably wouldn't even be friends with him now. Nice. Look what you've done. Honestly, I kind of want him to be on EFAP. I just want him to, to come on EFAP. And, uh, so we can just, hang like, up? No, 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 no. <laughs> just like have him, have him think that he's going to talk about like literally anything else. You bring up what his favorite superhero movie is. He says Spider-Man 2. You guys just like drop me into the call. I'm like, hey, buddy. Let's have oh. a conversation. Maybe then he'd leave because you're insufferable. Uh, because you know, like. <laughs> 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 so, first person, the people are gonna be like, "Really?" But we haven't covered him in ages. I swear to God, I'm not gonna check how long it's been, but it's, it feels like it's been a while. Okay, here is the link for all of you gentlemen. Oh, I'm um, gonna click it. First one. Here we. Here we go. The Snyder Cut changed my life. 
Uh, oh, no, I know oh where this is going. Life. It changed oh my, my life. So, and and this video, uh, uh, a clip of it made it into the Unbridled Rampage, and I believe it was quite a funny one. And uh, yeah, it's 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 an opinion. This this video, and there's a lot of arguments made that are very interesting. And I just you know, and it's a quintessential uh, video essay. It. This will make sense as we go forward. It is the kind of video that when I was watching it back before I made basically any video, I was just like, Jesus Christ, I can't handle this. Like, this can't be, I miss, this is why I like Red Letter Media and YMS and stuff. It felt like real people reviewing things instead of like, I don't know, melodramatic teenagers who like, everyone, they all learned from the same person how to edit. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna make a lot <laughs> more sense farm? when we watch this. EFAP is exalted. becoming more like Red Letter Media where they're, where they are all depraved elitist critics, lol. It's called being consistent with your standards that you Rich use. Evans is not depraved. The last depraved. <laughs> RLM is not elitist at all. They they're from like Wisconsin. I feel like um, they they much like anybody, including all of us, will have individual sentiments that come across as elitist because literally humans will um do that shit. Okay, the one I would reference, and I'm sure Plenty could do it for me. But uh, if you remember when Jay said that uh, Todd Phillips isn't a real filmmaker, so Joker, you know, like, it, it was a bit of a like, Yeah, Oof. Jay's got some tism here and there. Um, oh, God, there's a person that I did not expect us to agree with on the Snyder Cut. Oh, good God, who? Oh, yeah, let me take Steve, a look. Oh. Steve Shives? Oh, my goodness. Steve oh my Shives God. agrees with us. I haven't Steve heard Shives come that on name in so long. <laughs> These are strange times. He wouldn't come on EFAP. He would, he would, no, we're too... Good I know. God, no. He's going to come anywhere. in EFAP. I, Thank you, Sophistic like Autistic. He's like the ultimate that doesn't, he's... that doesn't help us. The, the <laughs> we must have arrived at our... I I'm kind of curious maybe, why you maybe, would think that. Maybe we were wrong, guys. Maybe maybe the Joss Sweden cut is worse than the Snyder cut. Pack oh, it up, boys. That's Pack something it up. I want. I want to pop my uh my my chat monitor on to see what everyone says. I want basically to reduce it to a binary. Okay, <laughs> thumb up or down for all of those who watched Red Letter Media's coverage of Event Horizon and and what did they think? Because I have heard it was controversial. But I don't know that that was reflected in the ratings. I'm curious, those in chat who watched it, what did you think? Go. Anyone here watching? You will have to watch I, I, Event Horizon because it's been a long time since I, I've seen that movie. I popped that video on the side and then I realized halfway through I wasn't listening because I was doing something else and I didn't watch the movie, so I put it. <laughs> <laughs> down, down. Thumbs, thumbs down, down, didn't thumbs watch. <laughs> down. Down, up, up. down, up, up, up. Down up, down, awful, up, down, down. Up, I'm getting up, mixed down, signals. Down, 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 up, down. Up, Someone is just pointing down. <laughs> you know what? That's up, down, creative. down. I'm down, just happy to be up, here. Jeez. Down, up, down, down, <laughs> down, 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 down. Someone has flipped down, the bird. Down, 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 down. See, I think we're getting up, more downs geez. and ups. All right, now switch gears into I want a sentence or. Between one and three of what you thought was was lacking about the video, all right? This is going to be the ultimate test for chat. Can they do that? Oh, my God. Are you can... sure you can trust them with that? I think they can do it. Can you be critical? And and now they're just pointing in random directions. I was um, going to say, that will fuck up our ability to read these things that get posted, but we will try. What was the question? Rewind. <laughs> Someone has given His a Coverage foot. of Event Horizon sucked. He lacked any examples. <laughs> On enough um, woman, I fell asleep and I love those guys. <laughs> Is that a compliment? I don't know. Rich Evans shat Live himself during the review. <laughs> they disagreed. Um, that's why half people are mad. They didn't even get the antagonist's main reason. Mike was inconsistent in contradicting his previous views. Old man did not pay attention to the plot. I can't remember his damn name. Well, one of the things I remembered that I thought was really funny, I was actually in a call with Jay, I, mean, I was just talking to him about it, and um, I, I, uh, I think it was it you as well, Fringy? I can't remember. It could have been Rags. Could, could have been a whole selection of people. My brain is a little, <gasps> little bit soupish. Um, so they say that um, it's almost like an inaccuracy that there would be, like there's, there's a this black guy who has like a coffee and he's walking up to, a, to, a, to the girl and he's like, you want something hot and black in you? It's like, oh, and then they say, like, we've already gotten rid of sexual harassment in the workplace, and this film is trying to say, like, it would still be there now. I thought it was such a weird piece of commentary. 
So it's like, first of all, sexual harassment, that's a bit much, depending on what their relationship is. Secondly, yeah, that could totally exist at any time, because a guy could say anything at any point to anyone, really. <laughs> I don't know, it's possible. And, um, uh, it came across to me, even when, the, when they showed the clip, that I was just like, oh, these two are probably cool with that, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Rags could it make that joke. Any problems in the film, I can't remember. Uh, well, uh, I was gonna say, you know, Rags, you could make, you could say that to Metal, and he'd take it very well. But someone else would be like, "Wow, sexual harassment on EFAB? We can't be having that." I could tell. I could ask Metal if he wants something hot and black in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You look at that face. He looks ready. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> he's crying, but he's looking to Jeebus to, happy to take him home. Um, Tears of joy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, that was. That was the chat interaction sequence. We've never done it really like that before, and we probably never will do it again. That was really fun. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of feet. <laughs> so anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. So the, 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 the lad we're covering is Brown Table. He's going to tell <gasps> us why the Snyder Cut oh is excellent. God. Um, for those who haven't seen the film or the Unbridled Rampage, this is all going to be very weird to you. But what, mm. I don't know. There's nothing I can really do for you at this point. Should have mm. done your homework for EFAP. If there's anyone out there who only watches EFAP and isn't subscribed to any of our channels, then this will be just a strange thing that's happening. But um, <laughs> I hope you follow along. It's going to be great. All right, here we go. Mm. Piano music? <laughs> they had a data Not breach. Not for me. Not playing for me either. It's the Superman theme. Oh. Oh, that's cl that's pretty close. That's 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 oh, not yeah, it's literally me. piano. Like, oh, I think you're on point. Yeah. Uh, hello. Um, okay. um, it's playing for me. We can switch to Singapore. Well, I, I, I'm not against that whatsoever. Let's what? go. The... I'm gonna okay. Right, let's see I'll be honest, works. I don't Part think Singapore one. is going to save you, Southpaw. It sounds like it's on a your thing. No, my, I just checked speed test. My my internet's great. It ain't my internet, and it ain't my mic either. I okay, don't know that speed test so... will tell you how consistent your internet is rather than how speed. It could Part be like one. intermittent. I didn't, I didn't mean to stun the cast Snyder. with that comment, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the, I, I, all right. Uh, so is, is, is it working for everybody? It's working for yes. me. It's, uh, yeah. Good. All right. I will, I will roll it back a little. Yeah, and so part one is a one-sided battle. So what he's done is oh, uh, split no. the video into six parts. Kill um, me. I don't know six if you guys, parts, but the, the video is well, 17 minutes long with well, the NordVPN right. ad. Well, can't you see why? Because a certain oh. Zack did it too in his movie. Just so everyone knows, NordVPN oh. had a major data oh, breach and took did. six yeah. months to... Yeah. Um, well, I figured everybody uses NordVPN because everybody sells it. <laughs> like, it's just in, it's in <laughs> all videos. What's the, what are the other ones? Are there multiple VPNs? I can't remember anymore. Express I use Express now it, because yeah. the data breach scared me. Because they took Surfshark six months. Surfshark is another fucking... one, I think. Yeah. Is that the name? Hmm. Well, Which one do I use? South VPN. Is it? it is, well, yeah. Express we, VPN, VPN is the one I use. Yeah. Don't trust Nord. Oh my goodness. Well, we will yeah, I, cover I this video. Oh, I wouldn't want to go too fast, otherwise the people who are here for regular <coughs> EFAB content would be very confused. Um, uh, let yeah. us go. I remember watching Watchmen when I was really little, and I remember it's in the, really like it's the perfect. It's so quintessential <laughs> brown table. It's so. Feelies, and I remember, I, 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 I remember, oh, reminisce, so, yeah, memories. We're already into kind of what I was talking about. It's so like production elements. Um, he's gonna make everything four by three, no matter whether or not the ratio fits. Oh. Everyone is welcome to commentate mm. on that however they wish to. I, I don't know what I have to say on it other than just I know that when you decided that, it was nothing more than, well, I mean, the main film is. So. It's like the movie. <laughs> um. And then, of course, this gap in the opening, the piano coming in, and that really emotional voice to make sure that you understand what we're doing. I remember. I remember it. Time. Death. And I suppose someone might be like, well, wait, if you make like, a somber video or a video that's very personal, you're not allowed to use this voice? I'd be like, well, I mean, he uses it in every voice, uh, video, sorry, pretty much. Yeah, all, all of, yeah. That's, and all I don't, it, that's his formula. Maybe we'll have he... to see how this video goes and see if he's earned this kind of tone because uh, it did change his life after all, right? And if something changes your life, it's usually pretty pretty significant. If maybe, hey, uh, and if something like this can change your life, maybe your life isn't that amazing. Wow. <coughs> what if he so said that about know. you, Rags? 
well, then he'd be wrong because this fucking movie didn't change my life. I wasted it. <laughs> Why did you change my life, Zach? Fuck. So I don't know much about Watchmen. Like, I haven't seen the movie and I haven't read the comic yet, but I heard that um, Zack Snyder's I agree with right. whatever the well, last part of that enough. sentence was. Well, he literally cut right at the point then. of the meat. <laughs> um, yeah. He's going to pop back in at any moment and he'll just be carrying on. It'll be really funny. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh well. Just, Printing it into like, my oh, mind. That's when I shot no, the God. deer. No matter. Like, uh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, it was totally the Singapore thing. That was what it was. Oh no. <laughs> he's still not even back, is he? No. Uh, what? <laughs> No. What? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, I can't hear you. It's one. okay. Um, you know, I'll I'll try and say what he was probably going to say, which is that Zack Snyder's Watchmen is enjoyed by many. Um, I think the hardcore comic fans think that um it misses the overall point of uh what uh the the, the original story was going for, and it I've heard the the argument that with the way that he films it, it glorifies the violence when it's supposed to be more of a um a criticism of the violence that superheroes can use if they're not controlled harshly enough and stuff. Um, however, tacitly, I would say it's my favorite movie from him. I I'd say by I've benefit of being mostly faithful, um, it uh, you know uh, the good writing from it kind of rubs off a little bit. So yeah, I would have to rewatch it again. I haven't seen it in fucking ages, but um, um, I, it's, it's a very split sort of uh, perspective on the movie. It is both loved, hated, and what's the what, what will be the word? For it? It's 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 endured. It's tolerated by a lot of people as well. I was I was just trying to say I don't know because he mentions that he watched it when he was very little. So it's like, <laughs> was he old enough to understand? Like why that movie is it's so not hollow. all that to understand now. I was, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, 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 uh, you can know if he he'll understand. It has to be one of his friends made a video essay on it that he could regurgitate. That's just gonna be um, possibly something for, for for what it would be. But uh, I, I I don't know how old Brown Table is. I want to say is he like twenty or something? He's super young man, which explains him and High Top a lot of the time. Um, yeah, they're um they're little cherubs, and they often say like they were wrong about something like a year after. Like they they basically um they dump. Oh, this this is an interesting way to look at it. Uh, Lindsay Alice had a bot that deleted her tweets, I believe, two months after she makes them, or even two weeks or something, to avoid getting the um the cancel brigade. Which is I bring that up because that's kind of what Brown Table and High Top do with their opinions. They will be very passionate about it. <laughs> But then, like, a year passes or whatever, and they're like, well, you know, I've grown a lot. I'm a better person now. And then they'll say that again the next year. And so you just wonder, like, are you just constantly in a state of being shit? And you're just waiting for the day where you finally stop saying, oh, I, I'm all right. <laughs> you know, they do the Everyone whole... needs their Snyder cut to change their life. Well, they, they, they do the whole, like, oh, I was so wrong by that. Oh, I used to see things so differently. I was just, because, um, I think, I think High Top has even said, like, in regards to the Snyder cut about how, Batman should be portrayed, quote unquote. He's like, nah, this is okay actually. And the my perspective on like adaptations is a little bit different. I kinda was wrong before. Pretty sure you'll give no quarter to Spider Man still. Spider Man is just you're not allowed to do fucking anything with Spider Man. Well, we already saw his Twitter like meltdown about the uh no uh Dude, no home or whatever the He fuck is going to yeah. hate uh No Way Home, probably. Yeah. And I you know what way to watch. That's okay. I, I can't wait to watch it. I'm so excited. Ho yeah, Hopefully it'll be I, as good know. as Spider-Man 2. It's gonna be just great. Um, who knows what will happen. But yes, uh, he, uh, I guess I was gonna say, it's funny that the, the Lindsay Ellison example, because she, she like, deleted Twitter because the, the mob came after her. I don't really know if there's anything for us to say on that. I just thought it was amusing that she said he needs to apologize to Movie Bob. He's still creepy. They're still not <laughs> friends, but people made fun of him a whole bunch, and she doesn't really appreciate that. <laughs> That was amazing. What a world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you appreciate Kung it. Goes on. I was really little, and I remember imprinting it into my mind. No matter how much my parents didn't really want me to see it, as it was rated R. <laughs> the violence, the stylization, the darkness of it all, it was completely different from what I was used to. Why did you... Different. <laughs> yeah, the different. word different on the screen. And it was not in it sync really with different. him saying different, that really annoyed me. So it was off sync, yeah, it was. It was way too late. That is... It's um, not playing for me again. 
That is straight oh, up Gadelb no. shit right there. Like, I've done this so many times in Gadelb now. It's, it's like, how do you keep doing this shit? Why does that need to be on screen? Different. Different. That's what I I'm see starting to think, right like, is there even a, f a time and format for why you would put words on screen? What do you guys reckon? Uh, it would be when you wanted to particularly accent a point and you wanted to make doubly sure that your visuals were not, at least the stuff that was playing in the back, wasn't distracting from the words you were saying. So you put it in text very boldly. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I would use it in this case because it's just like the middle of a sentence that he just said it's different. Yeah, I don't see the fucking point here. But, um, yeah, okay. I was thinking if, like, if you did a uh, breakdown of Breaking Bad, for example, and, and your opening statement talk about how the, the show is fundamentally about change, you, you know, like you combine it with chemistry and stuff, and that word came up on screen, and you start describing how other things kind of reflect it, I'd probably be okay with it. Mm, all right. But different? Yeah. Or like, if it was um, a short sentence, something is something, and you leave it up there for a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Too, but I fell in I loved the filmmaking, I loved how cool all the characters were, and could tell even at a young age that they were all flawed and some terrible people. Yeah, I fell in love with Watchmen. Some... Oh, <laughs> very, <laughs> very deep analysis here from Brown Table. Hey, look, he liked the characters. He could tell that they were flawed and they were bad. And they were some they terrible very... people. Mm -hmm. They looked cool. I fell it was in very love stylish. with Interstellar Ranger Commence Go, or whatever it's called. Oh, God. It's going to be something else. But yeah, I don't know. Um, is 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 again? So earlier when I was talking about how like they all seem to learn from the same person for editing, everyone in this like fucking format does this. They put it on the screen. Mm. I don't know what it, it's like. It's almost like a nervous tick they have. Like when they're editing, they're like, it needs to go on screen. It's like, does it need to go on screen? It's like it, it does. It does. <laughs> does it? It wasn't enough. At the time, I said it. No, no so need of faith in your own voice. I don't even. I don't even know that they'd have. Do you remember when Thought Theater first came on, and he was like, "Like, why was the opening black and white, or whatever?" And I can't remember what question it was, but he was just like, "I don't even. I don't know. I just did it." And like, I think that's gonna yeah. be Brown's Table's answer for a lot of things. I'd be like, "I don't know, man. I just, it, it's just what is done. It is how it do." And stop questioning it. It is how it do. <laughs> Time. I didn't. Know who Zack Snyder was. I only began to learn about him. Why Zach in the world duh. did he have to put Zack <laughs> Snyder's, Snyder's name duh. on screen next to Zack Snyder? Oh, this you're taking duh. the piss now. This you're is... taking the piss. Yeah, I don't, he has a lot to be of people, Most people himself. probably couldn't pick Zack Snyder out of a crowd. I don't know why you, why you said duh. This, this is the part that just fucked me off. I, I either don't put the name on or do put the name on. Don't put... He looks so don't, bored. Don't do duh. Why would you? Yeah, a lot that, of people don't know what he looks like. Most well, people don't know what he looks like. It's the worst of both worlds. He's done it knowing that, well, he believes that most people would recognize him anyway. <laughs> so, like, why put it up then? Because this, this I, frame makes Zach look like he's just going cringing at, <laughs> at Brown Table's I, editing decision here. <laughs> look, it's, it's probably going to be looked at as pretty nitpicky, but I just like the. the here we go. It's the process, okay? You go. Will people know who that this is actually Zach when I say Zack Snyder and I show a person? Most people can pick that up. That is visual storytelling to an extent, right? Reference. But um, if they don't, you put the name up, which I'm also okay with. But don't put duh. Why did you do this to me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and once I realized I was directing Man of Steel, and I made the connection in my mind, oh right, he's the guy that directed this one movie I really enjoy. But also at the time, the Marvel Universe was in full effect. Man of Steel came yeah. out in 2013, the year after the Avengers. And we all thought this was DC's attempt to start their own cinematic universe. No, we didn't. Stop. This is a so, rewriting of history. No, they didn't. It was meant Stop. to be a trilogy of Superman films. And then later on, they decided, oh, maybe we should do what the Avengers is doing. Yeah. Batman vs. Superman is closer to an <laughs> Avengers style movie, uh. I feel. Because it's, but even then, it's not close, but it's closer. Do, do you mean in terms it's of just, there's just there's, there's, yeah, there's like yeah. a team up in it? Yeah, it's trying to assemble characters, but they just they they did it horribly. So they got a terrible director to do it, which is their first mistake. And then mm. their actual plan to how they introduce things was bad. Preaching to the choir, here, but they involved. just did the wrong thing. I'm not I'm not sure what I feel about him director wise. I just definitely think he's a terrible writer. Like 100. Yeah, he's definitely a terrible mm. writer. 
I think oh, it relies uh, too much on stuff that's just uh, well, like, superficial. I think it was Frankie Stream what we were asked, like, who would you want to direct more if you had to choose between them? Uh, Ryan Johnson or Zack Snyder? And they don't they don't get to touch the script whatsoever. What, what, what would you guys answer that with? Zack Snyder? Oof. No, um, I wouldn't. Well, no, I I'd, I'd want Ryan Johnson. I'd go with but, Ryan Johnson. So, <clears throat> yeah, so like, I think I'm, I'm erring towards Ryan at this point. Neither have influence on the script, just want to make that clear. Oh, neither well, Zack Snyder oh, wasn't um, involved. Then I might go with Ryan Johnson. Then, well, Ryan. Zack Snyder wasn't involved yeah. with. Yeah, uh, Snyder wasn't involved with the story for uh, Man of Steel or BVS. Well, I mean, he was um, the director, so he's ultimately responsible for it. Oh, oh sure. Um, he he did have involvement with the BVS story. That was when he started taking more significant control. Um, it was more Man of Steel was a pitch by David S. Goya that was backed by Christopher Nolan, and then they brought Zack Snyder on board, and then Zack Snyder started having yeah, and creative control with I want to make BVS. it clear, if there's like a scene where, I don't know, fucking something happens, and then Zack's filming it, and he's like, actually, no, I think this is going to happen. What I'm saying in this scenario is there's li like nothing. They don't get to just... They don't get to do anything. There's like just a force field that prevents them from changing anything that they've been told to do. <laughs> um, because I imagine both uh, Ryan and Zach would like fuck with a script that was given to them to no end, uh, depending on whatever their vision is. And yeah, um, all I would base it on is just I quite like a lot of the um, the composition in in TLJ. A lot of the sh a lot of people would praise the way it looks. And that's about about it. Um, Zach has a lot of neat shots too. So it's a little like, and the funny thing is with direction as well, it, uh, they both seem to be quite loved by the uh, cast and crews from what I understand. And then um, mm -hmm. action scenes, maybe that's more down to choreographer, if we can not, because I, I, I don't know that the fight scenes for Snyder's stuff and Ryan's stuff, who's better? <laughs> I don't really, I can't really make a decision on that one. I don't know um, if Ryan Johnson's made anything as good looking as the warehouse fight in BVS. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, I, I think there's arguments for both of them, but it was it was an interesting thought. Like, if you had to have one of them direct your script or something, which one would you rather go with? Um, I'd say Ryan's less obnoxious. Um, Ryan well, doesn't overdo the Jesus imagery. <laughs> yeah, presumably you he could keep Jesus. that out. <laughs> like you could be like, "Hey, Zach, no, put it down." But stop it. Also, seeing Avengers in 4x3 was like, eh. but Pain. I... And it was wildly exciting for me, because again, I loved Watchmen, but it kept pushing my expectations on Man of Steel. It's gonna be like Marvel, right? This is like their- Wait, why would you assume it's gonna be like Marvel if you love Man of- uh, Watchmen? Yeah, what's yeah, Watchmen and Marvel? Uh, Watchmen and Marvel don't seem like they have a lot oh, of- Oh god, no. They oh, are. Yeah, I see where this is going, though. Oh no. Well, uh, I just think there's a- He's probably rambling a little bit, and I think I know what he wanted to probably say, but he hasn't separated them very well, because he was just like, I'm so excited for Man of Steel because of Watchmen, and I can't wait for Man of Steel to be like Avengers. Like, wait. Wait a minute. Feels like what you meant to say there was, you're excited for it to be like Watchmen. Um, or at least the competency in Watchmen would be reflective in Man of Steel. I don't know, but, you know, we'll let him carry on. It's all right. Their first movie, the Iron Man, and then they're gonna build into the Avengers, the Justice League. There's one correct way. Can you tell that Man of Steel <laughs> wasn't meant to be? <laughs> oh, one. 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 I have what? one brain. God oh, damn no. it! I was about Wait. to mix it up with two. Can God we, damn it! Off. Can we can we actually try to keep track of all the words that he puts up on screen? Maybe he's trying to give us a secret message. Like there's. <laughs> Um, all right, maybe this is actually incredible work. So it was different, and I, I know different and one, but what else were there? Zack uh, Snyder and Duh. 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 There was different. one more before that. Um, different. Different Zack Snyder, Duh, one. Oh, I fell in love with this um, film, was that one? Yeah, I fell yeah that was it. So, yeah. yeah, I fell, I fell in love, love with, with the Watchmen. Yeah, um, hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> not convinced yet. We will decrypt uh, your yeah. message yeah. eventually. <laughs> Maybe it will be a nagaram. We'll, we'll 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 make it a game of like <laughs> Mad Lib. Basically, like all right, you have to form a sentence using all these words. <laughs> <laughs> or an anagram, maybe. Nagagram. It'd be really funny if it spells out like "fuck e fap." I hate them. We're just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey. Not bad. gonna put all these into anagram maker later.
Avengers, the Justice League. There's one correct way one. to do this one thing. And watching mm. the movie when it came mm. out, I didn't get Marvel. One. I got this. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you got <laughs> Man of Steel, we have which hit. is bad. We have hit a big conversation point right now. So, a lot of people mm -hmm. got disappointed with Man of Steel, much like Brown Table, apparently, because it wasn't like Avengers. Now, I think you can all probably agree with this. That was not the problem. Not even close. No. <laughs> Most movies are not like the Avengers, and there are many good movies. Uh, yes, and um, I can't remember if EFAP Chat are ready for this, but Avengers, the first one, is better than the rest of the Avengers, being Age of Ultron, Infinity War, mm -hmm. and Endgame. Cannot remember uh, uh, uh. if that is known or not, and I don't know if Avengers is hated in our, in our community or not. I know I that it's considered so. bland, and... Um, and that's just frustrating because it's really good you haven't let him finish his sentence i don't care to i want to talk about what he just mentioned uh um, yeah. man you man you must be new here maybe <laughs> uh, <laughs> so a sentence doesn't have to end for a complete thought to occur yes yeah, so mm. the equivalent of what just happened is um i don't know fucking rags was like oh my god there was seven cars outside my house the other day and i pulled him right there and go it is weird how crazy things happen. Then Rice goes, I didn't even finish what I was talking about. And I'm like, oh shit. Well, I mean, you can. And we will get to it. But I want to talk about the idea of crazy things happening now because you put me on topic, okay? That's what happens here. Uh, don't worry. Mm. I've not said Brown Table is an awful human being with an awful argument yet. We are presenting the potential <laughs> That's and talking implied. about it. Um, he's, he's got a bad track record, and that is fine. As long as it gets better eventually. Um, Please. But yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't mind mentioning, like, there's, um, since Joss Whedon got cancelled to hell and back, uh, there's there's lots of random bits and bobs of sentiments about how shit the uh, the Avengers movie is. It was kind of weird, because, like, it's way more coherent than the other three. Um, like, Endgame and Age of Ultron get blasted out completely. They're both just fundamentally broken. Infinity War mm. has similar problems. But my god, the character work is is excellent. Uh, or at least that's that's my current position. If I without rewatching them all, um, I even like the character sure. stuff in Age of Ultron. I just the plot is so fucking broken yeah, there's as good well. Stuff in there. I like also a lot of the cabin stuff. stuff. Um, but Avengers, the plot is pretty solid. The characters are fucking great, and um, I mean, it's uh, that's the comparison I was kind of making with the others. And uh, with the lists as, as we've done them, and we'll probably do them at some point again, uh, Avengers scores pretty high in the MCU. Has, how does everyone feel about that here? Is it, uh... I'd, I'd agree with that. I think so, yeah. I'd say it's top tier MCU stuff, yeah. Oh, there you go. From memory, well, yeah. I haven't watched it in a while, but I, I think so, yeah. Um, Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Naked. <laughs> <laughs> Weird scene. Hmm. Got a big that dangus. That man is playing Galaga. Oh, he wouldn't notice. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, it would have set some expectations, as well as been influential. Uh, the DNA of the MCU is, as a lot of people put it, ugh, I hate Marvel humor. Oh, we, 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 I think, since Rags has pretty much coined it, calling it Marvel sludge. It's just the approach that they have at the baseline. Mm. You see it in uh, Ant-Man. And the Wasp, I, I, I can't. I haven't seen Ant Man in long enough now that I don't. I'm not confident in saying anything about Ant Man, but I don't remember that being particularly memorable. That's a statement. Uh, I, well, if you can't remember it being memorable, I know, right? Then yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> then it wasn't uh, memorable. memorable. <laughs> but everyone tends to think like it, it's Iron Man, and then like event. Like these are like the significant sort of moments of. Um, the beginning of the MCU, Iron Man got us to Avengers, which got us to basically everything else. I kind of see it as um, a New Hope and Empire, where it, it like it made it go from this experiment that was doing really well to like, oh, this isn't going to be stopped. This is just going to go on now forever. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be stopped. Unfortunately, self-sustaining. Yeah. Hey, that's I like it. That's good. I don't even know if everyone's mm. picking up what you're referencing. Uh, assuming you are. I... <laughs> I mean the words and what they mean. No, it's a uh, self-sustaining, like a uh, like a like a star supernova it's, it's or a kind it's of makes yeah. something very uh, dramatic in Avengers. Uh, changes up the plot a little bit because something gets to be self-sustaining. Not really important. 
the idea that um, DC was not given a fair shake because Marvel made it so that everyone was hoping it would be that way and then judged it unfairly, like, I just never had this issue because I was so totally on no. board with, um... <sighs> you know what? <laughs> a, a more realistic, somewhat darker presentation of superhero stuff. Sure. People have always been fine with this idea and this concept. And, and yeah, and I don't know... It's not like the... It's not like there's so few people who are interested in these movies that there can only be one kind. There's that weird um, idea that, room. like, it, it's much more brainy. And, uh, uh like, you, you, know, you, you gotta spend more time with it, you gotta watch it a couple more times, you gotta understand all the references, you gotta really take it in, while a Marvel movie is just popcorn stuff. And, like, I've always found that so cringe. <laughs> like, <I don't> <laughs> Fellas, I've watched Man of Steel for years, and it has gotten worse every single time. Well, those who are watching the EFAP arc, you'll, you'll notice that we went in being like, well, this will likely be the best one, and we were like, wow. <laughs> I hate it. <sighs> yeah, that's the way to put it. Anyway, we will roll him back and let him take us on a journey. When did Dang. this start? This this whole um like if it's darker it's just if something is more light hearted, um and tonally enjoyable um then does that mean it's, it's just gonna fall, be less a, intellectual? Uh, a recent it's a recent phenomenon because I That's think what I'm thinking. I think Guardian I I like to break it down into there were sort of two periods for sort of superhero content the Dark Knight spurred in grim dark era and Guardians spurred in more light-hearted, uh, irreverent era, and I think it's been lately that we've started to see this shift towards, oh, if it's light-hearted, that means it's stupid and shallow. It doesn't have any depth, which is funny because I think that that's a very shallow and stupid perspective. I'm gonna, it's incredibly I, pretentious as well. I feel like I'm a yeah. little... I've got kind of the same Talking position, you. but in different eras. I feel like that, what you're describing, happened at around what Brown Table's describing. And Guardians helped Usher back in the idea that, well, no, it can be really fun and stupid and found it simultaneously fantastic. And the mistake, f from my perception, comes in at, okay, so darker, more, more, more grounded, more realistic, more adult, more mature, more deep. You know, like, wait. It's an inflation of tone with writing quality. Yeah, I feel like we skipped over a whole bunch of uh, stones there without really connecting them more thoroughly. And it's... It's really annoying because it's just like uh, children's stuff can have plenty of deep thematic messaging to be pulled out Toy of it. Toy Story. Instead of just yeah, being like, like, yeah, but uh, it's a goofy thing. No one cares about it. You're like, yeah, yeah okay. The little Toy Story. Yeah, Pooh's could. Grand Adventure. It was really, uh, when I watched that when I was little, I was like, man, this is getting a little, little, <laughs> little dark. You know, it's a little, this is kind of strange. Hmm. Everyone? Isn't that the one where, like, the inciting incident is that they, they misunderstand school to mean skull? Correct, yes. Yeah. They yeah, think that, that Christopher one. Robin has gone to skull. Oh, yes. Instead of school. I remember and that. And so they go to save Christopher Robin from this, this, this at the time, seemingly horrific <laughs> skull, this stone skull <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a big, there's like a big section that's reminiscent of Peter Jackson's King Kong over this massive chasm, hmm. and some of the characters get depressed. It's, it's, I, I would like to rewatch it again, but that was like hardcore Winnie the Pooh content. I watched it many times actually when I was younger. That particular one, it stuck with me. Um, a lot of imagery in that. Yeah, it sticks I mean... with you. The fact, the fact that like I haven't seen it in so long, and I just remembered what the inciting incident was, was like, yeah, that that movie leaves an impression on you for sure. Winnie the Pooh is better than Zack Snyder. Don't at me. Why would anyone at you? They'd agree. Well, then they do. Yeah, at you there agree. are crazy people the on this planet, Mola. There are very crazy people. Well, I'm sure we've weeded them out. No one's left. The, how could you watch EFAP's coverage of the DCEU? If weeded you felt them the, out. We didn't. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't them out. Oh my god. <laughs> Watching the movie when it came out, I didn't get Marvel. I got this epic with a stoic character. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> epic. Mm. And hey. Was it celestial? Look, uh, it, is it, it is was a big, catastrophe. There's explosions. Uh, there's spaceships. You know, I it's pretty epic. I agree. You guys are just kind of being, you're just being. It wasn't as epic as Who's Grand Adventure, though. One. Yeah.
How could anyone? No one would claim different, right? Come on, be reasonable. Yeah, no one's smart. Well, this is like the litmus test for the intellect. poo test. The Ew. poo test. Yes, <laughs> the poo smear. No. Marvel. I got this epic with a stoic character, scraps of comedy, and an all-around dark mood. Scraps of comedy. Where, <laughs> where's the worst? Is that I like how be... it sounds really uh, like just... bitter. Bad. Yeah, so... scraps of comedy. That would be like a complaint that I would mm -hmm. levy against a film. They're like, well, there <laughs> like... were scraps of comedy. Is he is he talking about the scene where Superman impales the the truck with all the logs and turn that thing into a pile of scrap? <laughs> that is that funny. the scraps of comedy he's talking about? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got the oh, I think he's kind of hot line. Oh, which is apparently oh. Carol Ferris's cousin, by the way. So was thanks it, for dragging Green Lantern into this shit. Was it was it that great moment at the end of the movie where they made fun of the guy asking out that girl that like he helped save her life? Was so it that good. line? That was so that was such great comedy. Yeah, that just made me angry. <laughs> nice. Well, it made you feel film. something at least. Yeah, I was happy to feel something, even if it was, you know, anger, rage. resentment, <laughs> rage, cringe, cringe, you definitely cringe. all the time. Cringe. That's how it cool. starts. Cool. The anger, <laughs> the, the rage that turns cool. good men coom. <laughs> well, it turns good coom bad. Oh. It's all gets all chunky. It makes me sing Kumbaya. Oh no. My lord. Of comedy and an all around dark mood. It wasn't necessarily not what I wanted, but it wasn't what I expected. Uh, it's not really how I saw it. Sex thinking is bad right. and you should feel bad. Alright, so we have one, we have different, we have I fell in love with the Watchmen, Zack Snyder, duh, and it wasn't what I expected. Gonna write these down. Oh yes. <laughs> Saw the Superman character as well, and ultimately I ended up disappointed. As of right now in the present, I think the film's fine, but one of the reasons I genuinely didn't like the Why movie at the time was fine? that so many people around me were telling me this movie is mediocre. What, 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 it's they were wrong. It's not uh, mediocre, it's terrible. Uh, it's like, genuinely awful. Well, you might have should have started thinking for yourself when uh, you know, it was already <laughs> telling you. And just like, mm -hmm, yeah. Everyone yeah, around okay. me was telling it me it was mediocre. mediocre. Oh. oh, baby. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Why is it in 4x3? Because he's an artist. Don't understand. He's an artist, <laughs> yes. No, no. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> People Don't around worry, I gave me you the artist pass. <laughs> telling oh, me nice. this movie is mediocre. This movie is bad. 2016. It is bad. Fucking, why are you putting them on it the is. screen? Why? Might as well put your we whole need to fucking know. script on the screen. Like, come on. Mediocre bad. Yeah, it just scrolls top to bottom the whole time. Yeah. Because <laughs> all the words in my script are important. Well, I remember <laughs> back in the day, I don't know if he still does it, but Joseph Addison would link the scripts of his videos in the description, and at the beginning he would say, you can open them up and read along. It was like, what? Okay. No. What? Okay. <laughs> it was such a weird thought. Okay. It was like, all right. Rolls along, Batman v Superman is here, Batman kills, Superman is still dark, Lex Luthor is not faithful to the comics, oh, everything's always, so uh, weird. The faithfulness wasn't the issue there. <laughs> it wasn't faithful. Yeah, people are that. fine. Um, For the most part, people are fine if it's not faithful to the comic, because the vast majority of people don't read comics, so they don't know anyway. Apply to I say make it better than the comics, but the problem is, um, Jesse Eisenberg was like one of the worst things my eyes and ears well, have ever experienced as yeah, a human being. The important, I honestly think this is a better way to, to go about it anyway, and this applies to everybody in chat and everyone uh, in the world. If you go, Lex Luthor was bad because he wasn't faithful, it's like, no, 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 start stronger. He Talk wasn't how, faithful to good things. Talk about how he was bad mm. because he was fucking nonsensical. Talk about that. You don't even need the comics at that point. It'd be great. Could not understand. Why can't you be like Marvel? What? Why would you? <laughs> no one, no one he, 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 he said. He said earlier he didn't didn't get Marvel at the time. But then he says, "I thought why wasn't this like Marvel?" So you didn't want to understand it. Like, you, what? What a! I know. I was about to say what a childish view, but I was like, wait, was he like twelve? I don't remember because. When these things came out, yeah. close. He must have been close. I don't know, man. But like, oh, why couldn't it be Marvel? This is, I guess, because this why is going to be a big arc, right? I'm just sitting here like, can we can we skip the um 
the toddler era, because like, yeah, these takes are just garbage. -age. Can't you be Jordan, like you Marvel? I, at this time, knew about the Snyder fandom and the certain toxic people who inhabited it. I made fun of how some of them praised Zack Snyder as a god. Well, of course, it's uh, just for fun, uh, and uh, yes, uh, Snyder cultists, right. as they're called, should most definitely be clowned on a bit to humble them. There was something underneath. <laughs> he is one, isn't he? He's one, deep down. He just okay. doesn't want to admit it, but he is one. There was something uh, underneath. There was an idea. <laughs> You're mm. reading it like uh, like Bruce Wayne in Gotham High. <laughs> Good times. I was in a one-sided battle with Zack Snyder. I was in a fight Personally, that he did. Nice. That sounded like oh. Snack Zyda. Snack Zyda. Underneath. Snack -Zyder. I was in a one-sided battle with Zack Snyder. I was in a. Well, you know what? It's fine. I was just hearing things fight that he did not know he was fighting. I was thinking, how does this guy not get it? Why does this man not do what's literally been outlined Good. for him oh. by Marvel? Why did you- why? Why would oh, you that ask is... him that instead of why is your stuff just shit? <laughs> why does he keep saying this? It's so weird. You know if someone said like, we were annoyed because Man of Steel wasn't like Avengers? I'd be like, I don't even know where to begin with that question. Like, what do you- <laughs> not- I don't think Man of Steel should be like care. Avengers. What do you mean? How do you even make a story about Superman fighting Zod and saving the world and getting to know himself the same as Avengers? How the fuck? I was parroting what I heard everyone else say. This is bad because of all these reasons and it should be like this. <laughs> because They're... of all these reasons. <laughs> should. Should. What were the reasons for our table? <laughs> Tell me the reasons! I wish Please so. explain yourself, young man. Would you like to show your work? <sighs> We're not going to get that because the video is too short. I say that oh. it's 17 minutes. That's like a marathon for him. There is a, a correct way. No. You can tell he cared. You put is. No, this is paste like the Snyder Cut. Is. Uh, is. <laughs> is. What, why is? Why would you ever put is <laughs> on this screen? Is. How far is. It depends on what the definition of the word is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Christ. You guys have never written a script, apparently, because this you just put notes next to it saying, make sure this is on screen. I do it for death this bullshit is, with Goodell all the time. Mm. <laughs> Make sure this is on screen. This is yes. code for something. I it's don't bad know. because this of all these on screen. These reasons, and it should be like this. There is a correct way to make art, and it's this. Oh my god! Stop <laughs> art. Because you get what he's this doing, way. right? He's setting up the wrong guy, and he's gonna slap it down. Old brown table. Is that table the sequel to my way? Frank yeah. Sinatra. Oh yeah. Well, there is no correct way to make art. The equivalent it of this. kind of bugged me a lot that um that a lot of people mistake this for good editing because big bold um <laughs> the sort of post well you know like this kind of text just popping up on screen it's like this is this is good editing even though it's like <laughs> nothing shit to do <laughs> it's Stealing really from the it, Russos it, it tricks people that's the thing I'm, yes I'm just it reading people absolutely. I'm just reading through all the words that he's put up on screen. Different. I fell in love with Watchmen. Zack Snyder. Duh. Man of Steel. One. Wasn't what I expected. Mediocre. Bad. I could not understand. There was something underneath. Should is this way. That this sounds like, slang like poetry. Should is this way. It, it, it reads like, um, you know, that the, the, the words that Zemo reads out to make Bucky go crazy. <laughs> That's what this yeah. is. <laughs> you read about it. It, just, you just it makes you. The end. You just have to click the like button. I want to make a rap song with all of these after this is over. <laughs> Word. Good luck. Should it be like this? Go. There is a correct way to make art, and it's this way. I mean, when other companies want to make universes and fail, that's because they don't follow the Marvel formula. Oh my god, stop No, it. stop. Uh, stop saying this. I don't know it... anyone who's ever said this. If it's not like the Marvel formula, it's wrong and bad. Marvel fucked things up a whole bunch. Even in phase you know, one. Marvel can be improved upon, I would dare say. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I want to just highlight this message from uh, someone on the Discord in number 350. Oh. Is this the anti-life equation? <laughs> yes, oh yes it is. This is the ant This anti-life justifies my hate. Holy fuck. This is the anti-art equation. <laughs> anti-art equation. Oh, God. Get to the part where you find out you're wrong, round table. This is pain. Hello, right? Yeah. Hell, I just hey. want Zack Snyder, the guy that inspired me in 2009 oh, to be looks. loved, to be in a spot where inspired. people can enjoy his work. So why no, his does he shit. just not make 
a Marvel movie. <laughs> uh, I like how you think you built up to this point, but you haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way, not make a Marvel movie. Like, and then, well, I'm it'll, yeah, it'll be it'll part be. two any second now. In 2017, oh. I got what I asked for. But I'm still waiting for. for. Oh, the Snyder no. Cut changed my <laughs> life. Okay, okay. The Snyder Cut changed my life. It's, it's I don't know. Price says <gasps> a lot about your life that such a shitty movie can change you. Well, could you argue that a really bad movie could change your life in terms of just like, oh my god, this has changed my perception of shitty films? Um, the Last Maybe. Jedi kind of changed all of our lives. <laughs> Like it, that is true. It put, it put mm. our lives on a trajectory that was not predictable. You know what? He's got a point there. Mr. Table, please seek help. Mr. Table, are you about to explain how this movie was so bad it changed your mind on a lot of things? Because I am on board with that. I am I'm ready and willing. I don't think he's going to say that. No. <laughs> Before we get to part two, let's talk about today's sponsor that yeah, made yeah, yeah. this video <laughs> pop. NordVPN. Don't you think there is a hilarious juxtaposition here of like, you have this super serious intro, it starts from when you're super young, you grow it up, you have all these this worldviews changed about art, and so and they just go, NordVPN, be like, oh. Uh, NordVPN changed like, my life. It just feels like, like, like... I don't knock anyone for doing sponsorships, but just put them somewhere where it makes sense. Like don't yeah, make this, this one whole felt really build awkward. up thing. Start somber music. Like, and now there are sponsors. Like, not no. Maybe what, what maybe if doing? Brown Table maybe if Brown Table put pacing on the screen, he put that word uh, on screen. Maybe he would understand not to do this. Maybe it's just that you a place to put your if head. everything is going as planned, right? And it it, it isn't for us because we find it hilarious. But if your viewer is like, oh, that intro, that three minutes, that was fucking gold. I cannot, I cannot wait. And then suddenly, like, well, do you need a VPN though? And you're like. Oh, well, I, uh, maybe, I guess. I Hide know. this embarrassing movie from my history? Maybe. <laughs> like, yeah, this is why that. CGP Grey doesn't take sponsors, because he doesn't want to compromise the structure of his video, yet, um, and well, we have a perfect example of how that can happen. <laughs> yeah, because I would never want to make the claim that you can't, like, it, there's plenty of people who oh, try absolutely. to implement them pretty well, but, like, oof, that one, I felt that one, you know? And I really feel like video essays between 10 and 20 minutes it is really hard to slot them in because uh, the nature of this sort of project is uh, tonally going to be at odds with an ad. It usually is. Uh, this one certainly was. Possible. Yeah. Okay, so what happens if you want to watch a movie, say the Snyder Cut, when you're traveling and the country you're do traveling that? to doesn't have HBO Max? Oh, no. Well, all you have oh to do God, is. Oh my God, I guess I have to fucking enjoy my vacation. I can't. <laughs> oh, man. I, geez. I can, I can picture up. Rags being oh. on the airplane, someone pulls up next to him, the Snyder Cut, and he's just like, no, no, I don't think so. No. That's no, just, no. no. And I go to the door to the plane. <laughs> you put your, you put your pistol grab, to I, the window, you're like, I will shoot it. I, I I pull out the uh, the 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 cushion of my seat, which also doubles as a flotation device. <laughs> I just jump off the plane. No, nope. I'm swimming maybe. back to America. <laughs> you, you ruined you everything. Zach. How could you? You, you think NordVPN <laughs> is part of his uh, part of his message? Oh, I I I assume NordVPN is 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 coming on screen like this just to match everything else he's done in this video. Yes, it's it's important to okay. get. Make sure you take that in, guys. NordVPN is going to be relevant in the conclusion. Include the mountain. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we use Nord. We make fun oh, of. Oh, we oh, sort of make fun of Brown there. Table a bit uh, for being you know kind of young and naive and not so bright. But there is few few things that he said have kind of I guess bolstered that you know, joke of ours than the young kid who goes on a vacation to an, a foreign or an exotic place and their concern is, can I get HBO Max in my hotel room? You know, like Excellent you have a point. brand new part of the world, all of these things to see, all these things to do, people to meet, food to eat. And you're like, yeah, but what if I can't watch Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max in my hotel? That's just, that sounds like uh, something a 14-year-old a would be concerned with. There's a lad named Marcus who has uh, been consistently angry at us for our coverage of Brown Table. He's like, make fun of him for five seconds of the video. It's like, first of all, 319, all right? We're well on the way. And secondly, <laughs> we don't usually require five. We're often pretty good on one. We can just go right in, you know? Yeah. 
You'll make it through, buddy. I believe in you. VPN, change IP address to the United States, and freely access H- God, could you imagine being on holiday with all your friends? Where should we go? What should we see? And they're like, can we watch Zack Snyder's Justice League? <laughs> I would, um, I would, uh, um, buy a separate hotel room at that point. Uh, Even if I didn't have the money. Also, what shoddy cutting of the 4x3. You know what I mean? It's like the, you think Nord appreciates this? I wonder if they like, would actually take issue it. with this. They're like, can you make this part not 4x3, you fucking idiot? And he's like, no. <laughs> Compromising no. my vision. My vision. My vision. Max, oh. like you know Normally would, but that's just scratching the surface of what NordVPN can do. NordVPN wow. isn't just for getting access to content only available in other countries. NordVPN oh. is a service that can help you with online privacy, website Others access, see your location. Oh, oh yeah, no, you yeah, want to that one so, too. Yeah, you don't want to put that on screen while you're talking about NordVPN because <laughs> it make because I at once thought that Nord allows others to see your location. <laughs> Nord like no, I don't want that. Go away. <laughs> you can upload all of your private <laughs> information. <laughs> Others and again, they got a fucking breach that they took six months to tell customers about, so... Guys, imagine, like, what, what an omni ominous pair of sayings here. Um, I could, oops, sorry, um, there was something underneath and others can see your location. <laughs> oh, well, look, you're supposed to take a, a very positive outlook on this. This man's name here is Anonymous. He's trying to hack into your security, but with NordVPN, you can stop him. That's what you're supposed to take away from this, okay? Idiot. I like his world map. Not you. <laughs> Make sure he knows what the world is. Access and world. online security. There's always people out there who want to steal your information, even your internet service provider. Oh, I... Check and log oh, your no. browsing oh, history. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Picturing Harold over at like BT or whatever, just like. Mm. Well, well, I guess they have a fun night at? if they do that. This message is getting very ominous. <laughs> your ISP <laughs> monitors the website. Be very careful. <laughs> like, oh, did, no. did it, they'll know how much you like Zack Snyder's Justice League. No, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no! Know. They'll make fun of you. They're installing, like, you know, the next whatever thing for your internet, and they're like, by the way, you've seen that movie quite a few times. Like, what's... You like it? Like, what? It's like, I just... Uh, it was a friend. I had a friend over. I just, just really liked the movie. Three you're friends. Like, you're like, oh, hi, I, I had At different to, times. I, I reviewed it online, okay? I reviewed it, and he's like, hmm, yeah, that's what a lot of people end up saying. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll catch you around. <laughs> you watch a bit too much porn as well, just say it, he heads out, you're like, okay. okay. Just saying, what you watch is illegal in seven states, but you're okay here. <laughs> just want to let you know. So protect you. yourself online by using the winner of 2021's Best VPN Overall by VPN Mentor. There's All right. Oh, what would that okay. money back I don't guarantee. know what VPN mentor is. I was about well, to they... ask. <laughs> well, well, I mean, everyone knows VPN mentor. I was about to say, you, just because you don't know what it is doesn't mean it's incredibly not important, Fringy. What the fuck? Yeah, Fringy, this is that elitism that they were talking about yep. earlier. Oh, so you, you can put shadow behind the text. World. Remember, Fr Fringy constantly talks about how important the Oscars are, and it's just like, dude, just because you know what the Oscars are doesn't mean they're important. Yeah, I don't fucking care about Oscar. Yeah, look, look at him. Why would you not care about Oscar? Oscar because Oscar. he's a grouch. The grouch. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I thought you were talking about another Oscar. Oscar I, is also the old uh, bomber plane in JJ the Jet Plane, I believe. What about Ooh. Oscar Isaac? Ah, Oscar yeah. Isaac. He's is going to be in Dune. Yeah. Like, I liked him in Ex Machina. Yeah, he is. I liked him in. Old Oscar is. Uh, Remember that yeah. Star Wars movie? No, he's oh, not the bomb. No, um... I was wrong. Old, no, uh, I'm thinking about Big Jake. Big Jake <laughs> is the bomber plane. Oscar, or old Oscar, he's the biplane. Ooh, he's bi. Yeah, they do a very he special. Is the plane. See, I feel like the character of the person should go beyond their sexuality, but you know, you felt the need to bring it up, so <laughs> whatever. Did yeah, they do a very special episode of Jake the Jet Plane um, about the JJ Harvard. the Jet Plane, not oh, Jake JJ. the Jet Plane? Oh, JJ. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Please. assholes. We're supposed Listen, to get our references JJ right. the Jet Plane changed my life. <laughs> guy is asking, <laughs> guy in chat's button. asking to have us skip the ad now. It's like, no, we can't. No. There's, there's words that are coming up on screen we might miss. Someone uh, said more. Someone in chat said more JJ Rags lore, but they spelled it JJ like the two letters. No, it is J A Y J A Y. Please. Just for that failure, he will no longer provide you additional lore. That's how it works. That's no. exchange. Oh, no, that's the little helicopter. 
I feel like it's just a thing now for us to go through the ad reads in whatever video we're covering. It's almost like we can <laughs> we can find things to talk about as we skip through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> Someone said Jake Jet Plane was a ripoff. That's right. Imagine being a ripoff of JJ the Jet Plane. <laughs> so oh. someone, someone else said uh, Jake the Jet Plane is the is JJ the Jet Plane episode eight, the last plane or something like that. I oh my God. <laughs> the last plane. That was really depressing. I want to see the Snyder cut of JJ the Jet Plane. <laughs> oh, Honestly, God. It, it, you know, you're all going to the cinema scene. It just opens. Everything's really dark. Rain, a lightning bolt, and then one of the characters will be in that rain looking at a dead girlfriend or something and then it'll be like it'll cut to black and it'll go three weeks earlier that's gonna be it <laughs> i saw a photoshop like years ago of Zack snyder's thomas the tank engine that scarred me for <laughs> life um <laughs> thomas the tank engine I, actually i think i can dig it up here it is um fucking hell oh god so uh, i uh, oh no yeah that's pretty oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about if Thomas the Tank Engine was Man of Steel, like, where did you learn how to train? On a farm? <laughs> Literally, how to train. Yeah, yeah that's why, that's oh. the joke. You suck, McVeigh! <laughs> What'd you say that about your own joke? Cr cr crashes into a train station, the coal goes everywhere, fucking, you know, Well, yeah, that was my other thought, and... too. Like, I don't know, Zod is the train, and he's like, don't do this, as he's running towards, I don't know, like a bunch of kids playing on the train tracks. And then he says <laughs> never, and, and Thomas hops the line and nudges him off the, the line, <laughs> and then it's the scene from Call of Duty World War <laughs> to train... to fight on a <laughs> <Keeps farm. crashing. laughs> I love the idea. Oh, you they... would be able to do the train trolley problem at uh, uh, with <laughs> Thomas the Tank yeah. Engine. It's, a liter <laughs> it's not only literally where did you train, but it's literally you a trolley problem. That's how you do it. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine directed <laughs> by Zack Snyder. Suffer the children. Green Goblin should be in this movie. Yes. Thomas the Tank Engine by Zack I'm something of a train myself. I'm something of a train myself. Pick up your mother's train. <laughs> Pick up your mother's train. Dad. You know, that's a good time to mention. When you're in the editing place, and when you're in a call that lasts like 19 hours with another editor, and you just listen to certain clips over and over again because you need references, they start to lose. You know when you say a word too many times? I listened to that Try stupid that. fucking Try thing where he says, pick up your mother's trident so much, it became so funny every time I clicked it. I was just like... <laughs> pick up your mother's trident. <laughs> what, what, a, what a phrase. What are you doing, Willem? <laughs> what, what's oh. going on? Because it wasn't funny when I first heard it, but then I heard it for like the fortieth time, and it was just like, <laughs> take up your mother's trident. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the way he awkwardly deck. climbs the step first as well like he's got to get a little closer <laughs> before he announces it <laughs> yeah in case he actually does want to take up his mother's trident and he has to be able to reach it oh i'm sorry <laughs> this marcus guy is a fun one is oh a... yeah i'm i'm sorry you're right i was thinking about one of the best movies in the dceu <laughs> he said Mola's videos used to be good but now they're clickbait for geeks and gamers what? what? I don't think geeks and gamers appreciate Schmaller's position on this. Night. I was gonna say <laughs> the fan of despise like my position more than likely. I don't know. It's like what a strange thing to say. But all right, keep them coming. Bizarre. I find them funny. There's a 30-day money guarantee. You can use NordVPN on up to six devices, and you can go to nordvpn.com/browntable to get 70% okay, off. Copy that your... entire link, Southpaw. I believe in you. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> seventy percent off. Give you a plan. Plus one month free. Slash brown brown table. table for seventy percent off plus a off a two year plan Wait. plus one month free. We're we just gonna try and feed that into some machine to try and come up with like <laughs> what Brown Table wanted to say. If you take Brown a Table, Friday, slow get down. This please <laughs> off a two year plan of NordVPN plus one month free. <laughs> It's just gonna be there's gonna be a, a frame of this video right where just the entire thing is a wall of text like a leftist meme. Yes. Download NordVPN wow. and get one free Mother's Trident. <laughs> <laughs> mother's <laughs> Trident. What you know? Mother's. The thing about Mother's Tridents is they come with two extra spikes.
Ah, yeah. 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 Oh neat. yeah, Good. so that each spike has less power behind it. So Queen that dead. you can kill three vampires who are huddled together. Yes. Mm. Well, wait, would it work yeah, if it, it has to be made out of wood, right? That would be five vampires, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess five va Man, Korg. That that would be a really impressive uh, little Did you say weapon. Korg? Korg coomed at yeah, that idea. Yeah, Korg's the one who said the vampire huddled together thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. did indeed. He did indeed. But if you have three he vampires did. huddled together. You know, Very in Ragnarok, when they have the, the heads of the, the previous champions and Thanos is there um, on the building, it's quick, and it's supposed to be like an Easter egg. Um, mm. It was really cool, because it helped believe, it helped us believe, dare I say, that he could defeat Hulk the way that he does, and then it also has the bonus of showing that he's a super fucking terrifying powerful person. Yeah. You know, I'm not yeah. gonna say that, like, Ragnarok and Infinity War respect continuity the best or anything, but, like, I miss stuff like that. Little things. Now everything pisses us off. Mm. <laughs> Ragnarok you, better than the DC child. you want. I am more advanced, and I simply say, I do not appreciate this particular form of art as it does not appeal to me directly. You couldn't just say that, could you, mm. Rags? You have to be a child. You have to throw your toys out of your pram. Listen, I will take up my mother's trident, and I will hurt you. <laughs> you Four-pronged is a fork. Oh, well, what about a five-pronged? It it's not a fork. This it's, is it's Aquaman. a five-pronged called... trident. No, it's called a dingle hopper. Okay. Plan plus a month free. And right now, NordVPN is celebrating its birthday, so you'll get all this and a surprise wow. gift if you use the link. So Man, get protected by going to NordVPN. You can your trade it all in your <laughs> for what the box. The box, the box. I brought it up before, but it is my favorite example of uh, this kind of shit when they put it in ads. I'm not saying this is one to one, it's just something that makes me think of it. When they go, Raid Shadow Legends, they do all the ad stuff. Greatest thing ever it has. When they say stuff like over oh, 70 champions, it's always like that means nothing to me. I have no idea. Who literally... are these people? Um, but when they say, like, if you sign up now with this code, you get all of these treasures and these coins, and it can speed you past the opening 10 levels, and you're just like, you just, you just told me, like, oh, this is one of those games where I play to not pay the game, isn't it? Literally, you <laughs> like, avoid... I don't want to play one of those games. Like, you are winning the game the less you play it. It's like, oh, that's. That's a concept, I suppose. Oh, and, wait a second. Yeah. Um, it used God, to be the those. opposite. Is that, what, like, someone's like, oh, don't play level one. Fuck that. Skip to ten. Like, when you first play a Mario game, you're like, oh, I'm alright. I wouldn't mind playing the fifth level. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yeah. VPN.com slash. Skip the content in the game. That's. You <laughs> failed as a game designer if you want to skip it. You say that, and yet they make shit tons of money. Yeah, true. Brown table and getting 70% off a two year plan plus a month free. Ooh, a free month? Wait. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Get your, All right. Get your data stolen for free. Part go. two The Justice League. Part one was like two minutes long. The ad was longer than the part. Yeah, but his uh, video is already yeah. 17, so. There were parts of your video for me <laughs> that were not two minutes long. Imagine. I wish part right, two was right. the ad. And it's just that, like for that section. <laughs> part two <laughs> Justice League. I wish Zack Snyder's Justice League had sponsorship in between parts one and two. For like oh, do make Dunkin' it Donuts longer? or something. Yeah, but it would be a break. No, nah, it would be like, um, it'd be like something for melatonin, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know that they're going to do that, but if ever they did, ads in the middle of movies that actually stop it all, like a YouTube video on when you're watching it on your phone, because uh, any normal person has found a way around it on YouTube normally, because it's a nightmare. <laughs> Have you ever watched a video? Uh, has this ever happened to anybody? And chat, you're welcome to chime in here. If you see an ad, like you get two that are unskippable, that are like 15 seconds, and then literally like three minutes into the video, there's another two. Like if, if that happens to me, I'm just like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I was go chat, I'm not. I just, ugh. I would have to Sometimes. convince myself that I wasn't that interested in the video anyway. Jesus Christ. And what really annoys me as well is the volume difference, which I don't know how you'd solve that, but like if you've had to put a video up and then the ad plays and it's like, blah, 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 and you're just like, oh God, no, please. I think Late at night, like, you got someone sick in the other room. They took that. <sighs> Dickheads, it's time to talk about casual slipcovers. <laughs> I remember the Udi. It was like an Australian hoodie brand. And they call it the Udi. I saw like a million ads for it and I was like, I don't care about the Udi. Stop. 
leave me alone. I don't know much about Australian clothing brands, but I do have some Aussie bums. Those are good. Uh, what are you I saying? Think he knows all about those because he's from the land down under. Wait, what's that? Sorry. Wow. You know about Aussie bums, right? I, I, what, what is that? I don't <clears> worry about it. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit beyond him, right? Got an uh, I assumed since he was he was from you know the land down under. That place. I like he how to... that applies to me, but not Meme, who is also. From... <laughs> yeah, he's risen. Yeah, well, you're you're our, you're the you're the you're like the representative. Oh uh, right, I'm the resident Australian expert. Is that it? You're the ambassador. Yeah. Tell them about the you gimpy told us gimpy, gimpy plan. Oh, that's probably oh. worth mentioning. Some people have mentioned about the ad thing with content creators they like, including uh, sometimes EFAB. If ever you see a cluster of ads on any of these videos, it's because YouTube did it and I haven't done it yet, or I missed it or something, because for some reason, the AI Dude, shoves all the ads AI... right at the beginning or something. Yeah, because I, I, I just recently got to monetize my, my the videos and I looked through it. I was like, oh, how do I how they even do it? And it's like fucking 12 in the first hour and then nothing at the end. It's like, what are, what are you doing, AI? And it even says like, oh, it's gonna place it in like a break part that's natural. It's like this is this is not natural. Like, what are you? This is far away from natural. Hmm. So basically, I have to check every fucking VOD upload I do. It's neutral. Neutral. So anyway, part two. The Justice League. Do, 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 do. It seems like the Justice League is here, and it was not what I expected. It has more attempts at comedy, it was a lot brighter than Zack's usual work, it yes. was definitely unexpected. Yeah, was but of course, that was because Joss Whedon finished Snyder's film. <laughs> he <laughs> attempted put, to save Snyder's film. Why did he put duh underneath this one? I don't get duh. it. Duh. At the time, Snyder left the project because of a personal tragedy, and what was the result of the film that was finished is what Justice I now League call the Justice tragedy. League. I honestly thought the movie was gonna be good. Like, holy shit, the director of the two Avengers movies was finishing Justice League. Finishing is um, the key word there, my good man. As well yeah, as yeah, the studio finishing, mandate. Yeah. What? Imagine being also, any director trying to make a good movie out of Snyder Cut. Oh. Sigh. <laughs> Um, like he tried. Well, he yeah, he tried. Did mention that. Um, yeah, no I would have. Made. I would have been interested in seeing a uh, from the ground up Joss Whedon Justice League, but you know that's not like a huge leap. I would be interested in seeing that from a lot of different directors and writers. Uh, I don't really care to see many people's um, interpretation of Zack Snyder's Justice League. You know what I mean? Like if it was like, oh, let's give it to Quentin Tarantino to finish off and add seventy million worth of bonus things, I'd be like, it's probably gonna be terrible. I don't know why we would think otherwise. I'd watch the fuck out of it though. Yeah, so this is gonna be very but, noticeably yeah. Quentin Tarantino scenes dropped in where they're just really a lot good. of feet. <laughs> 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 but like, well, that was good and enjoyable. That was out of nowhere. That's kind of strange. Well, even the Justice Cup, we have the good scene room. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, you had the part where Flash said, uh, Batcave. <laughs> There's a lot Fuck of good you. stuff in there, yeah, uh, absolutely. That's one of those, yeah, yeah. Good stuff in there. Something that happened. Against advice, probably, from several people. That's how it goes. Like a Some several losers, yeah. Luckily, he went forward with his incredible creative vision, both for the character. <laughs> had a funny <laughs> laugh in there. It was a great moment where we could just breathe and relax as an audience. Oh, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Really Hooray, right? But sadly, that was Hooray. not the case. For about a day after watching the movie, I thought maybe this movie was better than Man of Steel or Batman v Superman. But it eventually is. I realized, uh, no, I'm insane. Justice League no, was you a mess. Are, you were sane <laughs> no, you were briefly, and now <laughs> you were. Uh... I can see why you changed your mind, because your position was correct, and so therefore you had to go back <laughs> to the wrong <laughs> You know, um... It must be so worrying for someone like Brown Table if they look back at a position they had and they were like, it was only because everyone told me that that was the position. And then nowadays he's like, but now I've managed to strike out on my own. I'd just be like, I'm a big boy. Have you, Brown Table? <laughs> have you? Is that what happened? You have failed. Maybe. It's like fucking Twitter was filled to the brim with Snyder Cut is phenomenal tweets. I remember just being like, oh my god, Twitter's no longer well. I was lied to. Yeah. I never even saw the Twitter stuff because I'm not on Twitter and I rarely ever look at it. It was part and of what was I watched Zack Snyder's Justice Cut and 
Yeah, it was horrible. It was well, that so might, terrible. That might inform why it was so much easier for you to uh, discover that, because the sentiment was, it was better and it was good. And having a brain is hard. Overrated. It's scary being on your own <laughs> and having a... For, for Adulthood is, in. yeah. I just, it's just interesting to me. He's concluded definitively that he only felt X because people around him told him so. But nowadays, no, this is 100% homegrown opinion. And you just, I'd just be like, how did you tell the difference, Brown Table? When you haven't changed. This was like a unanimously agreed upon position. I saw so, literally, because we had him on last, uh, last Eva, John CJG was like the only fucking person that I follow that put out a tweet we like, you know, film wasn't very good. And I was like, oh. <laughs> thank goodness. There was also uh, Razor Fist. He apparently uh, thought that standard cut was worse. The problem that I have, tend to have with Razor Fist is that I feel like Razor Fist is also kind of like inconsistent. So, like, I'm not sure if it would be for the same reasons. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. from what I understand, he thought it was way more boring, right? Like that was one of the things he went with it to draw uh, which out. Which is not like which, yeah, it is, but it's not, you know. It's not the I well part, right? maybe he has uh, more specific reasons, but I I didn't know that he thought uh, Joss's vision was better. I thought he thought they were both terrible. Um, not hundred percent sure on that one. Today. I think the thumbnail said like it's worse or Joss's is better or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It was muddled, confusing, the tone was everywhere, and ultimately I thought it was the worst DCU film other than Suicide Squad. Oh, oh. Suicide Squad was pretty bad. Mm, um, but it's not yeah. as bad as Man of Steel. I was about to say, well, it feels like we're on an island. It's like, no, Brad Table. Uh, wait, <laughs> no, wait oh, bad boy. I'm sorry, so are we Get sure that out. Suicide Squad is worse than Man of Steel, though? No, we said better, right? But suicide. It's better. No, 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 I'm sorry. Are we sure that it's better than, than Man of Steel? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Am I sure? I don't know if I'm it's, sure, I mean, but I'd say really, pretty confidently that it is. I'm pretty it's sure. really incompetently put together. You I wish mean, me to... <laughs> <laughs> like, exhibit B, uh, Man of Steel is, meanwhile, is so very competent. Uh, yeah, I don't know, um, I, I can understand the confusion on it, it would be like, what? But, um, yeah, I think there's way more I can talk about positives for Suicide Squad, as crazy as that sounds, compared to Man of Steel. I quickly ran I out of so. things I could say positively about Man of Steel the more we covered it. Um, I mean, I guess there is Diablo. Yeah, like, and, uh, you know, okay. the... the what do we conclude about the villains for Suicide Squad? I don't remember. The villains? Like in terms of Spooky Sorceress like Enchantress and, and her brother? brother yeah, yeah. Or... God, they're... They're... I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly like, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about saying that Suicide Squad well, is like, better than Man of Steel, Drew, but both are really was... bad is the problem. Surely they beat out Zod, and surely the world building of Suicide Squad, as much as there's damage, like where, where are all the superheroes to protect us from this? thing happening. It's not going to be as bad as Man of Steel's, which does that and more, because Wonder Woman should have been helping, and so should um, fucking Martian Man. <laughs> and, uh, he okay, should be helping okay, here but, as well. But, in mm -hmm. fairness, hunka hunka! Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's like, cringe, I mean, that's but cringe. Uh, I mean, that's not... Cringe. There's uh, so released. much more cringe in Suicide Squad, though. Yeah, but cringe isn't... Like, we, it's not really a metric. I don't know, can... that movie made me think that cringe might be objective. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, run away. I would, I would allow. Uh, I, I would, I would totally allow anybody to pick any of the fucking DC movies for like their least favorite, most favorite stuff because it just there's so many reasons for all of them to reach all the oh. places. But I would, I would rather rewatch Suicide Squad. To be clear, I would rather rewatch nah, that than Man of Steel. Nah, honestly, no. I'd rather. I ooh, wait. What? I, I actually might rather watch Suicide Squad than Man of Steel. Oh, I, man. I, I. I yeah, that's what I said. I would rather rewatch Suicide Squad: A Man of Steel. What was what, Fringy saying? I thought you were the one. I thought you were the one saying that you thought. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm not sure what? if Suicide Squad is better than Man of Steel. I'm saying I would rather rewatch it. Oh, I, I don't think I would. Um, I would. I really didn't. You like would, Suicide Squad. You would rather rewatch Man of Steel over Suicide Squad? So like. Matt, I feel like I'm laughing at Man of Steel more because of the memes now. What? You know? <laughs> oh, but yeah, Suicide yeah. Squad's way funnier. No, 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 no. Man of Steel is less funny. Bad. Well, I can see Fringy's point. There are a couple of, um, dare I say, the, 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 the EFAP community has blown them up more than more than we necessarily did, and so it's made it a lot yeah. more fun. While Suicide Squad's ones have been run into the ground over over the years, like all of us except mm. maybe Rags know about all of them. Um, 
And I do remember thinking that Suicide Squad wasn't as fun on our watch through as I remembered it mm -hmm. being, which was interesting. Yep. At the same time, Man of Steel, I'm afraid, is in the trilogy of Miserable, and I want to stay the fuck away from them. I. The trilogy well, of I think Miserable. It's worth that I really wouldn't want to rewatch either of these movies. <laughs> I do hate them both. Suicide Squad's faster. <laughs> we'll be out. Uh, yeah. Is it faster? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Is a Man of Steel? The one we watched was like. Fucking, okay. Was it three hours? Uh, yours was actually only two hours, like 20 or something. It just feels it... very long. Oh, okay. Very long. I, I guess that what we'll, what we'll edge out uh, Suicide Squad over Man of Steel is the amazingly written character that is Slipknot. The man who yeah. can climb man, anything. That kind of, this is the man who can climb anything. He yeah, was he written more consistently than any character in Man of Steel. He, <laughs> he was died climbing. doing what he yeah. loved. He was climbing something. He was yeah, the Slipknot, was... the man who could climb anything, was, he was part of the... Yeah, he was part of Suicide Squad and he wasn't in Man of Steel. He's probably he is in my top five, um, at the top of my top five. I don't know um, why he wasn't in, well, yeah. in Avengers. What the fuck? He, he was. Yeah, so... they could have. They could have used Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. You yeah, know, he, he should have so... climbed into the editing bay and fixed Man of Steel before it yeah. happened. You know, be really Slip, cool. Slipknot. Slipknot, the guy that can climb anything, was so good at climbing stuff. He was able to climb his way out of the DCEU. I. His character think. was intact, so yeah, that's and some, there, there must was be some to that. That's right. If, if he had his own movie, he's got his back. Yeah, I think hmm. he would climb like, like the big payoff in maybe Slipknot three because he would get a whole franchise. Would be like he oh, can cool. climb. You know, like how Wonder Woman climbs like through the clouds. Like he would be doing that. He could attach his winches to like anything and like quantum yeah. winches and like time traveling we need... winches. <laughs> we need a we need a crossover of Slipknot and Spider Man. See who can outclimb the other and we'll, person, and we'll call it Climber Man. <laughs> no, see that's stupid. I was on board with everything up until you said that name. That's no one can take this seriously. <laughs> I just uh. and yeah, like Spider Man would. Did you ever play the the Spider Man game on GameCube? Spider Man One, where you would just fire webs into the sky and they would just stick like that. <laughs> Spider-Man will look in awe as Slipknot basically just does that. And you're like, how? And but without like, web. Quantum technology, Peter. And yes, I know your true identity. And then he goes, no, Aunt May. <laughs> I climbed into your mask, Peter. I was the one who killed Uncle Ben, Peter. <laughs> I can, I can, I, my bullet climbed into his chest. Peter. I climbed Uncle Ben, Peter. <laughs> I, I climbed Uncle I, Ben. I, I climbed into your mind. <laughs> Anyway, take up your mother's slipknot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I thought it was the worst DCEU film other than Suicide Squad. That is, that is, yeah, wow. And I thought, oh man, this How is totally you Warner Brothers' fault. Slipknot. They interfered, and it was not Joss Whedon's fault anything. at all. Now we hmm. know Whedon played a role, but at the time, I didn't know. And one Snyder fan. Wait. All we know is that Joss, uh -huh. like, ignored all of the cast for their fucking ideas. Um, the idea that, like, he wasn't still- he didn't have Warner Brothers breathing down his neck. I just find it hilarious, like, to- because we had YMS on the two EFAPs ago, I think, and he, the first thing he wanted to talk about was, like, how is anyone calling Justice League, like, Joss's cut? How is that in any way his cut? It's just like, yeah, it fucking- it's- it's weird. <laughs> um... Because uh, there's enough pushback to even refer to Age of Ultron as his film is inaccurate, you know? And it's just like, if we're going to do it for Zack, like, we'll only go by what they claim is definitely what they got to do and stuff. Like, I don't see why we would assume that Justice League is some kind of, like, unfettered Joss cut. It just seems weird. Um, but we do know that Gal Gadot and Ray Fisher were both like, hey, these are my ideas for my character. And Joss was like, that's nice. That's about as far as it went. <laughs> Someone also, he was a dick. Slip note. Slip note. Slip <sighs> note. But like the Australian no, so slip note. Note. No. Um, I'm Batman for... v sleep note. This is of course uh, not including all of the stuff that happened with Charisma Carpenter. I was just talking strictly about the Justice League. Yes. At the time, I didn't know. And once Snyder fans understood that Whedon had scrapped a lot of scenes from Snyder's original vision of the film and had- Thank you, Joss. Oh, thank, thank you. you. God. <laughs> says, I don't yeah. care what you did to any woman, thank you. Good choice. He, he says it might showing, have been your own. He says showing the scene where Superman's sound waves go, Whoa, The sound uh, So, uh, 
<laughs> That's funny because like this is one of the things I talked about in the in the rampage, just like the first what I would call improvement that Joss made. It was like, so you're dealing with this? This is what you see in the in your uh you know, maybe the editing bay, and you're like, Alright, this is a bit weird. Is screams work on the boxes? <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just what if we just have it that it's a general sense of fear throughout the world, and that's what makes the boxes like almost ravenous that Earth is ready for the taking. And then someone in the room was like, that sounds kind of stupid too. And he's like, yeah, but it's better though. Like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is better. We could also cut five minutes. <laughs> we could also cut ten hours out of this already. He's like, whoa. <laughs> can... Holy Guys, shit. Can you just imagine being a fly on the wall in the room where, uh, I'd where pay good money for that. Where oh, Joss was, uh, was looking at the scene with the sesame seed. Oh yeah, I, want, I would love to have seen him cut that. Yeah, I want to see him hit delete on the, on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this one like he doesn't even. In. Yeah, he doesn't even say anything. He just like just looks at it. No, and just goes, like, hmm, I, I like delete. to think that that Joss Whedon making this film was like Death Note. He's just like delete, <laughs> delete. <laughs> I pick like, up a sesame seed and eat it. <laughs> There's some assistant sesame seed and delete it. There's some assistant that's like really tied to a lot of this footage. And they're like, "Oh, this is like my favorite scene with the flash." And Joss like, uh, well, no, oh, wow. Joss, Joss now goes to to Five Guys and he's like, "Can you get me like a bun without sesame seeds, please?" It's <laughs> <'Cause, 'cause>, um, <laughs> as penance. And yeah, like you cut the sesame seed thing, and then you cut a lot of like the the bloat in the scene, like lots of different, and then you you cut more and more, and you're like. What what even is in this scene? It's like it's Flash being awkward and then meeting the girlfriend that's gonna be kind of it's like let's just mm. drop it. It's, then he like touches just, her without her consent. Scrolling. And it's really weird and it is really like, weird. Oh, we don't have to have that then. And, it's um, just scrolling through the movie. It's like is she sniffing a sweater? <laughs> delete. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that would have been one of the what easiest deletes. Get the shit it's all right. They're here. pagans. Why, why is one <laughs> woman a bloodbath murderer? Okay, I mean, we're getting we're cutting I, that down. I need to see him react to the Icelandic girl singing and sniffing Aquaman's jumper. I, uh, it, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. It would be so awesome if he, like, asked the person that was just, like, an assistant or whatever, and he's like, so, yeah, I'm not quite getting it. Like, what, what's, um, is this some kind of, like, backstory here or something? Like, these people, and the guy's just like, I have no fucking clue, dude. Like, <laughs> like what's, what's, what's the over-under on just how many seconds Joss watched before he's like, yeah, we're cutting this. <laughs> Well, um, eventually he just goes, can we just do it again? If he's super brutal, as as has been implied, maybe he's like, some people are like, oh, don't delete that. And he goes, fuck you, and hits delete. And he's, 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 he scams <laughs> he it all. He slaps him in the face. Like, and then fuck, shut up. he hits import, and then the it's file that, name uh... is better stuff, and it's all the stuff he recorded. That's how much of a it's... fucking, how much of his head is up his ass. It's that. It's that scene, uh, the the Homer Simpson um, portrait of an ass grabber, <laughs> and it's just like instead of a cat, it's a scene. It's like, no, Mister Whedon, a scene is a living creature. I don't care. <laughs> I feel like it, the only people who are gonna know that probably is it me and Meme. I can't remember because we're the Simpsons obsessed <laughs> people. It, look, Fringy's reference was good. Everyone else, have a chuckle. Now I'm gonna cut yeah. me something ah. sweet. It's like, no, if you do that, the whole oh, country will hear. With a man in the White House, not likely. <laughs> so, Mr. Whedon, you grabbed his sesame seed. <laughs> what do you have to say to your defense? No, no, Mr. Whedon, don't take your anger out of me. Get back, get back, <laughs> Mr. Whedon. No, no, the lip, Mr. <laughs> Whedon. No, may not have happened. Anyway, so had replaced that ones. Things got heated. They started demanding a Snyder cut of the film, some harassed and bullied, while others just passionately supported Snyder's work. And the pleas. I have a cut, it's done. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> you needed way more. $70 million to uh, finish it. It needed a whole lot less. The stuff that was a fucking assembly cut. I think about the, um, you know, the flash scene at the end of the time travel stuff. A lot of people are like, he just cut that. And it's like, he probably cut some kind of weird green screen shit that, that, that was done. Where he was running on the mm -hmm. spot or whatever, because like I doubt that they would have spent all the money on that incredible CGI sequence to cut it. It was probably not done yet, and so it was probably in previs at that point. Yeah, a lot of probably people, said we can't have this. It breaks like the oh, well, character so that's, and his power. That would be like the logical reason to cut it, and then like people are saying, yeah, but like look how much look how phenomenal this. It wouldn't have looked like that when he cut it. More than likely, it probably wasn't done. Chill out. Probably look like a PS2 game at best. Yeah. For a Snyder cut, kept going. Stuff, yeah. 
What about pre previs? Ah, mm. you got me down. Uh, yeah. so, so the pre script. And the pleas for a Snyder Cut kept going for, I think, about three years. Zack eventually oh. confirmed there was a nearly five-hour-long version of the Justice League film. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> and that's Imagine wanting that for three years. What else is in there? <laughs> like, oh, all it's of the good. walking. There's got to be so much more of it. <laughs> and a Snyder Nine, two, Cut 14. did... Is it real? Does yeah, it imagine exist? all the places we didn't see the Justice League walk. Wait, how long is 214? Is that four hours? It's real. Does it exist? Of course it does. Fools. Didn't you know? Indeed exist. But at that point, I feel like a lot of people, that including myself, That cut is shorter than what we got. Uh, well, maybe 214 it 214 minutes is only 3.5 hours. What did you add? Oh, hey, right. Hey, you, you filmed up. a bunch of bullshit. You round up, okay? 3.5 to 4. You round up. Why he gave us a really great Jared Leto Joker nightmare sequence. <laughs> God, it was it's amazing. Just Dude, it would be so funny as fuck if he literally just didn't have anything else to put in and he'd start looking through to extend the walking sequences just to add as much as... Literally the reverse of what an editor's <laughs> supposed to do. Like, like, what can we extend? There's gotta be more. If there's more, it's better. ...version of the Justice League film and a Snyder Cut did indeed exist, but at that point, I feel like a lot of people, including myself, wrongfully so, thought you're lying it doesn't exist oh yeah, you're it lying <laughs> it doesn't exist in a meaningful discussion of all of this it really didn't but theoretically everyone's cut exists the rags cut i want to see hence the title yeah. of this stream is involved we release the rags cut you know I want Actually, to see Rags's You take. said that you wouldn't be doing a lot of talking but i had a feeling that that wouldn't happen <laughs> Well, I gotta, I gotta make up for um, who hasn't been talking much. Think of somebody, Rex. Um, uh, like in the stream currently, <laughs> Metal. Yeah, I'm making up for Metal. He's useless. Well, I was like, cut off like three times, and then I gave up. So it's fine. Yeah, useless. <laughs> That's not an excuse. That's never. Shut the fuck up, meme. Whoa. Okay. So, the six people of us. Yell, people hear me. That would actually be pretty funny <laughs> as a crazy nonsense, probably unethical thing to do, uh, to give all of us all of the footage from both Joss and Snyder's lock us in rooms and the six of us have to come up with a, a new cut and then the world judges which of the six is the best. And ten years prior, I could have been like, you know what? My cut exists. It does. If we could just <laughs> somehow fool the world into thinking that our cut was actually the true Zack Snyder cut, then they'd like that the best regardless of quality. Well, in Release a year's the time, cut. if Zach said, Hashtag. by the way, that wasn't my cut. I was told to say that contractually. That wasn't my cut. My cut <laughs> does exist, though, and you post pictures of, like, the fucking 12-hour cut, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Run. Run. What are we supposed to think? I don't know. Sesame Seed is gray edition. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying you wouldn't Justice watch it? Justice Buns. I probably, if I made a cut, I'd probably <laughs> want that to be the poster, actually. Pretty cool. You don't know what it means. He faps Justice League. At the time, the DC Extended Universe was in shambles. Wonder Woman at the time oh, was it the- it was in shambles, but now it's better. <laughs> it was. What do you mean at the time? But this it's still in shambles. It wasn't shambles. No, it's annihilated. Thank you, Zack Snyder, this, you saved this, it. <laughs> this is not canon to the rest- He was responsible rest... for it being in shambles. Oh, yeah. Well, keep in mind, this this uh, movie is still not canon with all the other movies that have been released since. They are not going to be canonizing this film. It's still in shambles. Oh, dude, the amount of people who are like, does Mullen not realize that all of those films he referenced being out of continuity with Snyder's were made after Snyder's, so it's their fault? Fascinating. When I thought I included wow. in the video, they think that Snyder's films are like they—they're congruous and logical. There's two I mean, huge arguments against this. One being that all of the directors formed their little treehouse club and they said Joss Whedon <laughs> sucks, and we all work together and make our films coherent. Yeah, they never like, gave Joss so that the was password. a lie. Second, <laughs> what do you like? Like Joss Whedon made his coherent, and he made his earlier than Snyder released his. So what the yeah. hell's the excuse? <laughs> James Wan claimed that, oh, uh, the Snyder Cut is in canon with Aquaman, <laughs> but Aquaman lacks the dolphin noises. <laughs> I, Patty Jenkins lot. claimed that uh, her vision was uh, syncing up with Snyder's. No, it wasn't. She literally, as we learned from High Top, 
said that Wonder Woman does not solve her problems by beating people to death and stuff. And it's like, hmm. oh. <laughs> and Zack Snyder's like, yes, yeah, she does, bitch! Well, so genuinely, right, if I was making an Avengers type thing for DC and there was only one Wonder Woman video uh, film prior to that and she had created this Wonder Woman version and she will never, like, kill people. Like, she just absolutely would. I'm probably going to try and respect it. Be like, I would want to talk to her and be like, are you cool with the idea of pushing that on her? Are you cool where we're going? Because obviously you'll be making Wonder Woman 2 after this equivalent of Avengers. But, like, he didn't give a fuck. He was like, nah, she's splattering brains all over the place. Shut up. I'm like, oh. Yeah, fuck that. I, you're Wonder Woman. Yeah, fuck that shit. And I she's a, a killer. Of, um, she's a cold-blooded killer. A lot of characters were like, well, you know, she's trying to save lives, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, a lot of the point with characters, the superheroes that don't want to kill, is they, they knock people out. They don't ram their skulls into concrete, because that does stuff to you that's permanent. Simple as it, that. Yeah, it involves death and dying. <laughs> In the process of being not alive. You go from being alive to not. Hmm. Take up your mother's dingle hopper. <laughs> oh, I was just about to post that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, someone, for... Oh, we posted at the same time. Thanks, someone, for Yahtzee making this the Dingle Hopper meme. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, did I post The best one? DC no, yes. They were going in a new direction past <laughs> Snyder, with Aquaman being a lot more fun, as well as Shazam. Shazam that ended up being one of my better. favorite DCEU. Fun. That's fun, fun, fun. Wow. Fun. So... I, I have a very fun. strong feeling that Shazam's going to be the best one. Um, Look at that face, though. But it's still not good. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, I'm well, sorry. You can join the team, right? They're all that not good, but some of them get above the but, others. Well, this, I think that Shazam's, like, the most lighthearted and fun and probably will have the least broken theme slash psychopathic superhero. Mm -hmm. It's so, more lighthearted and fun than Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> do you think the movie's in trouble? Minus when... the genocide we just don't talk about. That was a really fun and lighthearted movie. I can't, of. that, I didn't even, like, it's so shocking. He just starts killing everyone. You're like, <laughs> he, he, he massacres the army that was fighting basically on his side, <laughs> and no one ever talks about it. Maybe that's the part that lines up with Zack's vision. Again, if you that's made like, an Aquaman 2... I can see two, that being a meme. The crap people, or...? No, that like, like we just don't talk about the fact that there was a genocide in that movie, and that's it's just Aquaman. every once like someone every once in a while in a video just brings up whenever as an example of people you know, or things that people forget. That's the go-to example of remember that time Aquaman just like slaughtered the army that was fighting on his side, and no one talks about it, huh? <laughs> like a conspiracy or something. I would genuinely want uh, it to come up in Aquaman too if I was making it. I'd be like, like, like he needs the help of the crab people, and they're just like mother. Fucker, do you, really? <laughs> wow. Like the king is it's barely alive. He's on like respirator yeah. thing. <laughs> John Rice Davies is just talking to someone. Like, let's go to the crab people. It's like, ah, maybe not. It's like, why? What happened? I mean, you kind of killed all of them, basically. Yeah, I guess you don't remember. Total that. massacre. I, I remember this this huge Cthulhu monster. Yeah, you, you came out of the ground that way, like all above you. Like, hey, Mola, remember when I joked about that being the ending because I haven't seen it, and then you asked, oh, are you sure you haven't seen the film? <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, when you're watching a new DC movie and you guess, uh, is there a genocide, there's a good chance you'll be right. <laughs> mm. Like, uh, more than good. It's like a 60% at this point, so good stuff. I, I just can't wait for us to watch Shazam. That's the next one that we're watching, right? I think so. Shazu. That or Birds of Prey, whichever one. Yeah, I think, yeah, continuity-wise it would be that than that, but I don't think it, those films even know each other exist. <laughs> Much like... <laughs> no. See, that was DC's plan from the beginning. Marvel have just sort of fully began that trail now, where nobody cares about any other projects in the actual universe. Well, yeah. now what uh... it is, is a lot of people go, see, DC is embracing what they're good at, which is when their stories don't connect to each other at all. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I find it really annoying when people say this because it's just like, oh, but DC does multiverse. It's like Marvel does multiverse. Also, I don't care. These are adaptations. <laughs> also, I don't like. <laughs> <care. laughs> I, I think we said this before, but like the idea on its on its face, like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. There's lots of things you could do. But whenever I see that in this sort of stuff, I'm like, mm, mm. they're gonna use it I want... to excuse shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have to. Do... It's it's a multiverse. Ooh. Mm. 
Yeah, it doesn't have to matter because it's the multiverse. Nothing matters. We have time travel. Fuck that. Woo. Films still director focused, but not as dark as before. So why would we? <laughs> so why? So, so why? why? The question oh, we have to be a good addition a to lot. the text cinematic universe. Why? Why? Got... Why? So why others can see your location? <laughs> yeah. We retrace mm. our steps and release an old movie, which we wouldn't be able to consider canon. And as three years passed and Snyder fans got louder, my pessimism grew. Wait, did you just I say was that tired. Justice League wouldn't be able to be considered canon. Um, I mean, it's not a cut, right? Yeah, yeah I think he means it's not a cut. Oh, yeah. I think he means not a cut. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zack Snyder, finally. The Snyder Cut got announced. <laughs> Fucking visual. <laughs> the creator. As more information on what happened to Zack Snyder came to light, how Warner Brothers didn't trust him anymore, how Joss Whedon butchered his work and. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. A couple things have been said here. Okay. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Things to break down about that. This but thing. Just, oof. I don't like this whole. Uh, they don't trust him anymore. Like, like as an artist. He deserves Warner Brothers to let him go nuts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's all remember, right? Warner Brothers have money, and then they choose to give it to somebody with caveats for what they want them to do with it. That's just how it works. If at any point they decide, I think you're losing my money, and then they pull the plug, there shouldn't really be anybody going like, wow, you guys have ruined everything. <coughs> Um, but of course, the, like the because it's really weird from us because we're like, oh, he fucked up Man of Steel. Oh, he fucked up BVA. Why are you giving him Justice League? And it's like they pulled the plug during that, and you're like, oh, okay, because apparently they were planning on doing it sort of regardless of the the tragedy. Um, and, and people are very furious about like, it's like, nah, he needs to like he needs to be given all of the DC. And it's like guys, like Warner Brothers don't have you, you don't get to decide who Warner Brothers gives their money to. It's really weird. They, yeah. they they clearly don't like the idea of them not trusting him is absurd. It's like I mean I wouldn't like what would I trust him to do? It's like oh god, let him handle Green Lantern or something. You're like oh no 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 please, it's gonna be he's gonna make he's gonna make a big splooge. It's just gonna fall on people. That'll be the power. When he, he'll be an upgrade yeah. from lasers. Um. Oh um, I know what he does with Green Lantern in Justice League Two. Uh, he he's useless for most of the film, and then he shoots a laser at Superman. But Superman counters his laser with heat vision, explodes his arm, and then kills him. Oh, uh, I clapped. Um. Yeah. So, uh, it, the narrative is evil company sitting in on their millions don't give this auto his freedom and the money to make an incredible film. I'm just sitting there like, you guys are nuts. You'd never have given him the money. You would have given it to someone else or created it yourself. You wouldn't create shitty things. And, um, yeah, I don't typically go to bat for huge companies, but my god, like, it's not hard to understand why they were like, yeah, maybe someone else. Maybe, maybe not Zach. Maybe, maybe we tried and failed too many times in a row. And then, uh, the concept that Joss butchered, uh, Zach's movie. Which might be applicable. It was either rags or freaking I was talking to about this. It's always used in a negative connotation, but to butcher something is like a neutral. Like you're gonna cut it up, do other things with it, or whatever. Like most core definition. And technically speaking, yes, Joss did butcher it, but like good thing he did. He like performed surgery. To an extent. Because Joss's League is still terrible. But I mean, still yeah. bad. <laughs> Snyder just had to let him do his thing. I started to contemplate um, I don't like the creative though. process. Oh no! Creative. Please process. tell me your thoughts on the creative process. process let us process. yes. Let us delve. The creative. Tell us about process. Interstellar Ranger commence go sushi happy. How happy, yes or movie. Or these are a group efforts, but most of how a movie ends up is all down to the director of the film. Mm. But oh. uh, they are a group effort. Yeah, I don't know how. I guess how much uh, will depend on the individual the project. Director and the director is probably the most director. important. Yeah. They're the most important person on the project for sure. But it is collaborative. Like it like, is collaborative. Like they can't do everything. Nope. Of course not. Um, there's a lot of people who are Yet. involved: writers, cinematographers, actors, like, uh, designers. 
I want to agree with him, but I can't. Pre visualization, you know, concept art, visual effects people. It's a lot of a lot of people working on it. Especially it's, when it's hundreds of millions of dollars. It there is, is it is probably the most collaborative thing by video game development, which would probably be the the peak collaboration. Big blockbusters don't work like that. There's committees. There's so much money involved that a director yes. cannot yes. lose money. If there's money at stake, you have to play it safe. Meaning, you should probably not have trust Zack Snyder anymore. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to. Avengers wasn't safe. That wasn't a sure thing. But there's a lot of Marvel properties that weren't safe, like Guardians, no, for a, example. Well, Guardians was... Yeah, you could the probably say the same for Iron Man. That was like a, let's hope this works. And I'm pretty sure in production, it was like a nightmare. So, um, oh yeah, half the, yeah. most of the films improvised, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Most of Guardians I... was improvised? Oh no, most of Iron Man. Oh, okay. thought about how if I had a dream project, an idea, a film, a series I wanted to make, <laughs> I didn't want to have it sullied by someone who didn't understand my... Oh my sullied. god. Oh. But you, you Zack Snyder though, he mindset. does understand. Oh. You do have to change his mindset. Like, if people are giving you money... It's probably worth actually listening to them. <laughs> no way. Every now and then. Like, if I read a script by anybody else, it's amazing, and then I give $200 million, and then they're like, okay, but you can't tell me how to do anything. I'd be like, fuck that. I can veto uh, you. No. Yeah. Like, there's fuck no... that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not your money. It's amazing. You're not the, I mean, it's, it's really easy to fuck around with other people's cash when you don't have yeah. anything to lose from it. Yeah. Well, like you'd under you probably understand this a whole lot. Well, Brown Table was the one saying, uh, "Remember when the theaters closed?" Mm -hmm. He was. Uh, what was the name of it? The the big the theater chain in like California or something closed, and Brown Table tweeted, "Well, how, well, how come all these rich people don't just give it hundreds of millions of <laughs> yeah. dollars to save oh, it?" Oh fuck! Like, what kind of hell? rich person just funds it? Because that's how Brown Table's naive child mind works. Oh, it's... Because then they will not have money anymore, and that would be bad. It is actually hilarious just... that he was just like, can't a rich person just fix all this? <laughs> like, wow, yeah, I guess so. I wonder how quickly he would Someone... part with his millions the second that he earned that amount. ...who didn't understand my vision. If I was to change my ideas, it would be on my own terms. I would ask. I would not be well, forced. I think making Interstellar Ranger Commence really changed the way I view involved. things. Make I'm sorry, what was that, Fringy? Thomas says what? Like, I find it... Because, I mean, it's the reality of if somebody's giving you money, it's like you're kind of making it for them at that point, um, in a certain sense, which means that, like, it's, uh, occasionally they're going to have notes and yeah, sometimes, was... sometimes you have to like compromise because you have to pick your battles. It's one of the most common things that people talk about whenever it's a big project is pick the things that you're you're going to fight for because you're not going to be able to get everything you want. You just not, especially, especially with an established property that has yeah. a lot on the line as far as the reputation of it goes. That's um, the big thing. Is just like if you're making a Marvel oh. movie, and and then of course like there are lame instances where that doesn't pan out like with Edgar Wright not getting to do Ant-Man um that's really lame uh but even if he got to make his film there'd be things that he would have had to have like compromised on it's just the nature of the process yeah if you don't want to compromise write a book like <laughs> that would yeah. be more advice or, or you, fund you your own pony project, up the bucks basically. or you pay for yeah it, when all yeah. the risk is on you when the when it's all your money yeah you do whatever you want that's I bet you. George I Lucas. bet you won't when it's all your money. I bet you'll want to play it safe too. That's why. It's why George Lucas did the prequels the way that he did. He was funding it himself. It was mm -hmm. all him, and hence he gets all the blame. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> it's um, a pretty good system, honestly. But yeah, I. Uh, it's just it comes across super naive, right? It's like yeah. indie is going to be the place you want to go for if you want to get close to something like that, but not this. Not oh, hundreds and hundreds of millions, and not to mention the amount of jobs, the amount of people's um, livelihoods that are extinct. Because it's crazy. If Zack were better, there's probably so many people in the cast and crew that have been like, "Man, you could have, you could have had so much." To mm, all right, well, why'd you have to do all the genocide? Making something for years now really helps put things in perspective. 
I don't want my vision to be compromised. But what makes me so special? So no one's vision should be compromised. Oh, you're very special. If the movie ends up shit, no one's vision you should be compromised. <laughs> huh, shit. <laughs> ride it, okay. ride it, ride it. What, oh. uh, the weird shit on screen that Zack Snyder? <laughs> um... Yeah, the, you know, like the whole no one's vision should be compromised thing. It starts to get into the whole subject of what it even means to have a compromised vision. You know, if like you have an idea and then a friend walks up to you and says, oh, by the way, blah, 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 blah. And then your vision like changes completely because of what they said. Does that mean it's not your vision anymore? Or does it mean it is? What if you just don't know how to do it? Like, what if you don't know how to use the correct plug in or whatever in Sony Vegas? Is your vision compromised? And yeah, and, and then what if someone says, hey, Fuck you, I'm taking over the project, and I'm gonna do this. And you eventually rewatch it once it's done, and you're like, oh wow, that was actually really good. You know what, I probably would have ended up doing that, actually. Hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know how these rules work. I don't even think people know what their own creative, like, vision is in full. I think it's a lot of, a lot of it is a lot of impromptu, on-the-spot decision-making, and... Like when someone asked uh, George Lucas what color Yoda's blood was, oh, yeah. you just gotta like you just have to decide what color Yoda's blood is. Green. I guess it's green. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, I guess it's green. And George Lucas has to make that call, and he probably had never thought of that before he was asked the question. Uh, so, like, um, what is the process of redrafting if not refining or even downright changing your vision? Yeah, I would, you know? uh, I would argue it is your past self's vision being re-rendered by your new self's vision. Because you'll even, I'm assuming everybody's gone through this, you'll see something you did and you go, no, I disagree, this isn't actually what I want. And, you, and then past you is like, hey, that's my vision. <laughs> You're like, well, fuck like, you. Shut I'm up, like, past me, I've grown. I've grown past you. Oh no. I, I, I have I, become far more powerful since last week. I just saw the screen cap of like of some of Marcus in chat. This movie was good. You're part of a religion if you don't enjoy this movie. Part of a religion? I beg <laughs> your pardon. Religion. It's more of a cult, but I didn't... that's basically what a religion is. It's just a really popular cult. Imagine though, someone founds a cult <laughs> specifically for just thinking Zack Snyder's just like as bad. It's like, man, there's better things. They to probably do with feel life. very oppressed. Yeah. That's a cool cult, I think. That's a good way to bind people together. I would go visit. Shared oppression. Assuming there's no, like, sacrificing or you know, Kool-Aid stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'll chill out with you guys. What do you think? Yeah. Why is it bad? And then, like, it's boring. I will tolerate right? one goat sacrifice. That is all. Miss, Mr. Biggles Just... would be the equivalent of Satan for us. I think so. I suppose, yeah. Meister Biggles. But if the yeah. show shit, then let it be shit. At least it's 100% <laughs> it the artist's work. No, At least it's pure shit. <laughs> Oh, At I'm least done. it's pure I'm shit. I'm done. If it's shit, thank <laughs> At goodness. At least that shit is See, pure. But it's, no At corn. Least it's pure shit. No corn in there. Just shit. I it's don't think that's sludge. better. I don't think. No. That it's better to have them unrefined. Why not have people go, man, that one scene where the baby gets eaten by Superman? Maybe cut that one. <laughs> Maybe. Like, no. hmm. But it's my vision, though. And you're so... like, yeah, no, I know it's your vision. I so by this logic, we no longer uh, criticize the prequels because at least, hey, even though it was complete shit, it was it was the artist's but shit. It was it was all George big, Lucas's vision. I, I agree, that's a pretty big one. But here's the even bigger one. So what if Joss Whedon said, "Man, I am so fucking happy with my cut. It is my vision, my vision completed." Oh. What happens? Oh. Do we say, "Yay, at least Joss got to have his vision," or do we say, "Well, no, fuck you." <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I don't think we applied. No, Mahler, we don't apply this rule evenly. Oh. I'm not hey, a fan the, of when that happens. The Batcave line was Joss Whedon's vision. That's right. Yeah. And, and what a blessed line. vision it was. <laughs> oh. Uncompromising, unyielding. And so now I found myself wanting to support this man. I also started. What is this? <laughs> why, why is this the image you have chosen, Brown Unyielding. Dable? Unyielding. That's all I that's all I got. You know who else had a vision? Hitler. I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> I saw that coming. Um Hitler had a vision. The thing is, so did Genghis you're memeing, Khan. You're memeing a bit. 
but if he were here, I would be like, let's Hitler set the or scale. Brown table? <laughs> I would talk Just to so we're clear, I don't, uh, it, so if Hitler was here or if Brown Table was if here? If Brown Table was here, I would probably be like, okay. let's let's set the scale. I'm not doing this for bad Brown faith. Brown Hitler. Hitler had a vision, and we're, we're, we're very much against him enabling the vision, right? And he'd probably be like, oh yeah, well that's involving people getting hurt. And I'd be like, okay, I was hurt by the sniper. Like all right. Hit my eyes. So, <laughs> surely that counts for something. I, I just find it all... Uh, Fascinating that the freedom to like engage in your own vision, which is pretty rare. If Zax claimed it absolutely was, then fine. But he like likes Zack Snyder now because he got to have his vision. I don't know. Oh, seems seem fair. Okay. I don't know, man. But like, uh, I don't know. Stop maybe we'll, well, hey, maybe we will start liking Brown Table more once Interstellar, Commence Rangers, Sushi Go, Happy releases no, maybe when we get to see brown tables vision it will make us like him more. it's interstellar marines idiot. interstellar space fairer of inter testicle marine galaxy warriors <laughs> Gal Galaga. galaxy warriors of the guardians seeing man of steel Come. and batman v superman not as comparisons to marvel not through the lens that i wanted to see them through but i saw them the way zach wanted them to be seen what yeah, does that why are you using a jar of piss? <laughs> piss. <laughs> piss. piss so now we ask the question <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? this is the visual you put on if you're making fun of it not if you're supporting <laughs> it's a jar of piss now we ask the question i would, is I, would this agree, video though. A parody? I would agree with the subliminal Brown, messaging here Brown. Brown Table is accidentally based. <laughs> well, he's gonna change his name to see, Yellow Table. I'm probably gonna lift <laughs> Even this. Even the filter on this scene is yellow. I'm probably gonna lift this one to one for Goodell 2022. Um, because <laughs> why would I need to change any of this? I will say, like, I finally stopped seeing it through the lens that I wanted to see it through, and started seeing it through the lens that Zach wanted me to see it through while showing piss. Like, why would you do this? <laughs> Release uh, the jar eight cut. Release the piss cut. Oh, we already have that. Sorry. Oh no, no, it would be the piss take. Zack Snyder's vision colored twenty twenty one. Look, when <laughs> when you are when you are just wolfing down a, a hamburger on a sesame seed bun, you really gotta gotta wash it down with a jar of piss. You know, I keep that in my extra piss. large cup holder just for that occasion. <laughs> Uh. No, oh, oh, here's another uh, knee slapper from the Marcus. Um, 95% approval rating, rating audience score. You guys are alone. Oh, that's okay. we're often alone with a lot of our takes. That's not true. There's dozens of us. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> dozens. At least. Um, if, that's, if that's the case, how many uh, MCU movies have that rating? Um, bum, bum, we don't talk bum, about uh, that because they're not a vision. But the vision is in them. They're a they're a Wanda vision, right? Oh yeah, that's right. We can say those things now. Are we not clever boys? Guardians of the Galaxy. And honestly, they're not my favorite movies, but I started to enjoy them a lot more. And so, with much anticipation, I readied myself for the inevitable four-hour journey I would put myself through. Four-hour journey. I find it... Okay, so again, he's using a visual of, of Lois walking away from Superman's grave in a cemetery as he's talking about how he, he came here prepared. He's ready for something to come. <laughs> like, mm. I mean... Look, it's the oh. end of BVS. It's, it makes total sense. You shouldn't draw from this that waiting for the Snyder Cut and watching it is equivalent to laying to rest a loved one in a graveyard. Yeah. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Like, you know, it, it made sense totally. It's not a mix of visuals that It's appropriate, you a... though. The mm -hmm. Snyder Cut does feel like a funeral. Yes. <laughs> oh. And I pressed oh. play. Guardians of the Galaxy only has a 92% approval. Oh. Oh, so it's shit. If, it, yeah. if only it was someone's vision. Yeah, yeah that would have fixed it. Faith. 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 I loved the Snyder Cut. It's kind of surprising to say. Why would you show this bit? <laughs> Why would... Okay. You know what? With uh, I'm the... The giant a little behind Wonder Woman where a wall used to be. <laughs> there is no 
like there's no scene you could have shown that I probably wouldn't have had that reaction. But it's just funny because this one just makes me think of like, oh yes, when she blew open a wall for no reason to vaporize a person. That was the thing. <laughs> and then told a little girl that she could be anything when she grows up. <sighs> I think Dang. yeah, it's like uh, it's just like it, a naive little girl learning something from a superhero <laughs> is used as the visual for what's being said. Like yeah, I see it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the fact that I had seen someone's vision come to life, though that was really helpful. It wasn't the fact that I was in love with all of Snyder's work now or something like that, because that's not true. The movie was just... Yeah. Good. No. No, no. it wasn't. It was <laughs> terrible. It was really oh, bad. Oh no. It's really bad. There's a clear difference between this film and Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. It's that our heroes oh, yeah. were hopeful again. Superman was able to inspire... And this? Okay. Uh. Wait, in the Snyder Cut? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> this was he, where they he were hopeful He lasered again. off a part of a man's body. That is hopeful. He, uh, <laughs> he, oh, I, I'm pretty sure that he killed a gunner. Uh, in the yeah, National well, Guard. So, best faith interpretation. It. He is saying that he's not going to be counting anything prior to the corn scene, right? Because corn scene. those are the unhopeful, n dishopeful, n inhopeful scenes, right? These these ones, they're the hopeful ones. So the part where Superman shows up in the future to murder well, everyone, back in his blue suit. See, now you're just um, referencing things that get in the way of the analysis. Why are you doing that? Why would you say that? Um, yeah, you're just ruining because it. Because I am consistent. Oh. You're such a contrarian. This is why there's only 5% of you. Yeah, Oh, idiot. that's true. <laughs> so, Choosing to be blinded by hate. Ugh. This is a, this is part of why, by the way, Snydery people are just like so easy to please. Do you remember the corn scene? Is Snydery? Actually, I don't know. Did you say Snydery? <laughs> Snydery, yeah. Those Snydery people. They're Snutter. just so Snydery. <laughs> so you, you need to write a scene that Superman's just stopped murdering everybody, and the love of his life has come to him to to bring him back down to earth, to bring him back to Clark Kent. And like this, I remember when I was uh, sorting out the. I think I was talking to you about it, meme. Um, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I need to watch the corn scenes back to back because I can't even fucking remember what either of them even did. And then, like, I was watching Joss's vision, and I was like, oh my god, there are things to like here. There's like a, there's like a couple things here. It's like, oh my god, that's a bit. But um, Snyder's one is so short. It's ridiculous. It goes like super, super good. And both of them suffer from only showing him with his mother for like seconds. Or it's probably an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Um. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'd think if you're going to extend any scene, it would be this one? Yeah. Yeah, this one requires a lot of work. Because yeah. that character requires a lot of work. Like, fucking and, hell. Uh, and at least in Joss, Joss's version, like, he gets excited when he hears his mother coming, and that's an, both an acknowledgement <laughs> of his powers, but also how his powers would, like, affect his emotions, because he would be able to know when he's about to get a big surprise and the excitement would build ahead of time. You know, there's a little, little neat thing, you know? Little neat thing. Hmm. He died inspiring. <laughs> Not just inspiring. people. Inspiring. Died inspiring. What, what, what inspiring. He's my hero. Alright. Okay. Enough. Enough of people referencing this one line by hero. There's nothing about my this hero. in the rest of the movie. Nothing. Yeah, we don't... Talk about the part where he says he wants to fuck Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, no, no one mentions that because it's cringe. Um, would I find really this helpful if we had a fucking movie about the Flash before this. So Maybe it would have made sense. We we will often talk about ideas versus execution, and this is like a new breed of problem. It's like an idea, but like it's not even idea or execution. It's just like your idea was paper thin. What if mm -hmm. the Flash considered Clark his hero? Oh okay. Uh, wh how would you do that? And you're like, that's it. That's it. Like, oh well, I feel like there was that 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 felt like the title to your idea. And it's like, no, that's it. Okay. Oh. Because I All right. and it would take seconds. You're like, why? And the Flash is like, oh, you know, I uh, when I got these abilities, I was gonna stay to myself. I was terrified. But then I kept seeing this guy, who was like apparently lived on Earth this whole time, and he was just going out of his way, almost killing himself to, to save the world, and then he died. And, like, I felt like I couldn't sit on my ass anymore. I had to, you know, anything? Mm-hmm. But no, we got nothing. He just says, he's my hero. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you could do there, and none of it was done. Like, even in the Joss cut, they filmed the scene where Flash and Superman talk to each other. 
and mm. indeed want to race each other and kind of explore just the tiniest bit, you know, that little shared connection they have as fast people, well, you know? Someone in my, uh... They had a very brief moment where they could be, like, what we call characters. Someone Ooh. in the comment section a, listed... How do we say film? Ooh. Ooh. Someone in the comment section listed Ooh. a bunch of, like, things that were clearly worse in the Joss Cup. And one of them was the race at the end. They just said that. They didn't say why, they just said the race at the end. And I was thinking to myself, like, if I was to criticize that scene, I don't even know that I can. I'd just be like, I just didn't care about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say, if I was going to change anything, it would be... Uh, I think the issue with that race is that you know Superman's faster from the movie. Mm -hmm. So Superman's going to win. Which and is not a creative decision which is I would make. If we didn't have that, what what would you say then about the scene? Um, oh, like of things I would change. I get well anything like like hmm. I guess I'm already at the point where I just be well, like. What I say I about it, it's just it's some kind of character interaction between a man and his supposed hero. <laughs> yeah. If I were to change, and how he's anything, a little I've... bit nervous and a little bit awkward, but he's a good guy and kind of likable, and how Superman is like supportive of him. Imagine. It's like it shows Superman being like a, a good, decent person, which is nice to see. That's Imagine cool. in uh, in this scene, he makes it very clear, like a like a backstory that takes you know, like a good old fashioned Mike Flanagan monologue. It takes about a minute and a half, maybe two, and he just goes over his story for why he loves Superman and everything. Mm. Then we have we don't change anything about the stupid resurrection scene, okay? But then the Flash, just as the stories move on, is just permanently terrified of Superman, no matter what. And that's just something that is never really properly dealt with until, like, you know, Superman notices more and more. He's like, I'm not going to hurt you. And then Flash is like, I know, I you know. And, like, that could just be something already to work with. Really cool idea because mm -hmm. it's, like, not something you typically see. It's usually like, oh, though, this guy's my hero and then they're inspired and they work together. But it's just like this one experience that went really bad. He's just permanently fucked in terms of, like, his perception of him or something. Um, what I'm describing is one of a trillion, trillion, trillion options, and 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 I don't know why. So much you could do. We settled it like a Tyrannosaurus in one of your backgrounds, and I'm terrified for one of you. What? Just like something played in the background of one of your audios, and it's terrifying me. Oh my goodness! Oh, that that's seems... terrifying. Um, hmm. like Jurassic Park. Yeah, it so, sounded like a T-Rex. Lost in Dinosaur World. Yeah, what I'm saying is. Uh, we have a bazillion options, and all they did say hey, he's my hero, and everybody sucks this line off, and I don't get it. I just don't. If I were to change one thing about the Flash race scene, I would have Superman not fly during the race, because that's fucking cheating, because he doesn't have to deal with friction. The dick. Mm. <laughs> the dick. <laughs> Batman. Batman had relinquished the side of himself that operated purely on what's rational, and had... What? Rational, right? Inspiring, <laughs> rational you really things you would not use to describe as Zack Snyder. <laughs> I, uh, rational. I know where he's going with this because uh, also Bat good. remember Batman says faith. I'm uh, Alfred. Uh, I'm relying on faith. Doesn't mean that he dropped rationality, right? I mean, he does in the film. They all do several times, but. <laughs> You know, the fact that they're getting into this ship to fly there, it's like, oh, that was probably a rational choice. It has started operating on faith. This scene made me lose my mind. What makes you so sure? It made me lose my mind. Faith, Alfred. The difference from Justice League is night and day. What, you haven't Wait, said anything yet? I, uh... You Tell me even things. To Give me information. Oh, well, he put uh, Joss's version in four by three. Also, why did you do that? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Like Joss is is overworking to do the hopeful, inspiring thing. Like it's funny how much he's trying to do it. You know, the is this guy bothering you? And the oh no, innocent people I have to save. And the laughing and the we can do this. You know that sort of shit. Compared to Faith, Alfred, Faith. How about how about the uh, the opening shot in Justice League where Superman's giving this inspiring speech to these kids? Well, no, he had a jelly lip. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the other validates... flaws that was listed, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't know that. Like, we, I love memeing on it, but like, guys, him having a jelly lip isn't a serious criticism of the writing. Like, I didn't know if we had to make that clear. Apparently. You're really embarrassing that people are like, uh, how the fuck can you take this movie seriously? There's jelly lip in it. 
<laughs> that, that trumps any of the shitty writing in the other one, yeah. The story engaging. The mother boxes make total sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 no. Mother boxes, mother boxes make total sense. So mother boxes guys, don't make sense at all. Trust me. Out of the um the process for the rampage, and Meme already knows this. Uh, I was like. When I made it, I was trying to think of like the structure of it, and I was like, okay, I'll open with what I thought is the best interpretation from my POV about the best stuff in the movie, and then I will later in the video talk about why I still think that even that stuff is really flawed. Because that's a good way to introduce people to the to the video in a sense of like, oh, okay, so you're trying to support with argument stuff, and then I was like, where do I begin with the flaws? And then I was like, what is something that everybody agrees on is bullshit? And it was the, um, the dark side forgetting the planet, and the mother boxes, because all of that is so nonsensical. And uh, I remember when I was writing the sequence, talking about them both, I was like, I've ran into like 15 minutes already. Like, I'm going to have to move the rest of this to some other part of the script. I can't keep explaining everything that doesn't make any sense about these boxes and the world building. I need to, and I think I moved to Wonder Woman because I'm like, time to actually get like a criticism that won't make people fall asleep because plenty of people out there do not give a fuck about world building, which is unfortunate, but that's the reality we're in. But to mm. claim the mother boxes made sense? Okay. Total Wow. Total sense. I mean, no elaboration. It's just understood. Like, come on, guys. You know. We, we all that know they, that the mother boxes just make sense. The fact that they didn't move the boxes to different planets, they just kept all three mother boxes on the one planet. Really? They had a green lantern. Yeah, but they suck. They just die. All <laughs> well, who time. would want to trust that guy with anything? <laughs> I wouldn't trust him with a song with the mother box. Uh, I wouldn't they... trust him with a ring. Yeah. And so what I find. <laughs> Even more interesting here is that, like, you know, you know, the, 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 there's, there's a sentiment where, where uh, if we say something on EFAB, or if anyone does, and someone adopts it, like, wow, you're a sheep. Um, so, with, with Brown Table saying that he basically adopted all the people around him saying it was mediocre, has he not heard any arguments about the mother boxes and he's just accepted that everybody has said it made sense and so he's got along with it? And again, I just feel like, Brown Table, you're still that guy from however long ago it was. You're just listening to a different group now. Mon Mothma boxes. <sighs> Mon Mothma, Mothma the... boxes, is that what she said? Uh, someone in chat said it. Mon Mothma boxes. Mon Mothma boxes. I saw someone say uh, the Father Spheres. And I was like, yeah, that sounds kind of neat, right? Father Spheres. Someone asked where the Daddy Boxes were. Daddy Balls? What? Is that what they meant daddy to balls. say? <laughs> yes. The daddy Balls. What, what about the Papa Triangles? Ah. Uh, or the non committed Hexagons. The non-committal hexagons. The deadbeat the step pentagons. Brother, the the stepbrother brother squares or the the roommate rhomboids. <laughs> roommate rhombuses. There are so many possibilities here. Oh yes. Um sense. Fuck off. <laughs> so yeah, and it kind of reminds me of um the time, like, so if people want to claim they don't give a fuck if the mother boxes make sense or not because they're in it for the characters, that's one thing. To make a positive claim about oh. how much they make sense, it's like, oh boy, now you're in our territory. Pop up pyramid. <laughs> if you're in for the characters, that's a bad news for you. Oh well. <laughs> it's not about whether or not it makes sense, it's about the meaning of the decisions, okay? Idiot. Oh no. god, the chat's blowing up with names. Second cousin plastic bag, um, <laughs> Papa Pyramids, cube Papa, testicles. Papa, Papa Pyramids. <laughs> sister sex toys, cousin cubes, um, <laughs> sister cylinders. Sister cylinders, I like that. Banana trapezoids. <laughs> and while a bit slow at times, and while some scenes actually don't further the story, scenes- No shit. Oh, some? <laughs> no <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hey, look, he admitted it, and uh, he gets points for that. Nice one. Hey, That's look. true. That's true. Do have a weight to them, and what's oh, particularly interesting... You put weight on screen, too. Uh, faith weight. Nice. Shape further weight. the story, Ooh. scenes do have a weight to them, and what's particularly what interesting... What do you mean by weight to them? I need to know what you weight. mean when you say that. Because oh, like, when Mahler says that, I could infer that he means like an emotional weight, or... Some sort of meaningfulness to them, but when Brown Table says that, I have no idea what he actually means. 
Well, you know, the objects on screen have mass. Therefore, when exposed to gravity, would have weight. Ah. And he did See, just show sense. Cyborg hitting away something that was quite heavy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> them. And what's particularly interesting is that superheroes are out here saving people. F Don't saving even start. People. Don't <laughs> even start with this. So many Faith people say people. that unlike the Joss version, Zack has them saving people. I have never been more baffled by this comparison. Like, the, <laughs> the meme people generate for Joss is, is, oh, we have to save the Russian family. Oh, there's civilians everywhere. It's like, oh, we have to... Oh, the Flash has to save them one at a time because he's... Get and it's like, how can you criticize it for that? But they'd also say that, like, nobody's getting saved. Fucking Cosmonaut did the same thing. He was like, it was nice to see that Zack has them saving people. It's what is this belligerence? Like, Joss injected people getting saved. He injected yeah. people to be saved. <laughs> well, Molly, it's because these people are bad at their jobs. What? Not the superheroes, the people making the videos. Like, well, surely this is... Yeah. But also he's the superheroes, too. Yeah. yeah, surely he's implicitly praising Justice League here, too. I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he's going to be put, doing it as a point of comparison where, like... Zach did oh, this, Josh didn't, but let's, let's have a look. For the majority of the movie, they save and they protect, save, they defend the protect. lives around them. And it makes me wonder if the darkness of Batman v Superman is meant to contrast to this film. <laughs> okay. You know what contrasted the darkness of that film better? The Joss Whedon version. Mm. Oh. Think about Why that. Are you saying that if everything's dark, it's harder to contrast the dark with other dark? Maybe. Possibly. That might be part of the point, yeah. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Doesn't sound right to me. Mm. And this was always Zack Snyder's plan. I mean, probably. I we have a scene. Like it was always I his mean, plan. Probably. I mean, probably. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> I, mean, probably. <laughs> I guess. To uh... say such a definitive <sighs> thing, like always, definitely, absolutely, probably, probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I we, don't, I, we don't know. Could be, you know. Mm -hmm. Like this Let's in Batman v Superman, is, but in Justice League, we have a similar sequence in a whole new light. Oh, your mother oh, and father would be fuck proud. off. That was a reshoot, by the way. That wasn't in his original vision. <laughs> it's in a whole new mm -hmm. light, though. Can you, can you yeah, see there's light on the screen. screen. Why is there a vagina older. on the wall? Zach, stop putting vaginas on walls. Is he not worried that people could see? I, I don't know. That house seems very open. And it seems like it'd be a bitch to keep like warm mm. in the winter and cold in the summer. It, it looks like it's with all that I, glass. We know it's not one room, but it looks like it's one room because we know it, where is the <laughs> kitchen kept here? I have so many questions about this house. Yeah, maybe it's on the Nit other side of this uh, half wall thing. Maybe there's a little staircase uh, that goes down to a whole bunch of rooms. Yeah, we know the bat cave is the under cave. this lake, but uh, yeah, we saw like a. <gasps> I got it. I need. I need a. I need a floor plan. If only Warner Brothers had faith in Zack Snyder. No! Faith again! Oh, no! Faith again. Uh, faith no, again. why would they? After all uh, the other things that Zack Snyder had made, why the fuck would you have faith in him? I do not understand this. I just don't get it at all. Should we have faith in Uwe Boll, in Michael Bay? Yes. Like, it's just like, have faith in... Like, is he advocating at this point? Just, well, you know what, companies? Just give away your money, for fuck's sake. Here's, Give people here's... money. It's not because that's thing. It's not my money. I'm not the one taking the risk. I'm brown table. Okay, but one of the definitions of faith is strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather what? than proof. So what yeah, would they would have to have faith. Oh, you're saying there's no reason to think that he would do well. You'd have to just well, believe that he might. There's a there's like a difference between trust and faith, right? The idea that like Typically, if you have yeah. reason to Generally, trust someone, and then is faith is believing yeah. things with no evidence. Yeah, Press so F that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly his but point I don't here, think right? That's why I presume he's using it here as like you guys should have trusted. He probably wanted to use hey, the word trust, but it's, this death is on of theme. the author. Bitch. This is on the no. This is on theme with the rest of the video. He brought up faith because he's locked in with it by this movie having used the word, but he probably wanted to put the word trust in here because he probably means. There is reason to believe in Zack Snyder. You know, if well, yeah, if if people have a reason, they say the reason. They don't say faith. Oh, dude, you yeah, it, the fucking movie. It's like, will Superman save the world and all of us? Like, maybe. 
Yeah, like if he was a good person who was really wonderful and I was constantly doing good things and is a good character, then I was like, I don't have to have faith in that. I have a justifiable level of confidence that he will do that based on his past behavior. But in this, I'm like, yeah, I just, just have faith that he will. Fuck it. I was more so aiming for just how fucking baffling that is in the movie. Like, Batman is like, Faith, Alfred, hee hee. It's like, dude, we shouldn't leave this up to but Faith. But no, but really, though. Tell him where you are, you stooge. Please. <laughs> Why didn't any of you say, Clark, please don't kill us. The world is about to end. And then he could be like, hmm, what did they mean by that? The world's about to end. Only Wait, Bruce thinks second. to refer to him by his proper first. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Here's it planned out in his head before we get there. It's remarkable to be a part of. I'm Can sorry, I see Henry. this scene before we make it, and he has <laughs> glass. Glass. <laughs> glass. Should should I include glass or no? Uh, mm. I like. The I don't hand. think. It, I don't think it no, counts. You, but it no, is glass funny. Yeah, no, glass doesn't count. It, it no, this can. is not part of Brown Table's code. He mm. might have though, but until. We see it. You never, you never know with Brown Table. You never know. What is the, the now, I mean, Was it of, part um, of Brown Table's vision? I don't know. Probably. You, you could type it in with a question mark, maybe, so we know to skip it if it doesn't work. No, we can't that put it in there. This is mark. this is what we're going to refer to as the glass hole. The glass hole. <laughs> the glass hole. <laughs> so, all right. This is being Glaze. used to bolster the idea that you probably should have had faith in him, right? Because he he's got it all in his head. He knows what's up. And I'm just sitting there thinking like. Fucking every every creator would be like this if they have any passion. It, in the scene where he gives the fuck me eyes to a hot dog. Mm. <laughs> Name three better foods that would no forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I just Fortune cookie. I don't know, man. I think the bar is pretty low. That's that's all I'm saying. Beautiful drop. The Flash is one of the Ugh. biggest changes. The idea of his character is idea. this idea. All right, I wait. I'm an idea. 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 No, please. <laughs> please. No. Oh. So, before we hear his reasoning, if someone said to me, like, can you give me the difference in of Flash between the two cuts? I'd be like, um, Joss nerfed him more, but it made it so that he wouldn't overload every scene he's in. Um, and Zack made him break the entire universe, so... I don't know. That's pretty spot on. <laughs> and as someone said, like, oh, no, 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 I'm not talking about, I'm talking about, like, the the character itself, like, characterization. I'd be like, pretty much exactly the same. I don't know, like, the, it didn't mean much to me when he said, um, the best of the best line again. I was like, oh. Hang on. Chat, everyone that's put, that's pressing, that's typing in idea right now, you are missing the clap emoji. We need the clap emoji too, okay? For idea, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, wait, wait. You need I'm an idea. I was gonna say you need clap. I'm an idea. You can't just have clap idea. That is fucked, and you're not paying respect to Jared Leto. Yeah, okay, fine. I feel like you're disrespecting the character of the Jared Leto. Oh, yeah. All right, it's, it's clap and More I'm like an Jared idea. Jared Leto. But uh, I'm curious to hear this argument. Let us do it. He has beautiful drawings. The Flash is one of the biggest changes. The idea of his character is the same, but the execution is completely execution. different. <laughs> this is one of those moments when you realize how important a director is what in a is movie. This because from? What's the black man staring out of? Of course, for super racist to put the black man in the back. But what is that from? <laughs> is it from like a? It's probably like a. Is that a stock footage? It, it's probably like a fucking. I guess so. Like a short film that he's made or something. I don't know. Um. <laughs> that would be a god. But also, <laughs> he, he said that to work. He said stuff like this will really make you realize how important a director is. And it's just like what? Did anybody ever question how important a director is? It's like what? I just, the idea of his character is the I same, but the execution is completely different. This is one of those moments when you realize how important a director is in a movie. Because Why? Do you know what I mean? How oh, fucking what? Why is that in your script? Yeah, I don't see how this was in question. Was ever. there ever a yeah. point where any? It's hard to find an example of a director that was superfluous to a project. A director, like how do? You... Why did you say that? It's because you didn't think about it. It was just setting you up to connect two fucking things you wanted to say. That's why you put it in there. Oof. You Guy realize how important a director is in a movie because the Snyder Cut is really similar to Justice League. 
but the execution is what makes it different. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 similar? <laughs> what? The execution is uh, what makes it different. how deep you want to go with similarity. But the execution is what makes it different. You'd be like, <gasps> I mean, categorically, it would have had to have been well, executed yeah, it differently. Has to. Like, what the fuck? Why? Why is there so much nonsense stuff? Similar to Justice League. But the execution is what makes it different. Has it reminds you that there is no <gasps> bad story, there is only bad execution. I'm generalizing, I'm generalizing by, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. That oh. Because there's no bad story. Well, I don't know about that. I don't even... What is he saying? There's no bad story, there's only bad execution, also I am generalizing. Huh? Uh, I, maybe... What, if you execute if a story... You can, if you have a... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm trying to find words. <laughs> you execute the story. You have the story now. It's in your hand. You've executed your <laughs> your thing. And so he's like, well, there's no such thing as a bad story. It's just bad <laughs> execution. <laughs> I feel like that's just Krumpus. So I, I guess when you have like a story. The flash. But the put flash. like stupid execution over it. Like the, the acting is bad and makes no. I, I don't know. Tell us more, Brown Table. We desire your opinions. Yes. There is only bad execution. The Flash is one of the biggest changes. Again, Why it's the execution of the character because the idea of the character. You're circling yourself. Get to the fucking <laughs> I point. I feel like we well, we, 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 there one we day. wound, but we didn't. So <laughs> well, it's rewind time. Uh, <sighs> it's so beyond frustrating. Uh, uh, <laughs> like Slipknot is one of the greatest characters because. In the film that he is in, he is executed so well in how great the character is, and that is why he's, he's one of the executed, greatest all right. They definitely mm. execute him, yeah. Do you know what I mean, though? I don't even know if what, what it's called. There's definitely terms for it, just like circular reasoning, I guess, probably like the go-to for me. I'm a little brain Robberous very reasoning. Well, but um, it's so frustrating to listen to. Like, get to your references, you already made this point. Only bad execution. The Flash is one of the biggest changes. Again, it's the execution of the character because yeah, the idea the of the character remains the same. In Justice League, the scene with his father purely exists as character backstory. While in Snyder's That's version not his of the father. film, why would you show that? Well, you gotta get this video out in like three days. This is what happens. Why would you not just show the clip? You've already shown clips from him talking to his father. Why would you specifically say the scenes with him and his father and show him with uh, not novelty? His Keep it fresh, you know? <laughs> Oh man! Oh, fuck this, man! I was, Brown Table I didn't was, give a fuck. I was waiting for him to say, but it was like juxtaposed with shitty comedy or something. But he didn't. He didn't say that. He just showed yeah. that part. Why did you do that, Brad? Character, because the idea of the character of a funny remains. Scene, how he marks his face up super fast. That's kind of that's amusing. The only thing about it that didn't make sense, right, was that there should be like electrical shit everywhere because he used the speed force. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what happens when he uses his powers every other time, even when it's like small amounts of it. Mm -hmm. And then the guy says and looks at his face and goes, are those prescription? I think you laughed at that, Rags, if I remember. I laughed. Yeah, I laughed. I thought that was a legitimately funny line. If I was there working at the prison um, and I saw a guy, I would ask if, the, yeah, that's that's a me joke. I connect spiritually with that joke. <laughs> well, Maybe that explains much like a why cave. Bat Cave rubbed off on you so well. well I was about to say, it, kind of mm, it honestly looks mm. as if Rags is really going to like Joss Whedon's stuff. Like, he's laughing even at his shittiest jokes. It will be all right. Yeah, because these are crap <laughs> by comparison to, like, the jokes in Avengers. Wow, look at this marble shell. Also, yeah, um, me spending League. like two months right, making an end game video <laughs> shit so all I, over at Marvel. I Shell. really want to hear what what Brown Table says here because I'm pretty sure doesn't no, the don't. Flash scene in both cuts uh, essentially achieve the suit the, <clears throat> that the two same things where it's giving us backstory as well as uh, like the whole his dad wants him to get a job. You are like correct. At the end. It's it's the same it's scene the, in both cuts. Yes, you you are absolutely right, and that people think there's more because he says the same words that they say in this conversation when he's traveling through time, and all you can do is is add shit to it because there's nothing there. Um, yeah. I think mm -hmm. so it might have. I Ooh. think it was Jay. I told this one about. It's pretty funny. Uh, I had someone send me a message, so they're gonna be upset that I've said this now because they'll know I'm talking to them. But don't worry, no one knows it's you, person. You'll be fine. 
So yeah, they said, you or, you know Mahler secretly told me exactly really who you are. I'm going <laughs> to put out a hit. So this I'm person send 20 pizzas to your house. Person sent me a message nice. saying they really liked the video, but they think I missed the mark pretty hardcore with the flash. I was like, re read that topic, and I was like, all right, let's see what the rest of this says. The argument in full was when he's running and he's like sort of struggling to get the words out and he's saying it. It's clear that he knows that he might die to save the world, much like Tony in Avengers. No, it isn't. Well, like that, that's the argument. Well, he's, this person is wrong. I, I, I was so, just like, but there's nothing yeah. for us to think that at all. Like, why would... That's just not true at all. We've never seen any kind of consequence for this ability... Um, Unlike in Wait. Zack Snyder's Justice League 2, where he vaporizes oh, himself. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, um, I think what people draw out of that scene is stuff they brought with them, because there was nothing there. And I'm, I, I hate to admit that, because it's cool looking, but guys, we did this already with Mandalorian Season 2. It looked cool Ooh. to a lot of people, it did look but very there was cool. nothing there. I heard there. the noise on the sonic bomb. It was very bomb. cool. I coomed. There was nothing there, guys. There was just lights and sounds. There was nothing there. In the prison with the guy with the glass. Yeah, and I am. Um, I don't know. Uh, it could be upsetting. But let's listen to Brown Table talk about it because that's probably the point he's going to make. The scene with the <gasps> purely exists as character backstory, while in Snyder's version. Why that visual? Is. Purely exists as backstory? It, that's all it. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of all it was. <laughs> well, the funny part is, like, I completely agree with you, Brown Table, but Joss apparently did reshoot that scene with his own dialogue because he just decided to roll with what Zach had written, and holy shit, Zach cannot write dialogue. Um, yeah, it was like, well, it wasn't it? It was Chris Terrio that wrote it, though, right? Oh, sure, Chris. Well, but like Zach would have approved it, right? Yeah, the, it's it's in both cuts. It, it, was, it was originally right. shot. Hold on. It was originally shot when Zach Center was in the director's seat. Yeah. Fucking but, hell! But. It is so awful. Um, the funny part as well. I think I mentioned this on another refab, but it's just funny. It's funny to keep it in. Okay. Um, when trying to break it down, how bad that is. Uh, you, you, I think there's like four significant pieces of information that are all given in like one and a half sentences or something. It's ridiculous. It's like, uh, and it, and it begins with him saying like, like, let's just pretend for the sake of the argument right now. Cause this is the funny. It's like, uh, like, what are you doing here, Barry? And so we have, I don't know, dad to give us the relationship. Why would I keep coming back here when you're in prison falsely accused of having killed my mother? And thus I am trying to learn a law school to blah, 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 blah. Um, when I was explaining this example to Jay, uh, I think I even showed him the clip, I would paused after him saying, or like, I think he paused, I th it could have been that we were looking at it on YouTube, um, but after he said, I don't know, dad, like he paused and Jay was already laughing at how bad the dialogue was, and I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, it gets way oh, worse. The dad part child. wasn't even the really bad part. It's funny, because like, yeah. I'll give leeway to that sometimes. I'll be like, yeah, I mean, you know, I call my dad dad, you know, I call my mom mom. Like, I, 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 eh, it's fine. It's just a little bit, sometimes it can come across a little clunky. But the rest of it is inexcusably, hilariously bad. I want to hear about this thing we both know about clearly. I, I want to just uh, post a screen cap of the transcript of that scene. Uh, do, you want to, do we want to read this out? <laughs> Just to uh, refresh the, the, the chat's memory here. Oh, fuck no. I I'll thought I covered it already. Why do I, I don't want to read all these <laughs> shitty dialogue here. Yeah, this is this is theater time no. with EFAP. Yeah, we're going what? to so uh, I'll be So you be I'll Barry. Be I'll be Okay, I'll be well, Barry. Because remember, Barry's your spirit animal. I'll be oh, Henry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so, okay. Because you're holding yourself back. You're going in circles, man. Holding down three dead end jobs, going on four. Where do you even find the time? I make the time. I just need one more gig. Barry. Then I'm gonna pay for my own tuition. You can't. Like I always said I would. You cannot keep doing this to yourself. <laughs> okay, I really don't want to talk about this again. Please, we have ten minutes. And th this is all to pay for a criminal justice degree, huh? Yeah. For what? 
Huh, let's see. As I talk to my father, who's still in prison for the murder of my mother, which he didn't commit. Expedition. Yeah, yeah. How did I get interested in criminal justice? I, I can't remember. That exposition is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Was that exposition so in the Joss blatant. cut? Because we had a separate bit of exposition from Alfred explaining this exact thing, didn't we? I'm pretty sure this is in, in the Joss cut, cut as well. Right, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's in both cuts, yeah. Well, unfortunately, you can't fix it if it's already there. You know? like, yeah, unless you, <laughs> unless you reshoot the scene or ADR. I feel like this was worth changing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Jesus, it's so bad. It's so unnatural, but, well, what are you going to do? This is how robots... People, <laughs> people recapping... Like, oh, you're, doing all this, you're doing all this stuff to be successful. What for? It's like, uh... Yeah, it's... People recapping to each other events that they already know. Yep. Wonderful. Uh, we've brought up the example Statue. before, but if I Statue probably more like, oh, that's that's cool. You're doing like all the stuff to to get like a degree and shit. That's I'm proud of you, son. And I was like, why are you doing this, you freak? Yeah. Well, I mean, what what good can come of you becoming a lawyer? It's not like that <laughs> might be useful <laughs> for you. <laughs> like, that, that might be beneficial to you. Oh, it's, it's just so terrible. But anyway, let's listen about how it's great. ...version of the film, his conversation with his father is important to his character arc, growing into well, a hero. Well, I would hope hero. that it's important. If it wasn't important, that would be a little weird. A little redundant. But and yeah, growing, add that to... What? This I got text, growing. I got... Why <laughs> did you just put a bunch of text on the screen? Like, growing. Like, it's We're gonna have enough text here for a novella a by the boy. end. I want it. <laughs> I want it noted, by the way. Uh, the original Goodell has this throughout it, and it was Mark Brown that that was inspired by, not anyone else. This is a tumor that's growing throughout the video essay community. It's not a tumor. They just it's a brown tumor. Throw these words on screen randomly. It's like a joke. Yeah. It's really stupid. And the whole point of Goodell was you were supposed to be like, oh god, that is kind of dumb. But nobody lived. <laughs> nobody lived. <laughs> Brown. Somebody tumor. watched Goodell and was inspired. They're like, I want to <laughs> be just like Goodell when I grow up. Well, uh, was it the um, the, red car lore. the Rise Theory. of Skywalker video essay I did for April Fools? There was a there's like some Reddit thread where it got shared, and someone was like, he actually makes some fair points in this video, and it's a lot less rambly than his normal ones. And I was just like, oh my, which is pretty <laughs> funny. Yeah, it's Wait, absolute get, gibberish. Uh, the one. No, the uh, the uh, the Rise of Skywalker video essay where I say like oh, okay. uh, a, an in depth <laughs> delve into identity or some shit, and I I fucking put up how like everything links back to Dexter Jetster, and they apparently took it seriously, but that's what happens. <laughs> oh, becoming oh, the man boy. his father knows becoming. he is. Becoming. I okay. See, look. Now, in the, in the beginning part, his dad was like, "Oh man, you need to be doing more things, man, because you are you've got lots of potential. You're one of the best." And then skip to the end, he goes, "I did it." It's yeah. a little awkward as well to be like, "I'm the best." Oh know? yeah, well, it's in the video. I don't, but I don't. I'm not particularly impressed with any of you guys. If you press a button that prevents the death of everybody, I'm like, good that mm -hmm. you did it, sure. But like. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why don't if, I... if, if like... did, did he did he say that to himself the first time he used this uh, time shenanigans as well? Yeah, because he's best. done it before, right? Yeah, yeah he, what, set what... His, he set the rule. He's not going to break. Yeah. How yeah, would that be rule if you didn't know this was possible? Yeah. What price? What sacrifice did you make to do this, Barry? None, and that's really what it comes down to because. It kind of makes it worse that he's doing the self-congratulatory thing when he's not really done anything that anyone else wouldn't have done. And why is he able to do it? Not because he worked for these abilities. It's not like Tony, where he's almost dead thanks to Obit. Like, any comparison with Tony throughout basically all of the MCU, where he's just almost dead. But you have the bonus that he is the reason. Like, he built all of this shit. That's why he could do it. This guy was struck by lightning. <laughs> Okay then. Like it's like a, you nailed it, I guess. Like why am I a, why is he the best of the best? Why? Someone said, good thing it was dialogue in his head. Wait, are we oh what what? No. No, someone in chat someone in chat said good thing it was dialogue in his head. Dot dot dot. What? Well, with flash. He said it. We just yeah, said it with his lips. I know, I know, but that's what that's what someone in the chat. Well, wait, said. are they are they trolling or are they serious? I don't know. <laughs> uh, are you trolling, uh, chat? I need to know. Maybe you're trolling, but it, sh it should have been better if it was like an anime where it just slows down and in its head. 
He's just saying these things. Yeah. I don't know. Whoever's, I don't know. I mean, I know who it is who said that, but <laughs> you're only you waiting know, for them to I'd, clarify. I don't want to, I don't want him to become a lightning rod of hate mm -hmm. like I am. Oh, look. Just like um, when he said it. Yeah, he. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, the, the bar, is he actually they, using they have a the reference? Bar so fucking low. Yes, they do. This is some bottom of the barrel execution of what you could. I don't even know you can call this an arc. I don't think so. The time no. of the barrel. Oh, oh, I call oh, it a line. Corporation, I guess. Uh, uh, guys, Bogdan Nicholas in chat. Good lord, you're a douchebag. He was hyping and comforting himself like a normal person does. He obviously has done it before and is weary of doing it. He's obviously what? done this before. No, it's not obvious. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he's prevented the world from exploding before with this time travel. I think that's hmm. new. Um, though if he has, I suppose we wouldn't know about it. Also, but I think he would have brought it up. <laughs> weary of doing it so he says you have to break the rule here so i mean i'm sure that he's done it what before rule? but weary what? of doing it also that i don't know this is all stuff you bring it with you i can't i don't want to tell you you've you've opened up your suitcase and you're showing us stuff from you this is not from the movie like look how weary he is look how much he's sacrificing to do it look, look he's definitely done this before like no this is all the stuff you're saying what, what are you referencing He's obviously okay. reversed time once before in the film. Oh, well, for sure, but I don't think that well, that's the same as the this. Fact that he even, the fact that he even mentioned that weird things happen with time indicates that he's tested this out before. Yeah, I feel like the scene would work a lot degree. better if he didn't know that this would work. Like, if, if he saw the explosion and he instinctually ran towards it, and instead of, you know, you could still do the whole thing of he's hyping himself up, but hyping himself up more being like, <laughs> all right, breathe, you know, you know, just like the trying to calm himself down almost so that he can oh. get it done. Well, it's interesting actually, cause uh, I, I remember in like in X-Men 2, they set up a rule for Nightcrawler. He, uh, he, he basically has to close his eyes when he teleports and there's a payoff towards the end where he basically has to uh, teleport into an area that he has no idea what's, what's behind the door. And so it's like, Oh, you, what, you, what, what you're talking like about that? is they say that he has to have seen, he has to be able to envision the place that he's going to teleport yes. to and that this place he's never yes. seen before. That's the payoff is that he has to basically do a leap of faith. Yes. Um, and a quick and easy fix for this shit, right? And that it doesn't Your fuck with any continuity. As well. You have, he uses it um, with the sequence with the stupid cube and maybe parts of him just before he hits the cube and he's done. Like, you know, like the the dusting effect maybe. Pieces are coming off of him, and then as soon as it, he undoes it, it, it all comes back, and he's like panicking like hell, and he doesn't know what that was, but he knows, and you can have a conversation then, where he's just like, I know that if I like engage with that for a little too long, something's gonna happen to me, and it hurt like hell, you know, something like that. And then in the final, he, uh, I'm not gonna say, he doesn't die, right? But when he touches Cyborg, it's like once he's basically entirely like dissolved, and then uh, the, you know, the Justice League saved the day, but Flash is gone. And we don't know what happened to him. And he knew, and like he knew that he might not make it. He knew that he was in agony. And what turns out is that he's he's just in some other timeline, or even just in the past now, or in the future. Whatever you want, do your Flash movie. You can literally do whatever the fuck you want. He can go anywhere. Yeah. What um, happened to him after he disappeared? Ooh. That yeah. And the audience give you reason know, to come back and check it out. The audience know that he gave up his you know chance at doing anything else with with whatever was happening. He killed himself potentially. He put himself through agony to make sure the world could carry on. It's just like there you go. That's really meaningful now instead of just well i guess i don't want the will to end no, no post credit scene you have flash carving on the cave wall you know a flash symbol um in caveman times <laughs> you can do well you can do flash ret flash returns to monkey he finally did it the mad lad <laughs> you could do anything Batman. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and like what we just like what, what that i just said is like it wouldn't change much at all like it's you could you could add that in wouldn't be too hard uh yeah uh everybody who says like this scene is fucking amazing they just have to bring their own shit into it because the film didn't do much of anything other than these mm -hmm. lines getting reflected and everyone loves to show them next to each other like oh look look reincorporation that basic thing that you're expected to do when you're writing any story basically simple simple level one writing 101 tier setup and reiteration yeah. yeah flash together so strong because it's not even really a pay well it is together a payoff strong. but it's a very flat payoff because there was no build up at all 
It's just remember that thing we said three hours ago? Yeah. Oh, if you didn't remember, that's okay. I wouldn't expect anybody to remember <laughs> three. You know? Yeah, I'm just glad you made it this far. Good on you. Yeah. Oh my you god, deserve you, a medal. This gorilla grod. you deserve to be part of the Justice League. Patience of a saint. <laughs> it's this triumphant moment. No. Triumphant moment. Triumphant moment. Oh. Triumphant. But all Brown right. table. When you were making this video and you were putting up text, was there ever a point where you thought, ah, maybe that's a little excessive? No. A bit much. So... You know for a fucking fact that this was after he trimmed a bunch out. Is it possible, um, like, if we take all these you words... Think so? Oh, yeah. He was, he if we take all these words... Or was this just what he put down? He just wrote this in one take and he was like, that's good enough. That's a good point. I don't think he redrafted this. If we, if we take all these words <laughs> really? that he's putting up on screen and we like match, we compare them to the trans, like the transcription of his video here. Is it possible that he's put up ten percent of his script on screen? He does it like with a bot. It's just like select ten random words every <laughs> two sentences or something. It's like yeah, I mean if it works. This character who starts off the film just awkwardly bumbling around and doing his best, tripping and shit, ends up saving literally the entire world. That's it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. He was bumbling okay. around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, oh, okay. That's, okay. You know, oh, and then we, there you that, go. Okay. We compare that, this to what the big payoff is in Avengers. The guy who everybody presumed was selfish and wouldn't do the sacrifice play is the one dude. who flies a, a bomb through a wormhole with no expectation of coming back. Not only is that a great payoff for the character, but it sets him up for, like, the rest of his journey. Seeing the aliens there and, like, holy crap. Like, I'm just... Well... I'm just a normal okay. guy. Mahler, Mahler, Mahler. About... remember... Remember uh, David Also, Sandberg, we had multiple uh, movies with that character. Yeah. Mahler, remember the Shazam director's uh, video about CinemaSins, and he does a little dig at video essayists? It's like... Darla is set up to be the slowest of the group, and then she's the one that gets super speed at the end, and he's like... Yeah yeah, 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 yes. But that's this. That is unironically this right here. He was <laughs> we, clumsy. We found one in the and, wild. And trying to do his well, but what he's again, it feels like the whole. Um, I, I come into the boardroom and I'm like, I want a character that's kind of klutzy and clumsy, but then, um, you know, sure fires his way to to eventually, essentially saving the world, sacrificing uh, mostly everything. That, by the way, Fringy, can you think of anyone from the Buffyverse that that would apply to in the most simplest of terms? Starts out bumbling, ends up being someone that's so principled and strong that they save the world. Never Longbottom. Yes. Man. Well, I don't want to say. Just well, no, you, of course. The point is, what I just described is crap, because it's just like, there's nothing there. And it's like, okay, but what if I stretch this over, you know, a whole storyline, several movies, big payouts, all supporting things, conflict, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that could really work. Then... This is just that, though. It's still just it's the, 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 the thing and then the thing. It's nothing. You have to bring everything else with you because it's nothing else to work with. It's so annoying. Well, that's the thing. It's a recognition of the basics. Like, what what are what is the... If we're boiling it down to its simplest building blocks, what is this? It's like, well, this is meant to be a payoff. It's like, well, what was the setup? Not a lot at all. Um, <laughs> basically <laughs> nothing. You can time travel. Like, I'm here trying to think about what that- yeah, and yeah, there's time travel. <sighs> and yeah, uh, I didn't want to- uh, just to echo what Fring was saying there as well, but, um, not just all the stuff we've already talked about, the, uh, the look that Tony gives, which is a pretty cool shot as well, before he closes his eyes, it's supposed to be like, he's terrified by the potential outside of Earth, and that's gonna set up mm -hmm. what he does in Age of Ultron, uh, Iron Man 3, and, uh, uh, Civil War. And Civil War. Yep. And, oh, just some of the stuff in the MCU I feel should be getting the praise that Brown Table's doing. And even then, I'd be like, okay, you could chill out a little bit. You know, like, <laughs> it's not like, it's not perfect and we could go over, like, the flaws and stuff, but, like, we're getting it for literally, look, he fell over and then he saved the world. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> In, in my opinion, one, one of the best sequences of any superhero movie ever made. No fuck oh, off. Boy. Hey, the he best said, in my sequence opinion. in any superhero film <laughs> hey, ever opinion. made. Talk, talk about easily impressed. Like, Fine, wait, I want to. I'm going to throw him a very small bone and say, maybe if he was only talking about the visuals, I'm more than okay for someone being like, I was blown yeah, away by this. Yeah, if it's just the visuals, mm -hmm. if it's purely the spectacle of it, mm -hmm. Great sure, spectacle. I could see that would be better. And the music was neat. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. the music yeah. was neat. Um, <clears throat> but if someone said like substantive writing, though, I'd be like, God, no! This is like bottom of the barrel. There's nothing in this. He, he, nope. It's the thing I said. He's, he's in a room with a button, and he pressed it, and we're all like, "Whoa!" Got it. Impressed the shit out of that button. You know, someone else with like an un- like a copy of Unreal Four, maybe you know, with some editing software, with some three D <laughs> modeling, they could probably do something similar. Um, oh yeah, maybe? and there's probably something that exists that's already l- like like this, maybe not as impressive or something, but just it would be. See, I would want to drill down into Brian Table's mind. What is it about this? Is it the when he steps on the platforms and they're forming on his feet? Is it the fact that it looks like he's in space because the planet is blown apart? Mm. Is the lightning? Is the lighting in general? Is it? Uh, and and has he even thought about this, or has he just gone? No, I just love it. I'm like, all right, I love it. Minion, one of the best sequences of any superhero movie ever made. The stakes oh are felt, and it's embarrassing. Hashtag the got him. Got got a, hashtag <laughs> got him. Gotta type that. It just sort of happens. So the rudimentary understanding we have of stakes, like what is to be lost and what is to be won, and how. So the the world is at stake if he doesn't reverse time. But what happens if he reverses time? It's like he'll save the world. Mm. And, and then I guess he'll I guess he'll reverse time then? It's like, yep. Okay. Mm, okay. Those okay. apparently are stakes. Now he's gone into Justice League, so let's see what he says. Are felt, and it's embarrassing that this was cut from Justice League. So it was cut from oh, Justice because he doesn't want the Flash to be able to time travel. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, because this sets up yeah, this is this goes. You remember that the S word you used a moment ago? Stakes. What happens to stakes if you can just press the reset button when, button whenever you want with no consequences? And I feel like this you don't is have stakes. One of the best examples of just like you're just wrong. Like surely this is this is well beyond the realm of opinion. Like if he was here, just be like, I would get him to define how stakes work, and then surely he would eventually have to agree that Joss has more stakes because he can't just undo mistakes whenever he wants. Oh, hey, yeah, look, like, mistakes. what if he powderized the Russian family? He can't undo that. He can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Yeah. And, uh, Let's see how I just say it some people. Uh, Humpty Dumpty. Mm. I, just, I, I, I almost <laughs> want to see it, where Brown Table gets to interview Joss Whedon, and he goes, why did you remove the best sequence in the movie? And Joss goes, oh, well, because I didn't want him to be able to just rewind time to solve problems. I wanted him to work at it, you know? Mm. You'd just be silent. Brown Table would be like, what? <laughs> why did you say <laughs> what? that? What? <laughs> Looks so good though. It, it just what is this language crying. you're speaking? And then, and then he'd be like, "It looked incredible." And then Josh goes, "Well, this is how it looked for me." And it's just again Ezra Miller on like a series of wires in a big green room. And he's like, I, 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 "Constipated." I mean, yeah, and I was like, "I, you know, I, I could have used it for something, but I, just, I decided not to." You know? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Josh Whedon in general is embarrassing though. He put Wait, allegedly. Is, like, I don't want to be sued. Do you see that? K- k- Okay. Yeah, all right, with an asterisk. And a the emo- and, and a little, um, you know, emoji art there. Allegedly. Two I asterisks. mean, does Brown Table actually think that he's going to get a phone call from Joss Whedon's lawyers to sue him for <laughs> defamation? Is, is, like, is he being serious, or is that meant to be a joke? Um, look, um... The... I'm pretty sure if you, if you put it like this, with, like, a smiley face, and then I don't want to get sued... <laughs> <laughs> Truly like, wonderful, mm. the mind of a child is, is all I will say. Well, it's um, <laughs> it's it's fun because the internet just never learns, right? Key key thing here, Ray Fisher accuses Joss Whedon of blah 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 blah, and it's like, uh, and I know that everyone here, including myself, we we hear certain stories and they just sound so true that we're just like, I'm pretty sure, so I'm pr- pretty sure. Yeah. But like, ever since the pro Jared one. I'm done with with believing accusations. It's just like, nah, hey. I need to I need to hear Joss's version on top of it. Um, yeah, but you know the potential is absolutely on point. You know, like the, he could be the worst person in the entire planet for how mean he treats everybody. But like, gotta be really careful because one man's yeah, I appreciate your input, but I, I you know I'm gonna be writing the story myself. Is another man's fuck you. You have nothing. He to hates give me. women, and he disrespected hey. the actress. <laughs> yeah, hey, what hey, a piece hey, of Mahler, shit. Remember, uh, Amber Heard accuses Johnny Depp of abuse. That's a funny mm-hmm. one. Man. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. aged very well. Oh, he, that's just tragic. That whole fucking like she's got all of everything, and he's lost. The idea of well, trying to make a fucking Pirates of the Caribbean movie without Johnny Depp's like, good luck. I'm not even like a particular stand for his acting, but I like at this point, I want him in like everything. <laughs> it's like just yeah. put him in. 
and, some you know, kind yeah. of justice. Jack Sparrow is fucking phenomenal. Like he carries the Caribbean movie. The all female parts of the Caribbean movie, like, I wonder how well that's gonna do. It will be horrific. Mm. Probably, but I think who's is it? Charlize Theron's directing it or something. It's just like, oh man! Wait, wait, well, she did what? so well <laughs> with that other film. You know, the that... the, the angels. Uh, Charlie's oh, no, angels. That was that was Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. Oh, Elizabeth that was Elizabeth Banks. Banks. I was Charlie Theron. I don't know. Um, wait a minute. I, I thought because uh, all I remember was it was didn't they want Margot Robbie to be the the person? Oh, the, for, I might be mixing them up. Yeah, you could be right. Yeah. Let me let me look at. I know up. Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth Rank did direct it. I'm pretty sure. I'm just wondering if Charlene Theron was in it now. And that's ah, there it is. Movie. Yeah, it's Margot Robbie, Christina Hodson. I don't know who. Reteam for new Pirates of the Caribbean movie for Disney. It's a mm. reboot. <laughs> yes, um, it is. Oh, so the she, the other one was the writer for Birds of Prey. Um, oh boy. Oh, and, that's yeah, gonna be new, fantastic. A new though. female fronted part now. I know that Pirates of the Caribbean isn't is like realistic at all, but like, how how many like p piracy <laughs> in the Caribbean? If a woman was on a pirate <laughs> ship, I don't I don't think she was probably part of the crew. I mean, I'm totally cool with having them on the crew. I guess I'm just questioning, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how, at what how point does your brain go? Wait a second. Well, it, wow. yeah, exactly. You guys just hate women again. Yeah, Wasn't that a thing that, like, Elizabeth Swan had to kind of, uh, like, sort of an obstacle that she had to overcome in those movies? Well, um, naturally, because people were super sexist dude, back it was then. A, it was an obstacle the films had to overcome. They had to be about pirates, but simultaneously avoid all of the worst shit pirates do. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's, we have to talk about pirates, but the pirates kind of have to sort of be the good guys you root for. I'd but also sure the bad guys. They were well. absolutely the kind of the bad guys. I would be curious how the fight scenes hold up in Pirates of the Caribbean films. I always remember we used to like them. What about that uh that turning wheel one? That was pretty neat. Turning wheel one? Wasn't there one where they were fighting in a oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 you're right. Bill. Oh, that sequence oh I remember loving it. Yeah, Pirates I'm pretty of sure I, I'm pretty sure the first uh sword fight between Jack and Will is gonna hold up very well. I picture the first movie holds up really well. We, we you know, it's just like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's fun, and Jack Sparrow was fun, and then it got driven into the ground, and now they're making an all-female reboot. It's gonna go great. We live in a. It'll world. save Pirates of the Caribbean as a franchise. Yay! A this franchise is what pirates that, needs. In terms of money, it kind of didn't need saving because it still makes a lot of money. Well, the the idea and was I would, just Johnny Depp had it. I would on say him. real pirates would agree. Yes. Uh, Real pirates would be like, of course we need more women. I like oh, the of idea course. of teleporting pirates to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. They're like, look, that's a little inaccurate, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we, no, we listen here. These stereotypes are... Or, I monsters. guess, it probably wouldn't pan out like that. If you teleported Blackbeard and his crew, they'd probably just kill everybody in the theater and plunder it. For well, oh, I don't know. Put I think the they'd be pretty blown away. Right away. Arg, what be this salty gold ye dispense <laughs> from the pot? What be this magic box with the moving pictures? <laughs> this sorcery. Are we be in uh, Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> yeah, this is Davy Jones' locker. And then one we of must them have like, died on the high seas. Um, if this is Davy Jones's locker, I can do whatever I want. And then he jumps off of like a building. <laughs> I can fly. <laughs> Pulls an inception. Uh, uh, we need saying? a land ship. Steals a car. What <laughs> be a this land? thing land that you ship. use to move a the arrow ship. on your monitor? <laughs> called the pirates movies. Uh, were, were were held up by Johnny Depp, seemingly towards, certainly towards the end. But I'd be really curious to have released one in that sequence that didn't have him in it, just to see if it failed or if it was able to carry on without him. I would assume it wouldn't be able to. I feel like yeah. he, when you look at his filmography, sell. he carries a lot of stuff that he's in. Like he, he, he. I don't know. It, se I mean, it seems a, that way anyway. He's a kooky guy. He's played a bazillion things. Well, I remember when I was a kid, I didn't actually know what Johnny Depp looked like <laughs> because he always looked oh, so different. Because he was always role. a crazy person in the movie. <laughs> well, yeah, because he always looked so different. And when I see, when, I remember when I was a kid, when I saw what he really looked like, I'm like, is that, is that him? Like, I don't, I don't I had that same him. experience, yeah, because he always yeah. like, 
seemed to change from movie to movie to me, especially like when he does stuff like Willy Wonka, where he's almost unrecognizable. That's what I mean, yeah, because yeah. that's what I got exposed through a lot of the old Danny Elf, uh, not Danny, because Danny Elfman also collaborates with Tim Burton all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Time Barton. Did you, did you guys see that Willy Wonka movie? I did. Uh, yeah. one, uh, it's been ages since yeah. I've seen it. I, I have to watch it again. Go. Willy it's Wonka. not as good as the old one. I don't, why would chocolate you even bother tier? saying that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just in case to clarify. Yeah, was... You never know. Maybe the old one is really shit and we just don't remember it right. And maybe the new one is a mastery the of filmmaking because of all of its metaphors and stuff. Ugh. It's dumb. The production values were neat. That's I all guess. I can say. Yeah. That's all I can it actually say. serves serves as a pretty interesting uh, example for the uh, adaptation versus quality argument where um, I believe in the original, uh, they, they have these, these geese that lay golden eggs. That's not in the book, but the squirrels from the new version. The squirrels uh, are, yes. And both yeah. of them were in, were in the Roald Dahl book, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, it was close to the book, the, the slightly the um, new one, yet it is. You think people would be film. consistent. It is still inferior, argument. yeah. Nutter. The uh, anyway. by the way, anyone in chat who has not watched it, uh, Red Letter Media did a review on the original uh, Will, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, it's very good. Uh, I would highly suggest everyone uh, go and watch that review that RLM did because there's a lot of interesting info that they bring about why the uh, film is sort of shot the way it is, and some stuff about the director and some really nifty sorts of things to that they point out. Yes. They, uh, oh, and also them the, being on point. The Oompa, well, also the Oompa Loompa songs in the original are not from the book, but the ones in the new one, they use the book's lyrics. So, yeah, original's better anyways. Like, oh, I, just, I remember hmm. Danny Elfman, I, I think he said he didn't want to do the songs that uh, Tim Burton wanted. And he was he was he he said in retrospect, I think he was just very open about how, yeah, with the fucking songs, man, it's like they, they made me do it. <laughs> um, but, and, and yeah, really into like the uh, Red Let Me just coverage of it, I would say like that is them at their best. Uh, similarly, when they look through the textbook that relates to Darth Vader's suit, that's one of my favorite videos that they've ever made going through all mm -hmm. the fun facts about it. Um. And it was funny, because uh, it just seemed like, because I've seen the Event Horizon review, one of the things that happens that, it, that almost baffles you is um, Mike says he doesn't like the combination of like the craziness of the ship being all like dark and uh, torturous almost, like in this terrifying thing mixed with how it's supposed to be modern technology moving through. And then Jay just says, oh, I love that that was the combination. I thought it was awesome. And then like the conversation doesn't get resolved, it just sort of ends. <laughs> it's like... When they um yeah. when they fully agree and are passionate about a project, they can create videos like super interesting. But uh, the the Event Horizon what I found it awkward to listen to. I was just like, hmm. and I haven't seen it in ages. Maybe we'll do an EFAM movies for it. Who knows? Someone said Rags is such a notorious RLM shill. <laughs> um, um, what? So what I watch a lot of Red Letter Media, but it's my favorite thing that they do is Best of the Worst by far. They're half in the bags. I'm meh, on. They're a hit and miss. Generally yeah. good, I think. Uh, their reviews can be super interesting. The Joker video was horrendous. Yeah, uh, well, the thing is, yeah, like, the Joker uh, video was bad, RLM, yeah. shall I be like, well, I mean, partially, yeah, I think RLM are worth watching. They're fun. And Absolutely. They... I'd highly recommend everyone watch RLM. Say, and they're I... right about the prequels. If I'm a shill, when I recommend things that I think are good, I'll be like, yeah, all right. <laughs> like, that's fine with me. I'm also an EFAB shill. Yeah, just watch EFAB, it's fun. Nazi! In general, it's embarrassing, though. Cyborg is easily one of, if not the standout of the film. His character... Uh, uh, wait, now, I, I want you to something? review that sentence, Brown yeah. Table. Cyborg is one of, if not the standout character of this film. That is a oh. terrible sentence. That's what happens when you don't redraft. Um, I, don't, I don't know that he that, knows that, there's anything wrong with that sentence. I Yeah, I, that's it, the thing. Oh, he doesn't know that there's something wrong to redraft. But like that sentence is balked. That's not a se that's that. not a real sentence. Their their syntax is like distressed. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs>
Cyborg's totally useless. Uh, so the, I I think we all have the same perspective on this. There is more Cyborg in the Snyder Cut. There's a lot more meaning mm -hmm. to be derived out of his storyline, but there's also catastrophic yes. errors in his writing. So Yes. <laughs> Cyborg really? is an excellent example that you could bring up of just because a character has more screen time doesn't mean the character is better. Yeah. Uh, exactly. And people are opting to ignore any and all of the faults in the writing to simply appreciate he is a broken man who finds that ultimately he's not broken at all and he can make use of this new life that he's been given by his father who, uh, having died along with his mother makes him alone, but the people he has found in the Justice League will now act as a new family, and it's just like, yeah, there's an idea there. Pity about the execution. Yeah, it just sort of happens, and we're like, oh, that happened, I guess. Yeah. Okay. The character is so beautiful, complex, and brilliant. Ugh, it's really not complex. Beautiful, at complex, all. and brilliant. Beautiful. Complex. He's neither of those things. Neither mm. of the three. Neither of the three. Well, None of the I, three. Whatever. I'm just. I, what about beauty? You saying he's ugly? Uh, th this is I mean, the item. CGI is pretty ugly, yeah. Oh, saved. Oh, wow. <laughs> what retard has he said this time? Uh, he, well, let me roll it back because there's something else I want to say about this. Cyborg is easily one of, if not the standout of the film. Oh. His character is yeah. so beautiful, complex, and brilliant. In general, this is beautiful, complex, or brilliant. So we, I know we've brought this up before. Uh, it's the whole you have to say three things. That's yeah. just how mm -hmm. it works. And uh, never qualifying any of them, and so it's just it's just saying stuff. Yeah, it's like the only one that I could sort of attach any meaning to is complex. But like, surely you would want his reasoning for that, right? Like, you know yeah, what he absolutely. probably because means by it. Beautiful but... and brilliant. I'm like, okay, oh, I don't know what you mean by that, but at least I might. I think I could guess what you mean by complex. Yeah, sure, like, though. So, oh, because of course he would be if I said to him like, "Can you explain what you mean by those three words?" and then he'd probably be like, "You'll get it by the time this section's over." Not sure. mm. What if I don't though? It's like it's up to you to interpret it because this is actually art as well. I'm like, oh, soy borg. Oh. <laughs> his character was really brilliant when he didn't utilize his established power set to save his dad. <clears throat> Yeah. It just kind of fucks with everything, doesn't it? It's like, but in Zack Snyder's Justice League 2, he would become the digital god of our age and learn how to look human again. <laughs> oh, stop. He would, again. he would walk around and see a literal bull and bear fighting each other to represent <laughs> the stock market. Hey, <laughs> very, look. it's very, you see, I did, I did, I think maybe, Fringy, not everyone noticed that, the two giant animals fighting in front of his face. <laughs> the that, was, that, that was one of those, it's a subtle nod of symbolism. Two. Very I like subtle. that, yeah, the subtle nod of the actual animals that describe the two basic ways that the economy is at any given time fighting each other. And then he pushes them away. Like, oh, I could control the market. There would be no bull or bear markets. It would just be flat forever because that's something I can do. Well, uh, I think it's amusing that that was like his first time in the brain space of whatever the hell that was. And like he sees those two fighting. He's like, what the fuck? Like, because he just doesn't, he doesn't know anything about stocks or whatever. And and his dad is like, yeah, it's like, do you get it? Like, no. Someone said it was <laughs> no. beautiful how he lost control and fired a missile at Superman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I can't control it. And yeah, it turns out his dad worked fucking ages rendering those things to show his son in the computer world. But he's like, you don't. Oh, so like basically, it's, it's like he's like, it's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Must crush capitalism, quote Cyborg. <laughs> it's probably one of Snyder's best films solely because it wants to be more human than a lot of his previous works. At least that's how I saw what? it. It wants what? to be more oh. human. What? 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 From now, this is an interesting, an extra rewriting of history. Um, <laughs> while they were filming this film, like Warner Brothers had notes, and he took and he did what they told him to. To a certain extent with this film we already know that that this is lighter than it would have been because they told him that it needed to be so this whole idea of like oh it was his goal to make it lighter it's like that feels like a retroactive changing of the story because there is no such thing as his fully original vision because this film was shot while the studio was involved he, he also lost his green lantern scene so it's not his vision no 
And also, he added extra scenes that weren't ever part of the original vision, so Nor it's not could have his been, vision. Because he just wouldn't have had the time or money to do it, but... Nope. Here we are. Oh, that just brings the whole fucking conversation about visions in. Because it's enough for the brown tables of the world to be like, this was his vision and that's that enough. That that on its own, that's good enough. And you're just like, yeah. okay, I feel like we've not progressed the conversation at all, but thank you for that. We understand who these characters are by words and actions and not just expository dialogue. Expository. <laughs> no. Expo. No, we, this film has some of the worst expository dialogue and I've also, ever seen. Must we it might be the worst also, I've ever seen. Also, must also, we reread the Barry and Henry scene again? Also, well, also, also, words <laughs> are di expository dialogue is words. You needed to use a different description of what you were talking about. It's and all also, words. I remember this part from your video, Morla. Yeah, this is the part that I referenced after going through all of the incredibly oh, that's, well, yeah, that's overt what I remember. bullshit. I feel like I um, felt and like yeah, I yeah, uh, the funny part, I guess, is that if someone said, like, ugh, you've got expository dialogue in your script, I'd be like, of course I do. Every story has exposition. <laughs> Every single story has it. And it's, some of it's more subtle than others, clearly. Yeah, but some of it doesn't feel like it's specifically geared for the audience to listen. Well... It doesn't feel like the director slapping you in the face and saying, "Look here, look, <laughs> with listen, a hot dog or explaining their position on it." You, usually giving you like good context for characters to be saying it in this way. <laughs> well, now I'm just picturing Zack Snyder, like as Wings of Redemption, <laughs> grabbing a microphone while people are watching his movie. Look, listen, look, here, look, listen. Um, what's like genuinely? It's, it's all problem solving when you're like. All right, I've got, uh, you know, ten lines back and forth between these two characters. I need to get across to the audience who they are to each other, what they mean to each other, what they're going to do, and how it relates, and, um, I don't know, their current living situations. But it all needs to be not overt, <gasps> and it all needs to be representative of how they are as characters. Mr. Biggles like... is awake! Oh, no. Um, but, yeah, so, so it's, it's tough to write it all, but you could also just skip that part and be like, I don't know, they just say it. Why, why would I need to... Why can't they just say it? They're, they're people. Some people are explicit about what they're gonna. Like if if Raj was like, "Hey, what are you doing tomorrow?" and and I'm planning on going somewhere, I could just say it, right? Like, why does it have to be all complicated and shit? This is like, yeah, sometimes it wouldn't be complicated. One of the classic examples is when you're introduced to a brand new piece of shit thing, and you're just like, "What the hell's going on?" And then you have a new character who's like, "Also, yeah, what is going on?" And so they explain it to them, but also you. That's that's the classic excuse to get a whole bunch of shit explained quickly. The the difficult part is when uh, you are in like a completely like alternate world to our regular reality that has a whole different set of rules, but you don't have any audience viewpoint character. So as a result, you're basically having to find ways to have the characters explain why the sky is blue. Um, it's just uh, yeah, and... which is not something that we would normally do. So it's, we've that's definitely gone the over a lot of this before, but good old title crawl, or a narrator that brings you into the film, or news stations clipping oh back God. and forth in different ones that give you a collection of info that you need. Like, zombies are coming, oh, people are dying, oh it's horrible. Or, mm. yeah, there's serious tsunamis going all over the place, you're like, oh, we're watching 2012, I can't remember what the, how everything dies in 2012, but yeah, you, you, Expository dialogue, it's just like, it's everywhere, because the writer doesn't put it in, unless they're trying to get you to understand something. Just about the nature of it. And it's fascinating that he would celebrate this film, but not doing that. Uh, <laughs> amazing. It's crazy, because, uh, yeah, this film has more than any other film that comes to mind. Some of the most clunky, blunt, out of place, and cringe expository dialogue I've ever seen. Steppenwolf, you need to do fifty more thousand planets, like because of that thing will. that you did that yes, I one will. time. And how? Da, da, da. I I would like Darkseid to reconsider my banishment. He's like no, because you you did this 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 that was very bad. He's like we are true. Do you yeah, remember your life? <laughs> do you, do you remembering me, asshole? actions and not just expository dialogue. There's this beautiful scene where at first I thought Cyborg was creepily stalking someone oh, for no. some reason, until I realized that, well, he is, but he's following this family <laughs> with... <laughs> oh, well, he is, but... Oh. <laughs> it, dude, it would have been really where awkward are the if he was... Are these all cameras that he's Apparently. using to look at? I don't, well, so I was curious if he could just view anything all over the world whenever he wants at any time. 
Because a lot of the yeah. positions he has aren't necessarily where you'd expect cameras to be. Because this one looks kind of yeah. awkward, doesn't it? It looks more like a, a person level attached. You know, like it, some of these would be weird for a camera. Um, but yeah, uh, such it's a... It's an exposition camera. This is another one of those, um, Zach is like, oh, what if he gives a bunch of money to a poor person and then you have an adult in the room who says, Zachary, how, how, how are you imagining this would happen? What systems are being used here? Why does he decide to help one person rather than many? And, and um, where's the money coming from? And, and then Zach's just like, stop it, Gerald. You're, you're ruining my story. Gerald. <laughs> like, well, I just don't think you're starting to like, get out. And you're like, all right, full vision. With pure intentions. Gerald. A single mom that. who has no money and is all alone than dad of options. And he grants her an opportunity. No, stop putting on opportunity. An opportunity. Mm. An opportunity. Getting fucked over by the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> the worst arguments are found here on this planet. Yes. And the best arguments, it's too. This yes. incredible scene that nearly made me cry. Oh my god, you're oh. so easy. It made you. Oh, fuck off. Pathetic. You panicked. <laughs> so easy. Like. I would never worry about having to construct a script that's gonna make Brown Table feel stuff. It's like you get literally all it's access easy. pass into his heart for showing someone smiling. It's like tricking an animal with. It's it's the <laughs> most emotionally manipulative scene ever. It's, it's like, like when you like throw this... when you when you're going fishing and you throw a hook with a worm on it into the water and you're like, wow, fish are fucking dumb. They'll believe yeah. anything. Oh. That's kind of what it would be like to make a movie for Brown Table. Wouldn't it just, well, close, right? Because wouldn't it just be you just <coughs> go out in the boat and you're just like, get in, and the fish just jump into your boat, and you're like, there we go. <laughs> nice. Really hitting maybe, the bottom of the barrel. Maybe that is that all point, it would know. take. Yeah. Because it felt so human and <sighs> real. There's been times I've struggled in my life, my family has. And yeah. This wow. Is <laughs> so you that saw, was... so you've had moments where you're poor, so you see a poor person in a movie and you're just instantly on board with it? That's what I like mean. that's it's how so fucking easy. easy it is. That's how easy you are to manipulate. All they have to do. Oh damn. Man, you know, I saw a character experience pain. I've experienced pain. Oh, just finally a, a movie for me. <laughs> saw Batman stub his toe. You know that got me. Mm -hmm. Right in the field. Right where it lived. So seeing that was incredible to me. In a world incredible. where superheroes exist. The impossible is exist. possible. Impossible. What do you what? Possible. what? What do you mean? What do you mean the impossible? Getting money isn't impossible. What why? are you talking about? <laughs> why? 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 The impossible? What's impossible here? Why must you punish me by on table? <clears throat> why? Oh. World where superheroes exist. There's someone looking out for you. But sad. Okay, so this applies Batman's to like gonna every, kill you all in about every, five years. You, looking at every me. superhero Obviously. movie you could say this about. This yeah. Is, yeah. There's always someone watching out for you out there. <clears throat> I'm sorry, does 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 watching this movie make you think that superheroes actually exist? I, I'm actually not sure that I think this is kind of a little bit of a uh, potentially damaging message of somebody will come to save you because that's yeah. kinda just not true at all. Like Nobody's coming to help you out for the most part. Yeah. You have to figure yeah, the, things um, out on your own. The you message... need to, you know, first and foremost, you can't rely on everybody else. You need to nope, take you to initiative. You need to do what I, you can. And I, I know, it, I know, it's so toxic these days. But maybe you need to work harder. I think that the way that superheroes should be inspiring us isn't to have us feel like we're we're being looked out for, but rather inspiring to us action. to help others. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. not be the ones that are being helped, but to help yeah. others. It would be weird to interpret, like, Superman's story and come away from it. I don't have to worry. Superman will help me. <laughs> that would, be, that yeah, would be a little that's weird. A weird one. As opposed to, I can be Superman too, because Superman is like me. You know, he can fly and all that. I can't do that, but I can do my own little thing in my own way. Yeah, I've always yeah, felt that generally... the, the messages we're supposed to be drawing out of them is more so about, like, encouraging us to do great things for people because anyone is capable of doing it. It's more so about the choices, yeah. less so about the power. Um, Shouldn't be about don't but yeah, be it, like, there'll always be someone to you save you. You're like, ooh, yeah, maybe don't. Now, I think that's kind of a dangerous thing to uh, to go through life thinking, um, actually. And yeah, yeah I just, I'm just highlighting this comment from Mr. Biggles. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not even sure he's real anymore. It's Watch pretty it. awesome. <laughs> wherever and whenever EFAP spread. <laughs> he says, wherever and whenever EFAP spreads their Snyder derangement syndrome propaganda, <laughs> Mr. Biggles will be there waiting, watching, ready to pounce on their lives. Now I'm, in my head, I'm picturing like in the savannah, you know, there's like a, a gazelle <laughs> walking around saying like, oh, you know, Snyder Cut's not that good. And he hears a little <laughs> bristle in the grass. Yeah. Does anyone <laughs> notice Mr. that Big Mr. Biggles is a cat? Oh, well, it's, it's also, I'm well, assuming it's named after Mr. Biggles uh, with, right? Yeah, from uh, from Austin Powers. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Ready to oh. pounce. <laughs> <laughs> like the cat he is. Fear, Mr. Biggle. <laughs> you know, there's Bengal tigers, um, uh, lions, panthers, and Mr. Biggles hunting down uh, oh, yes. bison. <sighs> Maybe that's where all the rational people went. Like, Mr. Biggles systematically hunted them all down until only the Snyder <laughs> people fiction. were left. We need a trophic cascade of anti-Mr. Biggles to restore balance to the... Oh, well, wait, no, that's that's Thanos. To appeal to you, Mr. Biggles, we, we, need, we need a dark side to come along. And mind control everyone. And then forget and that he... Forget, where he yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> that's where sure. my mind goes instantly when yep. you mention that character now is how stupid he is and how he got, he got Mr. fucked by david thulis with his beard <laughs> yep i'm trying to find mr biggles youtube channel and there's so many youtube channels called mr biggles <laughs> <laughs> he's one of many but all serving uh, the mastermind good god I don't know, man. When I read a Superman story, I'm kind of just a little bit inspired, at least, to be a better person. You know, just wanted to do good rather than thinking, oh, yeah, you know, a magic man from the sky who is an alien is going to save me because superheroes are real, yo. I read his EFAP have lost their credibility comment on Friday Night Tights video, Galaxy Brain Assumption. We get told on a lot. Like, we say stuff and then people super chat other people's streams, like, can you tell off EFAB for saying this? <laughs> like, and they'll, stop then telling they on us. Dare. <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the same time, don't, because this is the thing, this is the, this is the problem. If someone sent a super chat right now and said, hey, you know Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, he said that anyone who thinks Snyder Cut is bad is an idiot. I would be like, ah, I gotta hear it from him first, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> you, you guys in chat, you can be little shit stirrers and you know it. That, that, that's rude. That's Naughty. <laughs> Can't be having that. Naughty. So anyway. this happened with Star Wars Theory? Yeah, someone lied about the things I said. Um, I don't know who it was, but someone, yeah, lied about the things I'd said about Star Wars Theory. Yeah, and uh, luckily for I us, the Friday Night Tights on. lads were like, would rather hear it from him first. Um, among trying to respond to the sentiment in general. It's, um... It's just weird, all right? I know you're Juvenile. upset when you, you, your podcast hosts say stuff you don't like, but you'll be okay. You'll be fine. You will not be, die. Will be like Mr. Biggles. <laughs> Pounce on us in the darkness. Reject oh. modernity. Um, except the big bulls. I don't know. Modernity. I mean? Modernity. Come yummity. Mm. Sadly, we don't world where superheroes exist. Ray Fisher was fired from The Flash because he revealed his truth of how things went down. His truth. His truth. Oh, his I hate truth. that saying. No, I stop that saying it. There's only die. one truth. Oh, stop it. I am his okay. opinion <sighs> of the truth. No, it's, it just stop. He he said what he thought from his POV. Like, why do we have to his truth? Like, why do you say it this way? What do you try? There are so many fucking angles to what he said. That there could be an explanation for what's going on. I think what's important to remember is none of us were there. None of us can like see the context for what he's saying. So <laughs> uh, there's not much we can anyone can really latch onto there beyond this was his perception of what happened, or even. Worse, his perception of someone else's account of what happened. It's it's actually fucking frustrating. It's like, what do you mean? You're trying to make it sound like his perspective is somehow more valid now than anyone else's because you described it as his truth. Um, mm. So, when I find out that an example of the rampant racism on set is having him say booyah, I'm like, right, so your credibility just sank. Like, I don't even know yeah. what else there is. What, what are you talking about, Mahler? Booyah, it's a very racist it's, term. It's very, yeah, it's triggering, honestly. But, uh, 
So, I wonder if you would have described Joss Whedon's counterclaims as his truth. You know, like I, I wonder. I seriously doubt it. Is my point. Um, next up, though, if I was making a movie with a shared hundred bazillion dollars with the, the, the six of us here, and we're hiring actors, and one of you suggests Ray Fisher, I'd be like, "Fuck that! That man! Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be called racist on Twitter for days on end because I said booyah. Like, fuck that shit." <laughs> And, and I so, would definitely say booyah. And it's all, so they're just like, wow, it's really fucked just up. And he got fired. The door, <laughs> Hello, Mr. Booyah. How could, <laughs> dude, if you're a friend of his, how could you not want to play with that? And be like, uh, booyah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, 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 Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. What? Booyah. Run <laughs> right out of the room. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, so it was like the decision to not bring him back in the rest of this. It's like, again, I gotta be like, Warner Brothers made a decision that makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is this totally happens. Like, like you're not supposed to shit all over stuff connected to the projects you're working on, because it's really bad publicity. Like, that's just straightforward stuff. There's a reason why everybody's really careful about it. And it was really awesome when um, Mark Hamill shared his opinions on the, on the story choices. And you, you might want to say the same thing for Ray, but the thing is, Mark never called Ryan racist or sexist or said he created a horrible working environment. He just said, nah, I just don't think Luke would be a sad hobo. That's basically my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Point being, felt that. I don't really... Who um, are my N-words? I don't really shed a tear after all the stuff Ray Fisher has said and the evidence that has come forward. I'm just like, oh. And I don't even have the counter perspective on it. Very... During the making of Whedon's Justice League, he talked about how Whedon was what? a total ass, how Jeff- Oh man! Did we have to write this all down? Oh man, <laughs> wow! Uh, what, what, so this is, uh, this is, no, this is from, um, <laughs> fucking Ray Fisher's message, I don't think that counts. That's no. not text he had to put in. And This is a screen with, cap. Probably worth mentioning that, uh, Joss Whedon's been cancelled for something that, like, majority of directors have done. It's very strange, but now is the time that you can no longer be a dick as a director, apparently. Um, which, by the way, that's not an endorsement of being a dick as a director, it's just confusing. Like, I didn't realize we were so uh, utterly against the concept of a director being an asshole on set. I just thought that that was something that you'd come to expect when working in that industry, because there's this really high-pressure job. And there would be limits. Like, uh, try not to, you know, step over some kind of arbitrarily drawn lines between different people. Uh, but at the same time, like, if, if someone keeps saying they don't want to say a line, like, is it not a part of the director's job to eventually be like, can you shut the fuck up? Say the line. You know what I mean? Mm. Probably at some point. Um... But like, yeah, uh, he complained. He, he complained that that uh, none of the other actors were forced to like say catchphrases. But I don't know. Didn't Joss Whedon reshoot a scene with Henry Cavill to have him say, "Well, I believe in truth, and I'm a big fan of justice." He that had is him a say a whole example of catchphrases. I was gonna say he says a whole wow. bunch of stuff that's he's gritting when he says it. I I refuse to believe anything, but Henry Cavill enjoyed it. <laughs> I yeah. hope so. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. Toby, yeah. Jeff, and John were not refusing to of say biases, booyah they? and making a yeah, refusing to say booyah and making a big stink of it. It was like so ridiculously unprofessional. <laughs> you made me say booyah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at this. They chose the cowardly route of gaslighting, complete with extremely problematic <clears throat> requests, such as asking me to play cyborg like Quasimodo. What? What's the context Quasimodo? behind it? So, from what I understand, this, from this is about, it's not about um, the physicality, it's about the personality. Basically, they felt that uh, he was way too dour, and they wanted him to be like Quasimodo, in that, yes, your position kind of sucks, but he's a lot more hopeful, and less, you know, Yeah, he likes, the world. he looks for the beauty in things, yeah. and the small things give him a lot of joy and satisfaction. And this is why... We, I would love more context, because that's described as extremely problematic. And I'm like, wait, I can think of many scenarios where that wouldn't even be remotely offensive. So, mm. tell me confused. Being an optimist is problematic. 
And I've read plenty of (laughs) Jeff Johns' work. He's not racist. In fact, I think he made Jon Stewart a little bit more powerful than, you know, White Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Like, he actually overloaded the ring's capacity for willpower at one point, and that's a black character, so I don't see racist there. I don't know. (laughs) Also, forcing a scene to be reshot so they could highlight the existence of Cyborg's penis. Well, there goes that issue for you, Fringy, right? (laughs) Yeah. Wait, what was that? They, uh, I, uh, forcing a scene to be reshot so they could highlight the existence of Cyborg's penis. <laughs> so Cyborg does have a penis, apparently. Oh, good okay. for him. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like I'm glad for him. I mean, yeah, I, really I have one, one, and it's pretty. It's a, it's pretty great. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm glad he's. Good, yeah. you know, Look at this. Uh, the that. quote: "We can't have an angry black man at the center of the movie," and this is looked at as like a racist thing to say. It's like, well, isn't the isn't what he's he's probably saying it because he doesn't want to be seen as racist, as in the movie. We wouldn't want the black bad to be angry, like which is a weird way to put it. But like, um, I don't. Or this might not even be the direct quote. It could be him saying, "We can't have Cyborg be the center of a Justice League movie, which needs to be an ensemble piece." Like, plus, oh, it's is... a movie that has Batman and Superman and the Flash in it. Much well, much better known characters. I mean, even Aquaman is more well-known than Cyborg. Yeah, and Cyborg was basically introduced this film outside of his brief cameo in the last one, so him being the center of it is a very strange choice. Also, I mean, if they're if they're saying uh, we can't have an angry black man at the center of the movie because their concern is that that won't sell, because I, I guess that movies well, with angry black men at the center don't sell as well like, I'm, I'm also but, presume that they don't want to they wouldn't want to play into a stereotype. i don't you know, want to look racist um yeah yeah you know the whole barrier gaze thing if somebody awkwardly sat on set like we can't kill the lesbians that's like that's <laughs> fucked up or something or uh we can't have our movie about lesbians and then it, it involves death in some way and someone could be like wow that's so anti-lesbian when it could just be it's literally like they're trying to avoid looking like This is what happens, by the way. You fucking drive yourself in circles trying to not be racist. And then you get called racist. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) It's like, I don't know what to do. And yeah, so a lot of these... A lot of these claims, they're really weird when you look into them in terms of just like, huh, I'm not quite sure I understand where the issue lies. And it's like, oh, uh, they used all their power to reduce and remove all black people from the movie. Well, that movie. Um, I remember people talking about how Iris being removed was because Joss has a, a problem with People of color. Such a bizarre fucking thought. He cut out Willem Dafoe. Remind me who Iris is? The one he saves when he's in the the stupid Sesame Seed scene. Oh, okay. Retard woman. Like He probably doesn't want Flash to look like a borderline rapist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kevin Smith in chat saying, a bunch of white guys talking about BS, I'm out. Fringy, you're white, right? (laughs) Yep. (laughs) White as they come. Sorry, I was just... T- taken aback. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, um, it's frustrating to listen to a bunch of white guys, all of us white guys, talking about uh. I'm purple. Fuck you. Talking wow. about. I'm what, not even what, human. What did, what did What did he say? Talking about. So we're just talking about this. The, the um, angry black man at the center of the movie comment. Uh, there's a fellow called. Kevin yeah, but Smith what was his up. comment? Because if he said he, a bunch of white said, people talking about race, that's real awkward. It's really yeah, really racist. Like guys talking that BS, I'm out. Oh, oh, so you're a racist. I'm fine if you leave. Bye. Well, I was, I was yeah, like, say, like I, I was about to. Say, that's 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 super racist to I'm say that somebody yeah. somebody isn't capable of expressing an opinion on a subject because of their skin color. That is very very racist. You need Unfortunately, to that shit out. these people don't get yeah, told enough, cool, so they, they got free reign. Like, they say this shit so often <laughs> without any repercussion. It's like it's like oh, I'm not gonna listen to a bunch of white people. You're like. Ooh, that's very racist. Oh, sorry. <laughs> why does everybody assume Fringy is white? The reason why everybody assumes that I'm white is because people hear an Australian accent and they're like, oh, white, because they don't know anything about the world. That's the reason why people <laughs> say these things. <laughs> the only reason you assume the race of people is because you don't know enough about the countries in the world. Australia is I, I don't know, if I multi- hear someone with an Irish accent, I'll probably assume they're white. Um, oh, yeah, racist. I mean, sure, but, like, it shouldn't be like, oh, whoa, what? Like, whoa. not white, you know? That's really weird. <laughs> but if, then if it turns out they're, like, the only Hispanic in guy in Ireland, I'd be like, huh, all right. That's pretty yeah, so, uh, racist. Yeah, cool. It's German. <laughs> also, there's it's a, true, yeah. They got that out of their system decades ago. Or alternatively, yeah, it I'm shouldn't good. even matter to you what race somebody is at all. 
Like it shouldn't even be a matter of, wow, that's something. It should just be a like Yeah, we don't care yeah. what color you are or what your religion is or what country you're from. You're fine and you're welcome here as long as you're not French. So um. uh there's like a <laughs> There's also this archetype of like the angry white man, which is what Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver is often described as. Down. So like if they were to, yeah, yeah, oh, falling down on. as well. Yeah, falling down. That's it. Yeah. If you're, yeah, if you're if you're uh, changing it to we can't have an angry white man at the center of the movie, like what's problematic about that? I guess that there have to be like a specific. Can we, context for that I wish said, we could like, just move past race. I really <laughs> yeah, wish we could. <laughs> like, oh. this, this wasn't even a thing. Sorry. <laughs> You're in the wrong about, fucking the, era for that. Did we thought. talk about exactly this like on, on the... Yeah, we did. E well, the Friday. I wonder yeah. if it'll come up yeah. on the next EFAB. Saturday. Sorry. I wonder. Like, I, I don't want to have to constantly defend my greenness. You know what I mean? Like I don't want yeah. to have to be reminded about it. I, I thought we lives moved past the era when green people were shooed out of restaurants and they had <laughs> they had sides up for regular people and then green people. Yeah, and the greens Just had everybody... to sit in the back of the bus and yeah. yeah. With no, the long. purples had to have a have you know their own water fountain. The purples had their own water fountain. Yeah. So I had a weird brainwave, and uh, oh no, when you uh, rags when you said like oh the only Hispanic in Ireland, I, I was like my brain was like what kind of joke could you make there? And just a really crap one, but it, it it's I stole it from something by accident, so I'm just going <laughs> to describe what that was instead. I was looking at um before I was watching the Grand Tour, just a couple of Top Gear clips. Now Top Gear would probably have been cancelled. If, if some of the stuff they said back then were airing today. Um, though this was coming from Jimmy Carr as a guest, so it kind of makes some sense. Do you guys know who Warwick Davis is? No. I yeah, do. He's, the, look, he's, this, he's this little person. He is. Him. And he um, played Wicket. Uh, Richard Hammond is trying to attach a Pringle tube to the uh, to the the pedals <laughs> so that he can reach them. <laughs> and it is, I know what you're talking. About. It's really funny, and uh, he's like, "Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it?" And then Warwick Davis is like, "Well, I mean, I I I have to hold them in place. I don't know that it's working very well." And like they they back away, and uh, there's something wrong with the car, and so Jimmy Carr is like, "Oh, you know, uh, we need like we need a jack to to dig it up." And then he just goes, uh, "Warwick, do you want to?" Uh, and he's just like, what? What? <laughs> like, what, what do you think? Like, the, what? And he's like, well, I don't know what superpowers you people have. <laughs> <laughs> and they all laugh, and nobody died. It was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Carr is a. Uh, he's funny. Oh, he's super edgy. I don't know if he's, he's edgy anymore. Funny guy. But he definitely was. So anyway, watch a lot of eight out of ten cats do countdown. Oh yeah, man! British panel hmm. shows. That's where it's at. When fucking Charles fucking Dance hilarious. went on, uh, would I lie to you? Oh my god, he was wonderful. Everyone oh, I didn't know that. he was on there. I gotta check that out. Oh yeah. Well, he was on one episode. It might have been two. I can't remember. But he's he needs to be on more everything. If John's alleged that we can't have an angry black man at the center of the movie, but Zack Snyder understood Cyborg. He understood Fisher's he understood talent, cyborg. and he wasn't lying okay, when he said Cyborg. Okay, round table. Let me just educate you a little bit. You oh, know no. who put Cyborg on the fucking Justice League in the first place, and in fact retconned him to be a founding member? Jeff I'm not fucking so Jeff Johns. Johns, right? Yeah. Yes. Bum, bum, Fuck bum. off. Well, in fairness, Zack understood Cyborg. <laughs> he understood that Cyborg yeah, would let his right. father die. Because that's that's mm. what heroes do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Borg was the heart of the film because he is. Chris and I from the beginning were like, you know, it was Cyborg in the end that was going to be the the real hero. And look, you have nothing going on with like any other character. Uh. It doesn't surprise me that Cyborg is considered the center of the movie by a lot Which of people. Which is weird because if I were making a Justice League film, it'd probably be Batman. Who would be like the the person at the center of it? Because he's Ooh, the generic. most. Well, I would, yeah. I guess it depends. I, like, well, if you, if I, I guess, was the director uh, in this, go ahead. If I, if I was the director and the studio had like plans for more movies in the future, I'd try and find a way to incorporate. Um, like if you have Cavill, who I think was going out, and uh, Affleck, who is, are, are they doing anymore, or was this no, like going to be the I last think... thing? I think Ben done. Affleck's going to be in Flash, and then I think that's it. Then um, I would probably find a way to... How do we make the... Maybe the, the low-key hero? 
of the film be like someone we're setting up for a future um, movie well i guess i guess what i was saying would be like if i had it all my way what i would want to do is basically just to really emphasize that like batman is out of place here he he kind of doesn't belong here um but He's then it's almost guy. like think... it's almost like realizing that he does belong here because it's not about your capabilities it's about your tenacity your determination your willingness to try and do the the right thing even when it's like insurmountable odds um or or it could al alternatively be superman almost like assuming the responsibility of leader um having always been not really a leader at all and that's his journey you're already going um, way too I mean, far make though him, what i was trying make to him highlight not a leader at all what yeah. i was trying to highlight with him was that wonder woman has nothing batman has basically nothing superman has nothing nothing um who's left the flash almost nothing and then aquaman has nothing aquaman is probably the most nothing out of all of them and then mm -hmm. yeah we have the final which is a cyborg that has something and it's a, it's a it's you know it's not a small something and so the idea that people are like oh, i see you know and, and if you think about it cyborg's the heart of the film it's like it's the only thing that's going on everyone else is doing fuck all i don't even know what in yeah. you'd think i mean i guess he is by default you think you and it's, I know someone's gonna be like uh, Aquaman had the whole thing with the king going on, right? He's like take up the mother's trident, you know, like that's something. <laughs> yeah. Take up your mother's trident. Um, and yeah, take you know, up you, your mother's trident. You talk I, about how yeah. you may have picked X Y Z to be the heart of the movie differently, but I was like, how about you just have something going on for everybody? Wouldn't how that be crazy? Have any, yeah, <laughs> character be nuts. at all. Because I don't really care who's at the center of the Justice League movie. I just want more character for fuck's sake, please. He represents all of their journeys in some way. What is family and what is it to lose? What is loss and what is, what is our loss? own? Like how are is, is it loss? Is this yeah. loss? <laughs> is this loss? <laughs> how are our own hearts wounded and damaged by loss? And then how Just are we able to profile. rise again? <laughs> Where's the best for Ray Fisher, man? But yeah, Cyborg, a broken person, being able to find yeah, happiness I, I, I despite being part like, machine, I'm understanding. He... Oh, Lincoln Park. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the crumbly ground, man. It's like one to one. You do genuinely wonder if they stole the asset somehow. If there's some crossover somewhere in some vault where they just grabbed the special effects. It was like, what Broken person, being able to find Maybe happiness. Maybe produced it? I mean... It's you know what they really should have kept the Lincoln Park graphics in uh, the they Joss kept League Park. because because Joss like Lincoln Park he tried so hard <laughs> and got so far <laughs> but in the end it doesn't even matter. Can you even say it doesn't matter? I, he's been fucking thrown under every bus that exists. Like he's just run over again. It mattered. It just didn't matter the way he probably wanted it to. Um, because from what I understand, he was gonna do it to get a Batgirl movie, right, Free? And that's, uh, yeah. yeah, I think that Wonder was the deal, and then he he dropped out of that. And now that's not happening at all. Well, or it might be a TV show on HBO Max. <laughs> Freddie, we're looking for the newest updates on Joss Whedon. He's currently getting articles written about him, how he's ruined the new show that he was a part of just and by Nevis. being there. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, mean you do you get accused of something, and your name's gonna get dragged through the fucking mud everywhere you go. I mean. You know, I stubbed my toe the other day and I just shouted at the top of my lungs, fucking Joss Whedon, how dare he? Yes. Yeah. Um, because of Joss Whedon, my I kitchen is dirty every time I cook. It's <laughs> so <laughs> much <cool. Yeah. laughs> Walk outside, it's Piece snowing, your car cock it out, he's like, fucking Whedon. <laughs> fucking Whedon, man. <laughs> Bus is late, that motherfucker again. Fuck. Whedon! Whedon! <laughs> <laughs> Joel you Whedon. know, it's just like just you it's the again another Simpsons reference, you know, <laughs> like Zack Snyder is McCabe's partner. I've just christened the movie. Yeah, everything's gonna be just to start shooting him. Yeah. It's like, damn, I'm not gonna make it. Don't talk crazy. Just do one thing for me. Get weeded. <laughs> oh, Joel <laughs> Whedon. Chat is blowing up with life. Joel Whedon. Yeah. Whedon! <laughs> <laughs> Joel Whedon. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, it was funny. Like the, the, the I showed free an article. It was like the the big problem with the dev is, is Joss Whedon's DNA is all over it, and it it like sucks that we can't scrub his credits from it. When they literally cited, he was like producer, executive producer, writer, director, showrunner. It's just yep. like, oh yeah, scrub <laughs> all of his credits because it, like, he fucking made it. Like, it's like taking Da Vinci hey. out of the Mona Lisa. It's really unfair. Like. Uh, by the way i would make this defense for literally anybody any creator so fuck like their name doesn't get to be on the thing they made like damn okay hey you didn't exist joel is yeah. not someone who is beloved <laughs> he's an idea ah. oh my goodness way. the memes are colliding dinkleberg what it would just be dinkle whedon <laughs> dinkleberg <laughs> Understanding he's not alone is amazing. I think the reason you keep saying this, but then you just don't explain any of it. Yeah, this, yeah, this he just thing is claims amazing. so Why? many claims. Anybody looking for some 101 on video essays, fucking explain yourself, please. Yeah, just like little... pretend that you have people listening to you who aren't just going to accept the words that come out of your mouth as just objective truth, and that you have to maybe actually <clears throat> convince somebody of something. Well, like, even, That's insane. you know, like, a, a, I don't know, a joke that I just think is particularly poorly written, and someone goes, oh, I find it funny. I'd be like, can I get, can I get a why? Um, out of curiosity? Like, I wouldn't need uh, to be convinced of it myself, but I would just be like, what was it that made you laugh, you know? Get, get, and so if he's like, oh, this was astounding, amazing, beautiful, brilliant, I'm just like, can you tell me why? Have you ever even thought about why, Brown Table? You just sort of accept it. You're just like, oh, that's just how I feel. Dinkle oh, yeah. Joe. Suck on that. I've always felt like that's the more interesting part of media analysis, figuring out why you react the way you do to certain things and not other things. Don't you want to know? Like, he almost did it. He was like, you know what? The woman who's poor and then gets money? I was poor. <laughs> okay. That's, star that's the beginning of a thought. Like, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. we also, I'll be right back. I have okay, <clears throat> cool. You, you, you started up the, the mm -hmm. thought train. Getting there. You were doing so well. Uh, and then you realize, like, oh shit, the video's about to end. Uh, oh, never mind. It's kind of amazing how much nothing there really is for Wonder Woman and Aquaman in the Snyder Cut. You just didn't care about him. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Joss Whedon cut, there was a scene where she almost acted. I would honestly say, you know what, and pat her on the back of the head, whatever, whatever couldn't be me too you know, and just be like, you did it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, air pat, you know, the hover hand, the Keanu Reeves method. <laughs> That's the way to, well, get a little uh, flappy hand thing uh, on a stick and just pat it with that. <laughs> yeah. She could still be too. From you with 30 that, miles away, you know, <laughs> the, you know, the maximum distance for a restraining order just to be safe. Swaying it back and forth as it slaps her ass, and like, oh no, and she's like, right, <laughs> Twitter. Well, at least I'm already X number of miles away. And why the members of the Justice League are able to understand each other so well is because they're all hurt, broken people. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. Can you say the exact same thing for Suicide Squad? They understand each other yes, so you well. Yes, you can. Because they're all broken uh... people. Can you see how Aquaman's mother's trident used to be a trident, but then they added <laughs> shit to it? <laughs> Are we more... Look, See, there's a trident in there, try. and then they added the stupid bit, and he was like, why'd you add the stupid It's like, it's your mother's trident. I don't know, she did it. Pick up your mother's pentadent! Yes. <laughs> People still clinging to the past. People that are chasing a dream. People that aren't even happy with themselves. Oh my god. The dramatic voice. Hey, the, the, uh, we're the, one the step Thomas away. The tank engine and the magic railroad music in the background. We're one step away, gentlemen, from people going through things. People experiencing things. And people... Are we not already there? Right. Well, Ooh, he's slightly more specific. Okay. Smaller. I am I am very appalled by you saying that this movie doesn't have much for one woman earlier when it adds quite a bit. And it sounds like ah! <laughs>
Uh, remember how, you know, the, the yodel's voice breaks every five seconds <laughs> just to make it extra annoying? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was such a weird fucking choice. Get that woman a lozenge. And if it seemed like everybody noticed it too, which was kind of the funny thing. Like, everybody noticed this, Zach. It's like, did anybody watch his movie and go, Hey, that, that yodeling thing. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. it was... My question get a good was, yodel sound. Like my, my question is, was the yodeling added after the standard cut was picked up, or was it there when when Joss Whedon was brought in? I have to see Joss Whedon's reaction if oh. that's the case. It would be pretty but funny like, if, hmm. if it was in the original cut. Sh- Joss cut all of it. Well, that's the moment <laughs> that he calls Danny Elfman up, saying, "We're fucked if you don't come here please right help, now, <laughs> please." <laughs> And together, they collectively realize something. I'm not broken. But those people are about to be broken as you shove your hands deep into their cores, ripping out their spines and crumbling them all over this decrepit wasteland. I'm sorry, what what am I talking about? I remember the Eldritch Demons too. That was weird. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I think uh, like we were all just like, wait, what? (laughs) Why, why are they horrifying What's demons? What's going on? Why are they <laughs> from Dark Souls <laughs> coming in to get them? And I'm not alone. Epilogue. Epilogue. What's Epilogue. weird to me is that I can tell there are flaws with this film. While oh. I love the slow Oh, you can tell, Kat. Name Fuck. two. Name hey, two. Hey, t- <laughs> why don't go, you go, come on. Please. Yeah, g- give me an example. I would actually like to know what an example of a flaw would be from him. And not, 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 don't cheat out on me and say, Oh, you know, the pacing could have been better. Or, oh, you know, you know the soundtrack wasn't... How, how about the yodeling? Just, just reference the yodeling. Yeah, that's what I'm I would, I would, I would like a specific reference. Table of Brown, please. De Brown. What's weird to me is that I can tell there are flaws with this film. No, While I love the slow-mo, it can be too much at times, especially this fucking scene. <laughs> There's pacing issues. <laughs> Thank you. There's the pacing. There was the pacing. pacing. Dude, the ending could go. be shortened a shit ton. Maybe the film suffers because it seems like there were absolutely zero limitations Maybe? and it's always healthy to limit yourself. Wait, but it's his vision. Oh, you said earlier. What? That is the biggest fucking God damn it. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's, con- he's contradicting what he said earlier. You're fucking bending back on your own position. <laughs> <laughs> It's not perfect. All the things that I said were good. Maybe they weren't. You should have your vision, but limitations are good for you. God damn it. It's like movie Bob saying vegetables are good for you. <laughs> Leave him alone. Good for imagine <laughs> imagine that, that like movie like Bob forms. coming out to say a nutritional book from movie Bob. Uh, he did <laughs> actually do an entire meal. video on uh, Gamer's Guide to Health, yep. like giving health advice People have to gamers. to cover that. Are you... Oh, I, all right. I also just... Leave movie Bob alone, okay, Lindsay Ellis? Let me know about this. She's she very already creepy. laughed at him when she was apologizing. Yeah, like, like you're and still called him creepy. It's 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 almost like, look, I know he's pathetic and terrible and awful. Stop laughing at him, okay? And she's like, why would you? Why, why? I'll never get over thanks that. Thanks for defending me. Please what? never defend me. Actually. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, he's calling us Quanon and Four Chan again. <laughs> Quanon. Someone chat is asking. Why is Southpaw Man. a cat? Who's Southpaw? I'm I'm Mr. Biggles now. Oh no, he got into the. <laughs> oh, your call. thing hasn't updated for. Uh, it's like a play. It's like the Borg. You've been assimilated by the Biggles. We are the Biggles. Lower your shields and surrender <laughs> It'll happen your ship. to you next. Hey hey, next. the Biggles. So people say we biggle around. Yeah. Biggle. In some capacity, and the movie in general is a complete opposite of what I enjoy, but. I enjoyed the movie is a what? complete isn't... opposite of what I enjoy. Again, uh, please uh, review uh, your sentences. The complete opposite. Uh, uh, but maybe I love movie cyborgs dissolved movie. head right there. But like the It's the complete opposite of what you normally enjoy. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm so confused about this. The complete opposite. How the hell did it manage <sighs> to come through? This is the complete opposite. Yeah, like, uh, We're movie in, in general is a... territory. The complete opposite of what I enjoyed, but I enjoyoyed what this movie wanted to be. Oh and my I enjoyed God, it wanted to be or what it, it was. What, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I heard my enjoyed as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let, we're gonna <laughs> roll it back. That's and a just, Jar-Jar-ism. Just let's just my give up. Again. Yourself my give in some up. Capacity and the movie in general is a complete opposite of what I enjoyed, but 
I enjoyed what this movie was. <laughs> oh, he did! He did! <laughs> 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 Bro, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> 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 Basic okay, get down English. that. We need that, Mahler. My enjoy it. <laughs> well, what, what even was the full sentence? It was like, it's the complete opposite of what I normally enjoy. But, but my... Okay, okay, but okay, my okay. enjoyed let's, this. <laughs> let me, let's let's just roll this back a few seconds. Hold on. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna just play it. Of what I enjoyed, but I enjoyed what this movie <laughs> wanted to be. And <laughs> I enjoyed what I wanted this movie to be. <laughs> I enjoy what this movie wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so... <laughs> in normal EFAB fashion. But not what it was? We're first addressing the words he chose, which are really funny. Because he said, <laughs> but my enjoy what this movie wanted to be. Then we actually look at the spirit of the statement being... So he could enjoy the movie because it was... He enjoyed Good. it for what it wanted to be. How could you not apply this to every movie ever? Yeah. Also, what the I movie like the wanted to be movie. is going to be oh. different than what the movie is. <laughs> Oh, he has adopted Jar Jar's speech patterns. You're right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> and this film does itself 100% of the time. In an interview with 100%. New... It, it, it was 100%, itself 100% right? of the time. It was, it was itself 100%. <laughs> it would be a little weird if he sometimes. weren't. Yeah. What? This is like straight up just Goodell at this point. Wait, what this movie wanted to be. And this film was itself 100% of the time. The fuck? What are you saying with your <laughs> words right now? <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, of course the film was itself 100% of the time. It's not like, it doesn't what come in Bruges for 10%. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. I don't. <laughs> I just don't. That ends Goodell, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, every... I only just wrote one. He's stuck. He's going to be the whole video. Oh, this is Patrick Willem saying that, you know, the, the the elephant nipples were his favorite part of Star Wars, like, all over again. Some of these videos, they're just horrible if you just listen to them. That's all you gotta do. In an interview with the New York Times, Zack wait, wait, Snyder talked wait, about Marvel. What? Well, it, it sounded like that sentence was about to continue into something nope. and then it just <laughs> nope. stopped. Okay. So he, so he appreciated it well, for being what it was and it was its 100% at the time it was what it is or something. <laughs> it, it ended. It's just like a some nonsense, meaningless <laughs> tautology. Yes. In an interview with the New York Times, Zack Snyder talked about Marvel and he said, Marvel is doing something else. They're doing it at the highest level. This popular action comedy with heart. And they have that oh, nailed. Awesome. An effort to duplicate that is insanity because they're. Okay. Oh God, no. Okay, stop so it. first off, I am not typing all of that in. That <laughs> does not count. That's Zack Snyder's <laughs> words. We 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 established the rule with the glass. That was Zack Snyder's edition, not Brown Tables. I'm not fucking adding this. No, 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 no. Not writing this down. Secondly, Marvel are not doing what they're doing at the highest level. What the fuck? Stop it. You could. Improve on Marvel 100%. Oh, Do you yeah. know I mean highest level of like the business? Oh, well, in that case, well, that, I guess so, yeah. But why would he care good. about that? He's artist, man. He doesn't care about that. Um, I don't know. By, by default, the they're at Snyder. the top, but you know. None of us can. They're so good at it. What DC had was mythology at an epic level. Uh, and we were going to take what? them, I assume, the mythology audience. Mythology at an this epic amazing... level? What? This is uh, just garbage word uh, salad. Like, uh, just saying. Because, I mean, if you took it like this, Marvel's doing something else, okay? They're doing it at the highest level. Nope. This popular action comedy with a heart? Yeah, sure. And they've nailed it. Mm, nope. An effort to duplicate <laughs> that is insanity because they're so good at it. It's like, no. that. that is not how anybody... That... Could you imagine saying like, ah, oh, well, you've made the best painting ever. I can't even try to be as good it's, as that. It's like, I'm not even going to try. That's insanity. That's insane. It's almost That's worse than that, Especially he, coming from someone who's supposed to be lauded for their creative vision. He's also defined it as action comedy with a heart is something you shouldn't even bother trying to duplicate because they're so good at it. It's like action there comedy wasn't with any heart. heart in these films. You've yeah. covered action comedy with heart might be the most common genre in existence. Like... Yeah. One of the most wide appealing, it's just standard amounts of, I, I immediately think of all like the garbage sort of standard comedy movies that come out, where it's usually like police procedural, but with funny cops that do funny things, and also they learn something along the way or something. Like a million yeah. of them. And Edgar Wright does it better than Marvel does, that, that's not... Yeah. Well, yeah, Hot Fuzz is an action comedy with heart, right? Yeah. So... Yeah. 
Like what? What a this is all so strange, and also the whole DC had mythology at an epic level. It's like we got Norse in the MCU. Like yeah, Marvel Thor. has mythology on an epic. Thor level. is an Avenger. Yeah. Ragnarok yeah. happens. Like why are we doing this weird dichotomy? Why? Why? Fucking hell, Snyder. Amazing. Jo Frankly, I was the only one saying that. Reading that Thank reminded God. me of myself. Thank just a few God, you were reading that reminds that. me of myself. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, so much. This is the same man, by the way, who took down the video where he just randomly went. This reminds me of Karl Marx. <laughs> 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 He's, he makes some interesting videos. Years ago, heck, maybe hey, even Carl. just a year ago. How I always thought there was the one correct way of doing things. How this certain kind of film. Well, you were very wrong, and I don't know why you ever fucking thought yeah, that. Just, and, yeah, yeah, I don't know why you thought that. Pain. I don't think pain. I ever thought that. Mm -mm. Pain. There's only it, one correct way to do things. It's, but once, it takes a special brain to ever think that. It's, well, it, it's it's funny coming from us, right? Because someone might be foolish enough to be like, wait, isn't that your guys' whole thing? It's like, oh, making sense? That's not really like a... Not really there's what I'm no, there's about. more than one way to make sense. Yeah. yeah exactly. In fact, I would say there's a shit ton. Uh, and yeah, the context here is that you should be Marvel. But why? No, especially now. Don't be Marvel. No. no. Has only one way of being made and that's it. But the truth is, the blockbuster film has no formula. And if there is a formula... Well, it totally does. <laughs> the funny thing is, Avengers, Watchmen, and the Snyder Cut, there's probably some broad things you could easily connect for uh, why they'd be successful on a wider scale, but uh, I would still presume that Snyder Cut is going to be the lowest performing out of the three because it's so fucking blo bloated and boring. Um, but yeah, Come together. blockbusters totally have a formula. The, I believe is is it Spielberg that kicked it off? I can't re quite remember. Was it, uh, maybe was it was it Star uh, Wars? It might have been Hitchcock. With no wait, it was Star Wars that yeah, Star Wars defined the modern blockbuster because the people were literally lining up around the block, which is where we get the term blockbuster from. There you go, yeah, yeah. Honestly, action comedy with heart that covers vast majority of blockbusters. Many things. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, it covers everything. It's owned by audiences based on what they seem to enjoy. I think if Warner Brothers would have trusted Zack Snyder more, I think audiences would have eventually come around to his. No, 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 uh, oh, and Batman v Superman, I think they they needed it to make a billion for it, it to be worthwhile. Yeah. It underperformed. I'm not sure if it was profitable, but it was something there. And then Justice League was like really badly. And then people would be like, well, that's Justice League. It's like, okay, well, why would you have any reason to assume that this version would be more successful if it got released? Because it didn't have a Two is already like a lot. An opportunity. Yeah. One. Well, yeah, the other movies uh, didn't Snyder have had a chance. It's it's like oh, if only you'd given him if you gave him a chance to make more than three, maybe audiences would like. It's like Brown Table, please, nobody gets this kind of opportunity. He is he's three. at the top of the chain for this. Who else can you name that was given this many opportunities to get to fail? Most people only get one. At least Patty Jenkins' movie made a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit, but at least it was profitable. If I was a, I mean, if I was an executive, I'd be like, "Yeah, the movie was shit, but um, god damn, they, I they made canceled, a lot of money. Make another." They, they canceled Spider-Man Four over less. You know, everybody that like the first two movies are really beloved in that trilogy, and the third one, while not as loved, was the most uh, like it was the highest grossing one, and they still canceled the fourth movie. And those movies were not nearly as hated as these. I just hate the presumptiveness that everyone would come around to Zack Snyder as if there was something inherent about his vision that and would moreover, the, win everyone over. Well, it's, it's almost Warner like Brothers saying the blame is with the audience. Almost is, isn't it? If you guys would just give it more of a chance, it's like they gave it three chances. Stop <laughs> blaming us for thinking it was yeah, shit. Yeah. Not liking I, shit. I wanted to like Man of Steel. I did.
it, it's it's funny how it feels the same as like when everybody shit on EA when it was Bioware's fault for a lot of the things that went wrong with their games. This is another situation where it's like put yourself in the perspective of Warner Brothers. They've already invested what like I I think in total this entire endeavor has cost them like nearly a billion dollars and made them maybe like a fifty million dollar profit. That's awful. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's um, ooh, that's nail biting. That nail and, and it's funny because people will be like, "Well, it made money." It's like, yeah, but there's a thing called opportunity cost. They could have spent that money on something that would have made them a better margin. Like Shazam only made something like what four hundred million, and it had a better profit margin than um than all of this. Yeah, and their, this their budget years. was below hundred million. Yeah, yeah. this took oh, years. Like forty million after investing that kind of money. It, it almost makes you wonder, did we luck out and make money? Did we just get <laughs> lucky? Should we have cut our losses sooner? It, also, it, if we yeah, had released I, it on a different day or a different week, <laughs> would we be losing? Also, yeah. I'm also, gonna, gonna put it out there, I think that the DCU would actually be like successful and moving forward if it had been J.J. Abrams from the beginning. That's probably, probably would have been. Probably. Take. Yes, probably. Um, go ahead, Southpaw. Well, also, me, me repository, you said that you wanted to like Man of Steel. I would rephrase that to you. I want a Man of Steel to be something worth liking. Yes, that's basically well, yeah, what yeah. I could, because I wanted it to be the movie that changed everyone's mind on Superman. It did not, because it was awful. <laughs> no. My mind has been changed on Superman, but kind of despite that movie, to be yeah. honest, you know? Because now <laughs> I bought All-Star Superman, because um, I wanted to read it, because I've been thinking about reading some Superman stuff now. And that is thanks to all of this, but yeah. um, not in the way that I think that they're expecting. I no. want better. I don't want what they did. Um, yeah. This whole um. thing was a mistake. Like, they <laughs> DC tweeted out today... Um, that they're shooting Flash, and like all of the responses are, oh, restore the Snyderverse, restore yeah. the Snyderverse, stop ignoring us. It's like, you never should have indulged them. You never should have done this. You should yeah. have just kept going and being like, yeah, maybe the cut does exist, but we're not interested in real. Stop falling down, all star <laughs> <laughs> <Why? laughs> um, Oh, metaphor. Yeah. This this was a mistake. You never should have indulged this at all. These crazy people. Yeah. My favorite part of all this is when they try to pick a fight with the MonsterVerse people and then they <laughs> shant right back. Yeah. Monster. Oh yeah, that was a thing. The um, oh, wait, 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 are we talking? Oh, you're talking about the. Are we talking about the Godzilla stuff? Oh, they they or review the bombed thing. uh Godzilla versus Kong um, oh, on IMDb, okay. and then oh, the yeah. Godzilla versus Kong people review bombed them back, and then <laughs> IMDb themselves well, had to step. Godzilla, in. Godzilla versus Kong has been much much more successful than uh mm. than the DCEU. And look, here's mm. the thing: all the monster all bleh, all the monster verse movies are really bad. Okay, yeah. I, I mean Godzilla yeah. 2014 might be okay is that one is okay from what i remember yeah but the rest are really bad however for the most part they're also pretty fun i would rather watch the monsterverse i'd rather watch all four monsterverse movies than any one dceu movie that we've already gone through and ironically yes um hmm yeah i don't know i don't know if i maybe i, w I don't know if i'd be so quick to okay maybe not any one okay fine the Zack snyder ones okay i don't want the, the snyder verse back Zack snyder monster verse <laughs> oh god oh god you imagine <laughs> yeah godzilla. you'd have it be like godzilla, godzilla being jesus godzilla shoots a laser jesus, godzilla. Oh, i don't know godzilla writes a dissertation on why laissez fair capitalism is the best way to govern the world monkey Wasn't christ there... Oh, there's a there was <laughs> Godzilla floating out of I'm the airlock. You know what? Maybe his arms out. Maybe his big tail that. hanging down. Yeah. Like all goofy and shit. <laughs> like, wasn't that like this? I, I know this is like a, a, a fan art, but this is a, a recreation of a shot that's in King of the Monsters, right? Yeah. Yeah. You would have 40 of those. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, uh, I want that movie now because again we've we've all talked about the Mothra stuff, you know. <laughs> Why yeah. did you say that name? <laughs> 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 and then they team up to fight Mecha Godzilla, and and then Mecha Godzilla stabs uh, Godzilla in the heart, and Godzilla <laughs> cries out, and then it echoes around the earth, and I don't know some big super alien like Activates maybe maybe the monkey like, boxes. 
Destroyer. Godzilla and Kong boxes. versus monkey boxes, Cthulhu. Yeah, monkey boxes. It mixes with the uh, with the Lovecraftian mythos, and it's like I don't know. Maybe Cthulhu is like the bitch boy of our. Uh, chub- oh wait, that one's not. Uh, you know, it's, King, it's some King kind Kong of... could be King Kong could be a Green Lantern since there's a monkey Green Lantern in oh, the good story. Yeah, he shoots a laser and then gets his hand cut off and stabbed in the heart. Yeah. Um, the only thing he understands is like basic animal things, so he just creates lots of bananas all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of them with bananas. Of course, Rags, he would create barrels and throw them. That is what monkeys well, do. Also, his name is actually Jungle Jim. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, fucking got it. But if he creates bananas with his ring, he's automatically better than what we already have. Yes. <laughs> and also, you can imagine oh, I mean, the if that, right hey, now, if it's better. If the off the cuff well, ideas I have are better than the real thing, I mean, it's just... um, little baby the cuff Godzilla. Jokes, even you just have little hey. baby Godzilla watching as Papa Godzilla and Mama Godzilla get shot and have their pills ripped off. Oh, no. <laughs> Save Mothra. Why did you say that? Um, does it just me or does Batman look like crap here? Yeah. Yeah. He's kind, of, he's kind of T-posing, but not really. It almost feels like these people were not standing and doing this pose, kind of. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it's, it's almost cut the, together. The random, almost weird plates that are, like, whitish, and then just how, mm. how, how cheap that... It looks like plastic. Like I remember really it being plastic. better it in the original like, version. Guys, yeah. his, armor, his armor reminds me of, like, a... a grayer bible man that's what he looks like here <laughs> he does he does kind of give bible man vibes yeah, yeah. the bible man hmm. we should we, we could probably watch some bible oh, man there's probably some yeah. really good there was an animated bible man oh, uh, dude, the he's animated got movies bible man please, please please has to be done we gotta do it we have uh, um let me do it uh it quick. looks like crap though we are two minutes away from the end of this video, by the way. We're almost there. Oh, oh God. thank, thank Superman. Audiences would have eventually come around to his way of making movies. Oh yeah, and just to end this fucking argument, what if I said Joss Whedon should have been given Justice League 2 and 3, and maybe people would have come around to Justice League by then? How about that, Brown Table? Now what? You know what, maybe if we just got another 17... Doubt. Another 17 Resident Evil movies, people would have come around to Paul W.S. Anderson's series, I don't know. Maybe they should have made some sequels to The Room. They would have come around to Tommy Wiseau's yeah, no. vision. I Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. Hey, people vision. came around to Neil Breen. Oh, hear me out. <laughs> what am I looking Hear at? me out. Zack Snyder's Bible Man. Oh, Perfect. Man. Well, it, it feels like a match made <laughs> he, in heaven. You know? It's like he was born for that. <laughs> yes, and that's why I, I, I'm just stunned by the um, how well that fits together. Zack Snyder and Bible Man. Oh, that's Ooh. perfect. Uh. Dust bubble man. Dust bubble A really important cool. thing Zach said in the interview came when the interviewer asked, when you see what Marvel is doing in its movies, do you ever think- Do you like the gaps he takes? <sighs> Marvel, you see what, what Marvel movies, is doing. Do you ever think, I should be doing more of that? Do you are you so here's the thing like you don't actually pause so this is like in poems right when you're reading a poem just because you get to the end of the line that doesn't mean you necessarily stop if there's not a comma there you just keep going well the pauses are all in the wrong places to make him sound more it, i don't know what it is it's this weird fucking thing the video essays because it should be when you see what marvel is doing in its movies do you ever think i should be doing more of that like that that's probably like the most standard way to read that sentence instead he's like when you see what Marvel is doing in its movies, and you're like, "What? what is, why are you reading it this way? Stop it. You're not being normal. <laughs> <laughs> when you see what Marvel is doing in its movies, do you ever think I should be doing more oh, my brain's of that? Oh. <laughs> I should be doing more of that? And Zach responded, like a discount no, Shatner bullshit. not at all. I don't know no, how to hit a ball any all. different than how I hit it. A director has one skill. Wait, Your point. I don't know how to hit a ball any yeah, so different than how I hit it. Yeah, you learn how to do it. it differently. What the hell a kind of response? Has one skill. A director has one skill. Your point of view? No. I feel like a director has one skill. 
I yeah, feel like there's off. many. Yeah. Direct yeah. is like the one job where you'd be like, right, so this is the first go-to I have for someone that needs to have more than one skill. <laughs> like a director <laughs> of a movie. They you have gotta to be able to do more than one thing. You've got a lot riding on your job, and you gotta put together a lot of things, and you have to direct a lot of different people. Oh, oh boy. You have to keep Review. this job together. That's all you have. Right if you're trying now. to imitate another way of making a movie, then you're on a slippery slope. And that's what? true. Uh, so Wait, everybody, what? when they're making a movie, is taking shit from... Imitating somebody. Seen. All yeah. creative work is derivative. Pretty hard to escape that one. Even for Zack. Sometimes, certain movies come out, and they all feel the same. And before you get pressed by what Snyder said, I don't think he means a director can't take inspiration oh, from there, other directors. Oh, there direct she goes, <laughs> killing everyone. <laughs> they were filming the brain splattering scene, how wonderful. I love it. Oh. Means a director can't take inspiration oh, from other later. directors. I mean, you have to learn from the best, or at least the ones that. Dude, I'm getting confused. You're saying you shouldn't copy anybody, <sighs> but you have to learn from the best. You're like, what, uh, what does it mean to learn what from do the you best? Mean? He's not going to explore it because he has I to be nice and I think you could learn from the worst, absolutely. Dude, he's just like the movie. It presents you a couple things, and then the viewer has to do the rest. You bring all of your baggage, and you you apply whatever you thought. And then you'll find meaning, and then you'll say, hey, you know, this thing was good. It's like, it wasn't. It was you all along. It wasn't even the video. The movie was you, Zach. It was, it was you. always you. It inspired you. It was me, right? Barry. But ultimately, the one making the movie and making all the decisions is the director. So why be anything else I other than just producer, being yeah. unapologetically you? You. <laughs> the pauses. <laughs> pauses are insufferable. Uh... We did it, though. Right? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, oh, please, no. please Shit. check out Brown Table. Should, really I, bad. should I include link in the description? <laughs> Maybe. Most I'm surprised you didn't you put you the meme on the screen. It. Yeah, you was that's probably one of the things that got cut. He was like, uh, it's too overt. Well, if I you may have noticed that they've slowed down a lot in the second half. In the first half, they're everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Check out Interstellar Ranger Commence, I've been killing myself over it, and thank you so much, oh, Mass sure Mac, for many the many Hope Griffin fan art. It looks so hey, she freaking looks like incredible. An adult in this one. Hey. I am still in awe. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching the video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I sincerely IRC. appreciate it. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting oh, me. Time write and down time. all the patrons now. So, like, no, <laughs> fuck you. So, like, if you buy a shirt of IRC Hope, and it's just like, ah. Oh. It's like a it, it's like a guardian for your virginity. <laughs> hey, some people need those guardians, all right? They got to protect them from the whammon. <laughs> uh, it's like I would rather wear a Bible Man shirt than that hope I that Interstellar Ranger commence hope shirt. Unironically, I would wear a Bible Man shirt just because people would like ah ha ha hey Bible Man. People would see that and they just think I'm a loser. I would wear a Bible Really, man you're shirt. the big brain. I would, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd walk in with my Bible Man shirt, my big cock just helicoptering around, and, oh, man, Bible Man. He oh, found the Bible verse. The Bible verse. <laughs> so, uh... I feel like Bible Man is the perfect content for us to watch once we finish through the DC. Like, that's you, our you feel like it, it best complements the Snyder verse, is that what you're saying? Bible yeah, man. absolutely. Bible uh, Man versus yeah. the Snyder. Uh, so, problem, right? I was actually hoping that it wouldn't take us this long to get through one. <laughs> this happens all the time, Mahler. Every yeah. single time. <laughs> but there's a Every double time. dose of bad news. because I was hoping it wouldn't take us four hours to get through the first video, but know. what do you know? It did. But So, for the same reason we would delay getting this one out in general is the same reason why I already knew that this one's going to have to be half as long and I was hoping that we'd at least get the two videos covered within the time, but there is no way we're going to be able to do that uh, with this next one. So now I'm just trying to figure out what the best thing to do is next, because uh, I am afraid I cannot continue. Um, uh, but I still do want to cover that other do we one. Do super chats? So, well, the, those uh, hopefully mean you Do we can, make a uh, two-parter? Um, well, I guess it would just be a catch-up, but we could, we could make it a second part. There's a lot we need to catch up on at this point. Let's it's just it's unfortunate a second part, yeah. Uh, um, offline EFAP. Uh, that's another option. Video. We might be able to do it that way. Uh, this is, I know, I know, chat. This is not preferable. Trust me. I would like to stay. Uh, wow, my stream on Saturday was longer than that. You 
You frog. stream every day playing Risk of Rain 2. You frog. Oh, you mean on <laughs> twitch.tv slash Metal Commander? <laughs> well, you know what? Link in the description. The latest one to have a reading of just the screen too. Your accent's so thick, no one knows what you said. So, before we get into this Whoa, video, let me racist. tell you about today's sponsor, twitch.tv <laughs> slash <laughs> Metal Commander. <laughs> Metal Commander. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, I've also, apparently, I, I'm on a stream tomorrow with World Class Bullshitters, and then Wednesday we've got something that we're doing, us EFAB lads. Um, I need to set up a recording for MemeFab. We need to do this next video for the Snyder Cut. We've got Falcon and the Winter Soldier to do on Saturday, or even Sunday. I'm not actually sure which way is going to be free. Uh, also, we need to do catching up on Super Chats, as well as um, uh, more Batwoman. We are behind on our Batwoman. The Very behind on our Batwoman. Oh. EFAP is is struggling to keep up with all of the content in one of the driest yeah. media years ever. <laughs> so this is, this is a bit <laughs> awkward. Um, but hopefully, like, uh, just give it a few more days and everything will start going way faster again. Uh, we were lucky yes. to get this one out today, honestly. Um, and I'm I'm sorry that uh, it's not as much as usual, but uh, all of the things will be. I'll collect everything up and make sure we don't miss a thing. And um, I can't wait for the day that we might just say, hey, what should we do now? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, I, I <laughs> think what Mahler's <laughs> trying to say here is that Mr. Biggles has won. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love oh, this no. EFA. Please do more about the Justice is, League. The, Mr. Biggles is the dark side of this of this arc. We just have to hope Big Mr. Biggles like, forgets uh, what EFA is. like Mr. Smallest. Uh... So yeah, I, um, I I suppose does everybody would everyone like to talk about what they're up to, um, going from the left to the right politically? <laughs> I'll go last. I knew then. That. Uh, no, I, knew that. Uh, I thought I was going last because <laughs> I'm Hitler. Oh. Uh, hey, all right, Fringy, talk about things that you do and stuff. Uh, end game video, Fringy comic, and I've been streaming. <laughs> that's that's it. Wow, you Which is so a fast. lot, but that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm up to. So who's that's... slightly to the, who's slightly less left than Fringy? <laughs> well, no, I, Mel's next. Do you want to do... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, streaming, uh, working on my John Wick 2 video. Uh, that, that's it. Wow, you fuckers. Is this because you've been on you for so long now? It's just like, why, I, why would I even make a show of it? Why would I even try to promote myself? Rags, go ahead. I mean, that's 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 all there is. Shut the fuck up, about... a non-Mando video, actually. Well... I find it difficult for me to focus on single massive projects. It's very hard to keep, um, like, mentally on it for me. So I'm going to do a more uh, familiar style video that I've been working on and making quite a lot of progress on. It might even be done this week. Ooh. Ooh. Within the week. I, I don't know when I'm going to release it because I might because I want to because I have some stuff to catch up on in terms of channel things and some back end stuff as well. Um, but I think it might be done within the week or so. And then I'll probably have another video relatively shortly done after that as well. And the Mando one will just turn into a background project because there's no sense hurrying on it, uh, especially at this point. Um, plus, I can't focus on a single thing like that. Very well. Exciting stuff ahead. Um, oh, Southpaw, what, what are you doing wrong? Uh, <laughs> well, my Last of Us 2 script, I'm sort of spinning my wheels there. I am questioning whether I really want to continue talking about the technical aspects of the game as well as the gameplay and just focus more on the story. Um, other than that, I've, I'm thinking of, well, I've, of course, I've got a, a Batman Begins video to work on. And, uh, oh, right, I'm also c contemplating uh, covering the rest of the Raimi trilogy because my first outing that with that was so fun. So, yeah. uh. <laughs> oh, I, and uh, I'm also going through a TV show with some friends, including Meme Repository. It's called Terriers. It's wonderful. It's one of the best TV shows that I've ever seen. Terriers? Um, and Terriers, is it yeah. About, is it about dogs? No, it is not about dogs. I'm afraid that was my first thought too. <laughs> well, that's what everyone thought, which was why no one watched it because they they tuned in and they saw, oh, this is not about dogs. This isn't what I wanted to watch. And they just turned it off, and then the show got canceled oh, yeah, after one season. That's a bit but... misleading, I will say. 
but it was actually it was a great show and we're going to do something some, kind of similar to what you guys did with uh hill house um where we basically i'll upload uh edited reactions to the episodes um with the uh, discussions afterwards and yeah it's 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 fun sweet uh meme repository what are you up to oh so um uh so visuals have started on uh mandalorian video uh so that will be um out eventually um obviously still got the episode nine video coming this lifetime um and i've also started uh and i'm i've also i'm also in in into the work with the uh snyder cut uh reaction uh and that's gonna take a long while because uh not only is it um for fucking hours um but i also <laughs> um i also just want it to be uh just um the best it can be like just follow up on all the running jokes add its own jokes um have all the editing nice and snappy you know not cutting any corners so that's gonna take a little while to come out uh but it will be Fat worth worst. it once once it's there once once the fapping begins uh, so that'll be good so that's what i'm working on at the moment excellent i myself um, still not in a position to be able to give any significant update. The boys, that is, that is, that is what's happening. Um, uh, with, with lots of ether stuff on the way. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to collect everything up to make sure we haven't missed anything to read out, and, uh, we will figure out, we've got loads of things to try and plan, um, relating to this particular group, other groups, and different EFAP coverage we've got all over the place. Uh, that's probably about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out. It's yeah, been everyone. That was fun. Moment. That was a fun yeah. video to that cover. That was a funny one. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I really had a good time. A good fat. Um, and we, this, this one will go up pretty quickly because it's under five hours and those process really quickly when uh, I move them over to Moolah. So that's nice. And oh, yeah. Yes, lots, lots more things on the way. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us and for the donations. The, the the fun I'm sure I'm gonna have to collect a whole bunch of memes. Seriously, meme fab has gotta happen. It's getting critical with the memes that we. Oh shit! We'll be alright. Gotta meme clean those lot. pipes. Oh yes, too many memes. Spitting mad fire, dropping hot takes, picking up mother's trident. Uh, <laughs> every day. All right. <coughs> goodbye, all. Right. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Boombo fumes. Boom.